more.
Ta dig egen. Kongrats. Må. Thank you guys. Welcome back. Great to see everyone. Thank you so much for coming back to the castle. Uh, today's going to be such a fun day. I I've been so excited for this. Uh, this has been something I've I I've been wanting to do for for months now. Uh, so I'm so happy it's finally going to happen. We're going to be playing a one shot D and D campaign uh, with some great friends. Yan, Connor, Mouse, uh, and a great DM, Nightmare Nexus. Uh, they've they've oh. written a whole campaign for us. We're hopefully going to finish it tonight. I don't know how long it's going to take, uh, but I have full faith in Nightmare Nexus. Uh, that's our DM. I have full faith that he wrote an amazing oh. story, an amazing adventure. I have no idea what to expect. We're all kind of noobs. Uh, so, I you know, I told Nightmare that... I want to keep the integrity of D&D as much as I can, uh, but he's going to allow us to goof off a lot. So if we fuck up or make mistakes, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry if there's any like diehard D&D fans. Oh. We're going to try our best uh, to learn along the way. Uh, so be patient, <laughs> please. But thank you guys so much. Thank you for all the 100k well wishes. Thank you, man. I, I didn't think I'd ever be oh. here. So I, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you guys. Mouse again, thank you for the raid. Uh, and thanks to Mouse, Nyan, and Connor who were down for this idea. I told I told Nyan one day, I was like, hey, like, would you want to play D&D &D with me? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, who do you want to do it with? And she was like, can we do it, can we do it with Mouse and Connor? And I was like, yes, that would be fucking awesome. And so we asked them and, and without skipping a beat, they both said yes. So I, I just want to thank everyone. Uh, for making my my little boy fantasy probably shouldn't have said it like that uh my little kid fantasy i shouldn't say it like that either uh i'm just happy Aww. to be here guys can't wait to play uh without further ado let's just i guess let's just start <laughs> you guys know what i mean man I, I, i've always wanted to get into D. &D. uh Aww. i've only played one time i've done one one shot before uh so i'm i'm super new uh but ever since a, a kid uh, i've always wanted to do this so thank you guys so much. Welcome back to the castle. Hope everyone's been doing well. I missed everybody in the castle yesterday. Uh, but hopefully we can have some fun today. Thank you guys. Okay. Uh, I think I have everything set up. Uh, pardon the scuff. This is going to be super scuffed. I spent some time trying to get everything ready. I hope it's okay. We'll have to see. Uh, but we have some cool overlays from Nightmare Nexus. I think I have everything set up properly. So I'm going to get into the Discord call, switch over to the other screen, and we can get started. You guys ready? Sorry, I'm so fucking excited. I can't contain it, dude. What? What is the... the oh yeah, by the way, the campaign is called The Beast of Rotfin Bay. Uh, I, I mean, what are we going to find out today? I don't know. Alright, you guys ready? Let's do it. Uh, let me go over here. I think this should be okay. 
<laughs> uh, my, my name, you can just say it's like Nadir if you want to. Uh, Yo. Yeah, you can just you can just say it. Hold that. Hello? Yo. Yo. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh. yeah. You guys ready? <laughs> Where's Connor's camera, huh? I don't oh, know. Oh, 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 let me tell. Let me show. Oh, Sorry. He's in the darkness right now. <laughs> there you go. We already he's lost him. He's shrouded in shadow. We already lost him. Oh, oh shit. God. There he is. <laughs> Blindingly white. Was that a fucking flashbang? What was that? Yeah, it's flashbang, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> what oh in the God. world? <laughs> Am I laggy to you? Yeah, you're laggy, man. It was a little you're laggy. You're a little laggy. No. Maybe it's okay now. Uh, I don't know. If only you, you were a VTuber like up. us. Yeah. You know, if only. <laughs> I saw some people on Twitter comparing it to some Jessica Rabba Rabbit bullshit, but just reversed. <laughs> A bunch of cartoon <laughs> characters and one real dude. Yeah, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> I don't trust tunes. A tune killed my brother. <laughs> you got the same <laughs> FPS as Bloodborne, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I see it on ping. It looks totally fine. Uh, okay, it's uh, getting better. It's getting better. Well, it's a little better, yeah. Copium. Okay, okay. All right, copium. <laughs> it should be fine, Half hopefully. Half and copium. Uh, is all the audio level okay? Does it sound alright? Yeah, is it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Audio desync? Yeah, I think his audio is desynced a little bit. Oh, he's Me? like dubbed over. Oh, cool. This is the delay. Old, I don't know. Movie. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Maybe it's because we're talking on Discord. I don't know. You think? Uh, Could probably. Be. Oh yeah, it could that... be that everyone is just out of sync and it just doesn't look like it because I'm the flash person. Think I've never used ping with Discord. I've only ever used the oh. ping audio. Should I? Should I just? I've used it with Discord before. Would it be better uh, to just capture him from Discord, like a Discord video call? Is that better? Do you think? No. <laughs> no. Just Keep capturing audio from Let's ping eat. is probably better. I think. Oh, capturing yeah, your audio from still... ping. I yeah, think I I've done that before. Oh shit, okay, okay. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if only Booby were here, man. Yeah, if only he was, huh? Yeah. One day I'm gonna press go live. I can feel it one maybe, day. Maybe we could switch out for Booby. You know I, what? I can I, I can see if it's possible. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you know, I think I would like to play with Booby. Yeah. Yeah, invite Booby over and have him play for you. Well, let me let me see let me give him a quick let me give him a quick call. Him yeah, yeah, he oh. might be busy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> let's fucking go! Oh fuck! I don't know how to change his name on the overlay, so she's still gonna say Sea Dog. But you got i mean, you guys know it's not him. Yeah, <laughs> you guys yeah, know yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already know. We're using his computer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he, came, he went over his house and he's just borrowing his internet. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's his turn on the computer. Yeah, come on, it's my turn. Get off, I won't play Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Mouse, how was your stream, dude? It was great. I had a good time. <laughs> Didn't know I was on 10 hours. Oh, you went for 10 hours? It was hours? 11 hours. 11 hours. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna radiate the one I'm done, and then I was like, wait, it's not starting until eight, and I'm like, wait, it's, I'm I'm in too deep, I'm too committed. <laughs> <laughs> A lot yeah. of Minecraft tragedies today. Oh yeah, yeah, wait, yeah. What what happened? Uh, Did you? No, it's it's not the birds, is it? No, it's not the but the birds were safe for the day. <clears throat> Unfortunately, uh, it took me like three hours to try to get to my destination because I kept getting fucked in every hole. No. No. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. At the same time. <laughs> no. It, dude, I, yeah. I I wanted to get... There's this, sand, there's this beach where there's pink, blue, white, and purple sand. Okay? Okay. Oh. Okay. And I'm like... And it has black sand, too. And I'm like, I need to get all that sand. Mm. And I, w I went on my way. And everything went wrong. I would fall in a cave. I would fall to my death. My bird got stuck in a tree. <laughs> Somehow a creeper blew Man. me up. I don't know what happened. I glitched and I went back in time to where I started. 
And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> that sounds like pretty normal Minecraft, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so then I had to take a bird to get to my bird. And I'm like, Haruka, can you help me? And she helped me. <laughs> that's like every everyone in our friend group circle. Like that's the default thought process. If anything is going wrong in game tech or whatever, just hit up Haruka. Chances are she's awake and chances are she knows how to fix it. Bruh. And then we got to the beach and you know what I said? What? It's time. It's time to destroy the ecosystem. <gasps> oh, there it is! Booby! Here, let me, let me put a, a chroma key on you. Holy shit. Booby? <laughs> oh, I got you. No I can't believe way. he's here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so glad that weirdo Connor is gone. Now we can <laughs> yeah, really chill. I'm for a professional to enter and perform. <laughs> Not this amateur! Yeah, get that guy away from here. We don't yeah. need him. Okay. Yes, yeah, thank King you. <laughs> I'm so oh. happy. I'm happy you're here, Booby. Yeah, I think we all are. Mm. One day. Got the new overlay for you, Abel. Oh, <laughs> oh, did you make one already? Yeah. Oh, for Booby? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're so fast. Thank you. <laughs> Graphic design is my passion. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, we can't have the great and wonderful man misnamed. Yeah. It's just wrong. Shade your kindness. Okay. Is his full name on there? The bear, bear. No, I, I, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't have his government name. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we, cannot, we, we, we cannot put that full name on there. Are you crazy? It'll crash the whole true, thing. True. It'll crash the stream. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Okay, now no one will confuse Connor and Booby or ever Thank think you. that they're Thank the same you. person. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know why they would. I mean, if if you ever do confuse the two of them, shame on you because they're two different people. Oh, Your yeah. They're extremely different. Yeah. Let me change the title, too. I don't want any confusion. Right, of course. Make sure you put Infernal Beelzebub, Ben Akra, Cruel, the Apocalypse, the Opposite of Divine, Prince of Suffering, and Torment, Master of All Sin, Conqueror of the Underworld, and King of All Demonkind in the title. Uh, there's only what? 140 characters in the stream title. <laughs> I'm, I'm too dyslexic to put that in Photoshop. <laughs> Just put Booby. Don't, don't appease him. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Okay, you guys ready to start? Yeah! All right. Okay, yes. I'm, uh, I'm, so... Before we start, I'm just gonna pretty much leave everything to Nightmare. From here on out, it's, it's his stream. Um, <laughs> so... Any questions or anything, all go to him. Uh, Nightmare, please take us away. All right, so. We have a few house rules. Okay. okay. Just to make things go quicker, uh, I allow for uh, anybody to use a spell in combat, um, second level or lower, like as, as a second time. Typically, you can only cast one. Uh, drinking a potion. Bonus action. It's not an action. Feeding it to someone is an action. Okay. Other than that, we'll go over that again if it comes up. But other than that, we're just here to have fun. We're just here to enjoy ourselves. Hell yeah. And uh, get into some shenanigans. Hell yeah. Can you, can you like, go over what exactly the campaign we're playing is? So, uh, I'll be doing that in my intro. Oh, I have... sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry, I already yeah. broke the rule. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's your stream. It's your stream. Sorry, sorry. It's, it's all good, man. <laughs> sorry, oh. sorry. Rule breaker. Uh, let me just close all that. There we go. Okay. Uh, the music level is good for you, Ethel. It's not. Uh, yeah, guys, does it sound okay for you? Perfectly fine. Yeah. Is it too loud? Sounds okay? No. Okay, awesome. Okay, yeah, I think we're good to go. All right. Welcome to Edridge. The year is 898 post-forging. A world of endless sights and seemingly infinite stories to tell. From the war-sundered coasts of eastern Juoto, the heartlands of Arcanus, all the way to where our journey takes place. Ebonvale, the frontier of what most consider the New World. A place where the sprawling forests of the Tilrian to the Fractured Heart Mountains are overflowing with many new townships and factions every single day. 
as well as the very beasts that threatened their lives. Lucarth, a prosperous port town to the northeastern peak of Ebonvale. This trading hub is home to merchants from all corners of the world, most making their fortune from the goods that land within the port itself. Leviticus Karth made his wealth from the ships that never arrived, sending crews along Lucarth's aptly named Dead Man's Cove and Rotfin Bay, collecting whatever washes ashore and turning a hefty profit. However, as of recent weeks, his collection crews stopped returning, and he's willing to pay just as a heavy of sum that what he, to whoever returns his business to rightful order. Oh. Each of you, whether it be on a message board, from a friend, a guild that you're associated with, have learned that Leviticus Karth is willing to pay thousands and thousands in gold for a simple rescue mission. Probably just have to kill a pack of wolves. Hmm. Or maybe a troll or two. Hmm. Okay, we could do that, I think. So, as you all meet outside... Karth Manor, in the town of Lucarth. I will give you a map here so you can have visual to what you're looking at. <laughs> I'll uh, also throw this into roll 20 so chat can see it as well. Okay, thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Do you, do you think I should stream uh, Roll20 to everyone in the Discord call as well? Uh, Would that be once helpful? Com once combat comes up, yeah. Okay, uh, cool. But as of right now, it's just the world map. So if everybody wants to see the world map, then sure. Okay, okay, cool, cool. All right. <clears throat> oh, let me zoom out. Oh my god, what is this Roll20 thing? Uh, it's another website that I didn't want to bother you all with signing up to because <laughs> I personally hate it. I see, I see. Oh, I see. <clears throat> the Karth. Mm. Wow. Uh, so, conquer. <laughs> so you are at uh, point number five, which is Karth Manor, uh, mm. just outside... Uh, the lavish home originally built by dwarves you can notice in the architecture itself it's it's a very nice home amidst a still growing and uh, expanding town mm. uh, the home stands out amongst every everything else with a within your current line of sight yeah it's huge mm. All of you are standing just outside. Oh, Does God. anybody knock? Does anybody try to talk to one another? What are you all doing? Oh. Uh, oh, I think we should go in. You want to go yeah, in? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's go in, let's go in. Uh, we, we barely know each other. Oh, you want an introduction, I see. Pretty formal. I'm not going into a strange house with people I don't know. Yeah, he's got a point. <laughs> All right, all right. What's wrong with that? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll go first because I don't really know you guys either. My name is Regulius, the Brob, Brobdin, Brobdinagian. That just means big. Uh, I'm a Warforged. You can just call me Big Rig for short. Uh, big Rig. You know, I spent years as a mercenary. I, I'm a robot. I don't really have a heart. I'm trying to find it. I can feel things, but. I don't really know how to feel them. I hope that makes sense. No. I've killed a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I've killed a lot of people in my mercenary days. <laughs> but now I'm just trying to live peacefully and I need some extra money to settle down eventually. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you too. <laughs> I don't want to go next. Someone else go next. Gio? What? Uh, whoever, whoever uh, next. 
Go ahead. Me? Yeah, go mm. ahead, Umi. Yeah, yeah, Umi, Umi, Umi. <sighs> well, uh, hi. <laughs> uh, I'm Umi. I'm Umi Tormenta. I, uh, I'm a Triton Bard. Um, I used to have a tail, but not these days. Uh, I normally like to walk around on legs. I ran away from, uh, my past. Uh, you know, we don't have to get into that. It's 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 pretty complicated. Mm, but I, I I'm just looking for a new adventure and <sighs> you know, I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of tired of the traveling, kind of tired of the mm. adventuring. So this yeah. is my last adventure before oh. I retire to the sea. Oh Wow. Uh, and I'm honored to have you. Mm. Yeah, it's an honor. It's an honor it's an honor to be here with so many nice looking people except for one. <laughs> he looks kind of scary. Well, I can change into anything you'd like. Uh, anything? Allow me to introduce myself then. <gasps> I'm Nadir, and I can change into things. You might have noticed from my appearance that I don't look like a lot of you guys. Yeah. Yeah, you're and kind of different. I'm a rogue, as you might say, and I spend a lot of my time finding truths. I like to investigate things because I'm bored. So. As long as you all don't get in the way of me getting what I want, we should be fine. Uh, oh, huh. okay. Yeah. <laughs> but let's work together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just yeah. I'm glad to have you, Nadir. I, I think everything will be okay. I, as long as we <clears> work together. I have many skills. So I think I'll become very useful. And hopefully you guys will also be useful to me. We'll try. I, I just want to get out of here alive. Wait, what is that supposed to mean? Useful I'll to you? Best. Would you like to continue with your intro? <laughs> yeah, go 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 ahead. Uh, go go ahead. Uh, uh, me, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going to tell you more <gasps> no, about no, myself. No. Uh, I don't I'm know looking you guys. at I'm looking at the the lovely the lovely lady over there. Yeah, I think it's your well, turn, Jafael. Uh, 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 my name is uh, Kuonu Jafael, and I'm a a cleric and an Asimar. And I have a gambling addiction. Mm -hmm. I'm on a road of redemption. I have a very uh, a past that I'm very ashamed of, and mm -hmm. I'm trying to redeem myself and make up for a big debt that I've incurred while mm -hmm. trying to help my family. I'm well, trying you know, to there's one way you can always get rid of a debt. <laughs> oh yeah. What? Oh. There's always an easy way to get rid of a debt: kill the person you owe the money to. Uh, Whoa, Nadir. I couldn't. I can't go back to that kind of life. I, I'm trying to live a clean life now, you know? Right, I'm keeping right. my nose clean. Can we all just, like, man. do something without killing? We don't have to do any yeah, killing let's at just, all. Let's just get right, out of here of with clean hands, yeah. get our money, and, and go mm. on. Yeah, I'm don't get it twisted. I'm an extremely peaceful person. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We can be peaceful and friendly and make a positive impact on the, the world. Mm. 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 Yes. Have a blessed day. <laughs> that means you're gay. Whoops. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to work that into the game. Uh, <laughs> as, as, is one of us gay? <laughs> As, this one is gay. As, as you all notice after introducing yourself to one another, there is just a kind of small goblin standing behind you. Uh, almost unnoticed. He's wearing oh kind of a, a large suit of armor over top of uh, mm. his very small frame. Meant for a human, clearly just been cut down. Uh, the equivalent of a leather crop top. Uh, mm. oh. Large backpack. Uh... Uh, hello. Uh, uh, what, what is uh, it? Uh, well, uh, you all seem to introduce yourselves, and I'm Samin's UK. Samin's UK. Nice to meet you, Samin's UK. What, what, what can we help you with? I'm. Uh, uh, well, you're all adventuring, and I was. I was gonna go with you. Uh, uh, the, 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 this. I need the money. Uh, to help my sick, sick, sick son, you know. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Mr. Siemens. Um, <laughs> listen, the door. Why, why is there a goblin here? Uh, 
Then the goblins what? are people too. Listen, why? What do you guys. mean? Why is there a goblin here? That's so rude. Well, I happen to be proficient in goblin speak, and I wonder why he's talking to us in English. Cause, cause I, cause I know how to read. You ignorant fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. amazing. I never learned how place. to read. <laughs> oh. oh God! Listen, 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 Morrison. Listen. We haven't even gotten past the front door yet. <laughs> listen, do we? Hey, uh, I wanted to be peaceful with this, but do we really want a five-way split on this cash, no. guys? No. Nadir, grab his legs. <laughs> what? Well, what? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's hear what he has to say. Why are you gonna grab my legs? Uh, don't worry, about it. joking. Yeah, if it's oh. just a little prank, don't worry. Uh, okay. Little rough housing. What about his arms? Roll me a deception check. Ooh, who, who's rolling either deception? either Ethel or or uh, you, Bubby? Well, I have plus nine deception. Then you would be uh, the better of the two, but oh, either right. you could do it. Uh, what do you want me to do it or you? Uh, you do it. I'm I'm. Plus zero. You do it. You do it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I rolled an eleven plus nine, so twenty. Oh, uh, huh. funny, funny joke. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I just wanted, like I said, to to get some money, and uh, I saw the letter on on the shop, and everyone else uh, who's gone to do it hasn't come back. So. Uh, what? Yeah. What do you mean no one's come back? And, and well, no one's come back from Le Mr. Leviticus's job. It's, uh, you, it's mighty are, dangerous. Are you saying they all died? Oh, I don't know. I don't, haven't gone fuck? yet. When was the last time you saw them alive? Uh, I don't know them. I just know that other people left and they were all like, oh, we're going to make a big scores. And then mm. nobody came back. Understandable. So why approach us? Well, I was just approaching the house, and you pleasant chuckle fucks pl happened to be here. <laughs> and what's inside the house? Mr. Leviticus Carth, are, are you? Are you all right? You, you ask a lot of questions, mister. I'm just he's inquisitive. Very inquisitive. Yeah, he's, yeah. He, I could tell he, he likes to ask the hard-hitting questions. Let us continue. Right, as... The goblin keeps eyeing you up and mm. down, Nadir. He seems slightly uncomfortable as he starts just backing <laughs> away. You hear him speak uh, in his goblin tongue. Not worth it. Not dying today. Not over this bullshit. And leaves. Uh, good riddance, I guys. Kill him. No, 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 no. Nadir, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> As the door I understand how the goblins speak. Nadir, you're scaring the holes. <laughs> okay, we'll continue. The door of the manor creaks open. A very frail, skinny, old human man in a fairly nice pressed suit can be seen as he holds the door open off to the side, allowing enough entrance for all of you to enter. Mr. Leviticus is ready to see all of you now. Uh, please, just right this way. Nadir, grab his legs. No, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> what? what is with you guys? Calm Hold down. On. Hold on. Sorry, I have PTSD from my time in the war. What, what is this gentleman's appearance? Uh, he's quite old. Looks to be in his late nineties. Uh, okay, grab his legs. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Classic joke. Classic. Classic. I'm, I'm making my way over to Jephael, and I'm I'm just grabbing, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I don't know, but that man looks like I don't know. You could maybe hit him with a rock or something. And no, 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 no. We should talk to him first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah, yeah, yeah. You chill. Yeah, guys, we guys. Guys. Remember, we don't have any blood on our hands. Uh, no blood on our hands, guys. We're a guest. Let's, let's talk to him and be nice. Yeah, yeah. Everyone chill. Everyone chill. We'll be fine. Okay. As you we'll all step inside the manor itself, um, it looks to be a kind of 
fairly standard, uh, large open foyer, uh, two wrapped staircases that go up onto a second floor. You can see a large set of oak double doors uh, on that second floor that lead into what looks like maybe an office. Uh, you can see the uh, carved letters LK for Leviticus Karth. Um, it's a fairly nice home, marble floors, uh, everything seems to be properly cleaned. You can see a few servants around uh, preparing drinks and bringing them upstairs. They enter oh. into the door marked LK. Food as well. Oh. Can I like take a look around at sure. the house? Just to, like, I don't know, I'm just interested in the, the architecture. Looks like a pretty nice place. It looks like a dwarven aristocrat's home, uh, very heavy stonework. Uh, even the simple bricks are uh, like chiseled by hand with uh, extravagant small filigree. You can see um, mosaic patterns that are carved into the floor. It's very nice. Hmm. This this house would have cost hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands of, if not millions, uh, I should say, of, of gold. Is there a fire? Is there a fireplace? Not that yeah. you can see. Why, why do you ask that, Umi? I wanted to touch it. What? what Nothing. Why? Oh, it's a thing that I do. What? What do you mean? It's a thing I do. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's not it's not the best for me, but uh, it, it's something I do to to make myself feel uh safe. You know, it's it's just it's just a thing I do. I'm not gonna waste my potions on you. What? <laughs> It's her coping mechanism. You yeah. shouldn't take that away from her. Listen, I've adventured way more than you, and I've been through a lot. That you a know lot of. of stuff. Well. And I I like to touch fire sometimes, okay? Oh, doesn't well, matter. Well, you're busy game ending yourself, uh, <laughs> maybe one piece of useful information is that I do actually speak dwarfish. Oh, do you speak every single language known to man? What is it? I this? speak many languages. It helps me with my work. Polyglot. Yeah, he is a wow. changeling after all. The yes. elderly man has, while well, this conversation is going on, made his way up the stairs very slowly throughout oh, this man! entire conversation as he's getting ready to open the door. Just, <clears throat> I yell at the old man and I point at him. Door. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, he puts one stop. arm behind his back. Uh, I, I'm stopping, stopping, stopping. Uh, uh. We want to talk to you. To, to me? Yes. But, okay. As he like slowly starts making his way down the stairs, it takes him a couple minutes to get this to the bottom. You blend in in a place, God damn it. Oh, wait, oh, my were, were we not supposed to talk to this old man? <laughs> Never mind. It's in somebody's house, we don't just shout at them. He oh, seems oh. friendly. I mean, Whatever. You have his attention now. Let's talk to him. Uh, yeah, get his attention. I'll just. Uh, I need to go to the bathroom. Does anyone know where the oh bathroom is in this place? Um, it's uh, under the stairs, uh, down a small hallway on your right. Okay. <sighs> Hurry up! Don't down. get lost. Yeah, I'm gonna go down the hallway to the right. What if we uh, have? What if it's like a dungeon? As he, like, the, the old man snaps his fingers and this uh, large gray skin with kind of these black, uh, almost look like tattoos up his arms and onto his head, bald, gray eyes, Goliath, follows you Whoa. and, like, leads you to the bathroom. He's about eight foot four. Whoa. Is Break he going to watch your pee? <laughs> yeah, I kind of want my privacy. If I'm just leading mind. you to the bathroom to avoid thievery. You are a guest. Yeah, just just follow the rules. We don't listen. We, we got to get this money, guys. We, we got to keep it together. Just follow the rules. Don't break anything in the house. I, I need wait, this money. We have to wait. This temptation. Wait a minute. What the? We're, we're doing this for money? I thought we we're just doing this just to have fun on an adventure. I don't care for any of you. I'm here for money. Um, I need what the money. The? I'll be honest. Uh, Am I the only one who's not here for money? Yes. What the heck? What am I doing here? Listen, we need you for this. Oh God! Okay. We need the money. You need the adventure. It's a perfect deal. Uh, okay. Perhaps along the way we can become friends, but who knows? Right now, no. I, I no would promises. like. I would like that. The Not Goliath that I don't care or anything. The Goliath leads Jeff Ale to the bathroom. Doesn't enter with you, stays outside. He's not anything weird. Anything in the bathroom, like anything of interest? 
There's like silver plates and um, no, just don't like steal things from the bathroom. Fair, there's like it's, it's a fairly nice bathroom. Uh, like there's like silver plates that have soaps on it. There's pearls and like a little like basket for you to wash your hands with that are like covered in like a soapy solvent. Can I just take one? No, Can I take no, the soap? Don't. Yeah, you take the soap. Go right ahead. Okay, I'm don't gonna take do the it, Jafael. <laughs> How do you know if she's taking anything? Listen, I've been alive for 500 years. I have, I have X-ray vision. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me when I'm in the bathroom? I, I can't help it. I can't turn it off. I'm a robot. <laughs> Stop looking in here. Whoa. Don't do it around here. The, the old man, there will be food up in the room with Mr. Leviticus Corn, uh, uh, Karth, who will be here to tell you about your job as well as, well, uh, feed you and pay you eventually. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Can I go back upstairs now? Mm. Yes, of course. Yeah, we, like, we apologize for interrupting you. Yeah, and sorry, mentally sorry. prepares himself to go back up the stairs. You hear his knees pop on the way up. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> he's old. He's like late 90s. Wait, if you're off my pop, assistance to help him walk. <laughs> Are you going to well, carry the old man? I can help you, sir. Oh, God. Uh, thank you. As he kind of sticks a. Uh, takes your arm or whatever you uh, use to help brace him and. He's gets up totally the stairs at a, a, a normal pace. Hmm. Uh, for the sake of brevity, does everybody also go upstairs, or do we continue? Cool. Kinda... Yeah, go I'll, I'll go upstairs. We'll go upstairs. Yeah, All yeah. right, as everybody heads upstairs, uh, Jeff Hale, you can add soap to your... Uh, it's a it's a small bar of, of soap. <laughs> okay. It smells like know. lavender. Oh, my God, that's my favorite. <clears throat> Don't drop it. Drops the soap and the old man just like teleports <laughs> to slow <laughs> kid. <laughs> I can hear his knees popping. Oh my God. <laughs> It's not even like the, the DBZ shoot, it's just like the popping of his joints. Man, humans are so frail, Jesus yeah. Christ. Uh, makes me glad I'm not one. Yeah. No, I'm glad as I'm you, not a human. As you enter the office of uh, Leviticus Karth, it is um, lined on the left and right side with just floor to ceiling bookcases. Uh, you can see a large a globe of Edridge that has a few different pins with strings tied on the ends going to different points. That some type of uh, uh, maybe merchant uh, roots or, or something of the sort. Uh, a large mahogany desk towards the back and you see this old um, not incredibly but like kind of middle aged uh, dwarf Stout, muscular, in a kind of burgundy suit, bald head, freshly shaved, uh, and a uh, white goatee with a curled mustache. As he sits behind his desk, just stoking on a cigar. <laughs> a pleasure to meet you, old man. What's your name? We are um, Leviticus Garth. I'm here to make sure you all get my goods back into my hands. Well, mm. my goods, as he quotates in the air. Mm. <sighs> and what are these goods? Yeah, what are we looking for? I'm sure you're politefully unaware, but when the storms roll into the bay, most of the goods are lost at sea. Some of them wash ashore. I make sure they get picked up, brought back in. But instead of just thrown away or donated, we sell them back to the owners or to others for a hefty finder's fee. I see. It's awarded me this house for everything I have. I see. 
Leviticus, if you don't mind me asking, have there been other adventurers that have looked for your goods and what happened to them? Sparrow's brow puts out a cigar and puts out a heavy sigh. Unfortunately, I've hired two other crews, but they were amateurs, my own men, meant for collecting goods and dealing with the odd bandit, not whatever this beast of Rotfin Bay is. What? Beast of Rotfin Bay? Yeah, it's what the sailors are calling it. Some monster that's out there. I don't know what it is, but they're mighty afraid of it. But you all look capable. What kind of beast are we talking about? Yeah, it could be a big dog. It could be a hill giant that got lost. I don't really know. But I don't feel like paying the Gilded Fang any to hunt a monster because they charge out the ass, so... Are, are you asking us to kill the Beast of Rotfin Bay and kill it. bring back your goods? No, yeah, well, you can leave the goods where they are, but if you deal with the the beast itself, kill it, get rid of it, marry it, I don't frankly give a fuck. Uh, but if you mm, deal with it... Who told you? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> My daughters made me aware of something called monster apologists. <laughs> Or monster fuckers, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> she told me I need to have an open mind. Leviticus, if I may ask a question. Of course. Now have a seat, have some food as uh, you Thank watch you. the servants roll in uh, yeah! the chairs. There's a uh, boar, a beautiful array of fruits, vegetables, even pasta. Something ah, that's kind of fairly rare. eating all the fucking pasta. Ah, no, right. thank you. I don't eat. Oh, sorry. My, <laughs> sorry. Sometimes my, <laughs> I've learned to control my vocal cords, but uh, I'll pass. I, I don't eat. All right. When did this beast first appear? About three weeks back is when I started hearing about it. My crew's mm. been disappear for about a month now. Hmm. Okay. Umi's not paying attention. She's just eating happily. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking to myself, how did such a small town acquire all these different types of foods and goods? Seems kind uh, of odd. Lucarth itself is a... Uh, uh, akin to like the actual Kattegat in history it is a like a trading hub people from the like oh. uh, all over the world come here uh, the capital of Ebonvale sell tools ports are very guarded and very expensive to land in so this is where the kind of the more shadier vendors come and they give off their goods so you can find very rare things here even though oh. it's such a small town they, they come in through the Lucarth docks yeah okay Oh, yeah, I see the docks right down there. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Is there anything else we should ask? Listen, the other adventurers that went out on this, uh, I mean, were they a party? Was it... Are we going to be able to do this? Are you sending us on a suicide mission? It's not a suicide mission. They're, my men, they're, they're capable, but uh, they're... Well, they're dumber than a sack of potatoes. They're they're meant to move goods. I hire them because they're strong, and uh, the average bandit wouldn't fuck with them on the road. I don't mm. hire them because they're skilled. Huh. What is your relation to this older gentleman in the room? Uh, he came with the house. The, the former mayor uh, used to work for him before those, those glamped hunters came and killed most of... The servants, mm. the guards, the mm. old mayor. I see. And when did this happen? Oh, it was about six or seven years ago. Okay. New mayor's a nice fellow. Little strict. Mm. I wonder if there's anything in the room that might catch my eye as being quite odd at all. Mm. Um, make a perception check. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'll do, do a perception it. check. Oh, yeah. All right, Connor. Uh, Connor, I mean, uh, Mr. Bubby, uh, are you? Yes, of course. Are you? <laughs> are you? Are you rolling on uh, the Beyond D and D thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I think I can capture that. Hold up. Oh really? Yeah. Let me see if I can do that. 
how do you roll on the website? So if you just click on any of the hot, like any, anything you move your mouse mm. over and it uh, selects as a hyperlink, mm -hmm. uh, you could click on that and it'll automatically roll it with the values you need. There's also a tiny dice in the bottom mm. left hand corner that'll allow you to oh, roll the manual. Yeah. Dice. Do you right. see when, yeah, my dice is selected to roll for everyone. Yeah, you yeah. See the, okay. I think, I think it ready? should pop up for me. Yeah, try it real fast. All right, I'll do a perception check. Oh, 23. Oh, nice. oh, okay. It pops up at the top. Let me... What a smart oh, uh, if you If you click on the, the arrow on the mm -hmm. the left side, mm -hmm. it should... Uh, oh, this is for Aethel. It, it oh. should bring up that whole game log. Oh, oh or, sorry, right side. Right side, the, side, the, the uh, show sidebar, that thing? Yeah. Okay. Am I on the right page? Uh, this is just the, the care, like, you should just have your character sheet up. This oh, is okay. for, uh, the, like, it shows the campaign screen. Okay. So okay. it shows everybody's stuff. And I, I can see that on my character page if I just hit the sidebar. Uh, you should. You might have to go back to the campaign screen. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. Uh, let me try that. Sorry, guys. Uh, my campaigns. Uh, view campaign. Okay, and, and then, then that sidebar. So oh, see got it. Characters. Yeah, yeah perfect. that's perfect. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I can see the rolls there. Oh. I'm going to move that over a little bit. There we go. Now I can see it. Cool. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Not a problem. Uh, oh, I saw. As you three. peer yeah. around the room, you see that there's a number of books, and most of them are nothing special uh you do see on his desk he has a large chunk of this um like black stone not quite obsidian something else that the light is shining through and refracting onto uh the floor just uh, beside his desk um mm -hmm. looks like a big paperweight maybe uh anything else uh his ashtray looks to be made of uh platinum Hmm. Uh, you being fairly learned, you kind of have a, a higher intelligence than most. You, you know, his ashtray is probably worth like fifteen hundred gold. Oh, hmm. <clears throat> hey, uh, yes, uh, Umi. Yeah. You want to grab that ashtray? What? No. What? Why, guys? Why? I mean, he's not gonna know. Why he will know. Look, he's old. Sitting <laughs> right in front of him. That's big money. <laughs> We should be. We, I don't think you'd miss it. You shouldn't yeah, yeah, yeah. steal. It's not good. It's not good. Listen, he can't take it with him when he dies, so <sighs> it's better off with us. I don't know if you guys heard, but everyone that went on this mission has died. This is a security deposit. Mm. I say we take it. I'll grab we the have, black stone we, too. We haven't even discussed payment with the kind gentleman. We could ask. Yeah, yeah. You're okay. looking for ask a him, security him. deposit, friend. I'm happy uh, to pay you partial up front. How much? Well, how much were y'all looking to earn each? $40 million. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe a, what? A, a thousand gold each? Is that enough? I That's all I need. At least 10,000 gold. 10,000, Jafael? I, I'm sorry. I, I'm in a lot of debt, okay? Uh, That's true. I'll do anything to make up for it. Who are you in debt to? <sighs> It, it was a long time ago, but I got involved in a lot of gambling stuff, and I owe a lot to someone who's a pretty big criminal. Well, if you... Are you talking about the syndicate out in Sotul? Yes. <gasps> I know oh, Rath syndicate. personally. I'll, uh... Chafael. I'll reach out. I, 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 know, I know they're their hierarchy personally and i i happen to move some of their goods i'm not even uh, from here and i know not to get involved with the syndicate I could you jafael i'm i'm sorry i had to do what i could for my family and what i just amateur. once i started gambling i just couldn't stop it's just the thrill of it i i lost myself in it and i'm trying my best to stay clean now you may be afraid but Luckily, I got friends in high places. And like I said, I, I know the uh, a few of the members that are pretty high in the organization. We'll wipe your deck clean. I can That's, have a clean deck? You can have a clean debt, yes. 
with the B and a T, get... not a C and a K. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How did I get involved with these people? Well, we don't. I was a hero, damn it! I was a hero! And so it's is an everybody. Honor to work with you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll say. Uh, what's your name again? As he points at you, Jafel. <laughs> I was taking a drink of a, a potion. Um. <laughs> Say your name, Jafel. My name? Kulun and Jafel? Well, we say your cut will be 2,500 gold. Plus, I'll wipe away your debt. The rest of you will give you 5,000 gold each. Oh. <gasps> wow! <gasps> Wait, I only get 2,500 and they get five. You have debt. You have to wipe also your debt. wiping away your it's 10 okay, K Jeff, gold. You debt. could have half of my share. Well, if I bet 2,500, I could double well, it myself. Jeff, you don't have to gamble <laughs> anymore! I'll give you half of my money! Oh, no, 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 I don't, I don't want to take anything from you. I don't, no, I promise I won't, I won't gamble it. I stop gambling, it's okay, I can help you. No, 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 I don't need help. I'm okay. Oh, God. I'll take the 2,500. I, right. I think that sounds like a good deal. Okay. And as for expenses, what do you think this is all going to cost you? Do you need to stock up on potions, pay for wagons, things like that? You got your own methods of travel. Uh... I can turn a, into a, a giant eagle. They can ride on me. So I don't think we need to. <laughs> well, 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 hold on. Oh, that's hold true. On a second. Hold on. A robot eagle? Let's not, yeah, I'm a let's druid. Not tell him that information. Oh, what do you mean, a deer? Well, we, of course our transportation is going to be expensive. We can't do this mission without transportation fees covered. Yeah, our transportation is going to be pretty expensive. <laughs> Pull a deception check at disadvantage. So okay. disadvantage means you roll twice. Mm -hmm. uh, there should be a button for it uh, when you select. The Umi's just sitting roll. there so. with her head in her mm -hmm. hands. So I press deception bombing. once and then press it twice. Uh, let me just uh, double check here. Uh, uh. Deception. How do you roll with disadvantage? Are we the bad guys? We might be. Uh, We're neither good nor bad. I'm the bad Oh my god, guy. what have I done? <laughs> um, yeah, well, so yeah, just roll it twice, just because I don't think there is a uh, an actual button for disadvantage in D&D &D Beyond. So roll it twice and take the lower number. Oh, no, there is a disadvantage. I just found it. Right click. Ah, cool. Okay, so I right click, disadvantage, yep. and then roll. Yep. Uh, 25. Dear... Fuck, fucking god, rogue. My deception is very powerful. <laughs> um, nice one, here. Oh, well, sorry about that. <laughs> when I get excited, <laughs> my, my old voice slips out. Sorry. As he kind of nods his head, all right, I can give you an additional 500 across the board for uh, any ends you might need, travel expenses, things like that. Sound fair? Wonderful, thank you. You guys think that's okay? I, I say we take it. This is way more than okay. I needed. Yes, we should take this. this I was going to ask for less. Uh, yeah, Mr. LK, we'll, uh, that sounds good to us. We'll take it. He gives you, you a, he gives you a gold pouch with the 500 gold, uh, in it. And as he's just kind of like writes something down, uh, within a ledger, reaches into a uh, strong box in a drawer and he pulls out uh 2500 gold and puts it on the table with it that'll be your uh uh advance i feel kind of uneasy what's wrong and i don't trust this guy of course i have a little bit of a sense is there any way i could perchance maybe uh find out if he's sinister or not yeah you can make a, an insight check if you're so like you're trying to figure out if he's like maybe evil or into some shady things yeah i can certainly sure. tell you he's evil <laughs> yeah make a make an insight just check. just how evil is he that's what i want to know he is involved with the syndicate oh mm. oh no oh no oh no oh no uh oh 
I've never been good at the rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I I will tell you, I've only had luck one time, and that was like a fluke. Well, I have I'm horrible sure it's fine. luck. What could go wrong? I don't think you understand. I have pretty bad luck. Next time, I have good insight. I could try. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see your six there. Um, so, he kind of... He does give off a slight... Uneasy feeling. He, he seems like he has his hands in a lot of pots. But you can't tell if he's just stealing people's goods and selling them back to them and that's the worst he's doing or if these ties to this enigma syndicate is much deeper if i may discuss amongst the group um this guy is obviously a bottom feeder he's collecting other people's property and selling it back to them at a higher cost this is not a guy who is friendly or has our best interests at heart Oh. Even if he eats Dudu, I think the deal he has for us is the best that we can get. So then why are we At the end of the day, he's giving us money. We take it and we can use it. I'd like to yeah, know what's happening. Me? Okay. Yeah, I listen, I, I only need the money. Uh, it's it's time. I I need to retire. I say we trust him. Just do cool. it. Who cares what he's up to? Okay. Listen, Umi, it's okay. You'll, you'll get your last adventure. We'll get our gold. Jafael will get out of her debt. And Nadir will probably be able to change into some random shit for us, which would be sick. So I, let's yeah. just do it. Come on. We accept your offer. We accept. Accept. Perfect. And as he motions to the gold on the edge of his desk, you have any questions for me now? Or will that be all? What do you guys mm. think? Hmm. Mm. Let me think. I, th I feel like there's a question we can ask him here that'll help us greatly. Ah. Oh. Where do you recommend we begin our journey? Uh, I would supply somewhere in town, uh, whether it be at the uh, the market, Lydia's, or uh, Crack Danker. Hmm. Uh, rest up if you need plan uh i can send word get you free rooms at the sunken ship in that sounds okay. nice i, I yeah. wouldn't mind resting my nuts and bolts if i may i'd like to try and steal something what do you sure what, what do you want to steal i want to steal the thing that was refra reflecting light or refracting oh the dark oh, the obsidian the thing mm -hmm, i would like to take it sure uh, make a sleight of hand check. Umi's looking okay. at Nadir. What is your strength? Oh, what? oh, uh, my strength is plus four. Okay, so yeah, oh, uh, over, just a, oh, overall, just uh, just a regular sleight of hand check. Then, if you were at a low strength, I was gonna have you roll with disadvantage because it is quite heavy. Okay, but you're strong just, enough. I did one roll, should I do it again? Or oh, yeah, no, just uh, regular roll, just okay, fine. okay. Uh, Oh, 23. 23, okay, <sighs> goddamn. As you motion up to grab the gold, you kind of nod to him, giving a, a pleasant smile. He grins to you as he's shuffling through his cigar box. He doesn't notice as you grab the gold. Very extravagantly, you grab the rock and just kind of put it behind your back. Give a mm. bow and tuck it into your satchel. Wonderful. Umi's looking at him with a very disapproving look, and she's, uh, her little snaggle tooth at the bottom is coming out of her mouth because she's scowling. Okay. Silence. Don't say anything. <clears throat> Shall we go to the inn for the evening to prepare? Yes. I'm pretty tired. Yeah. I I'd say it's time to rest. I want to play with my soap. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. Uh, I'm, I'm really tired, sorry. Hmm. Yeah, let's As get out of here, guys. All promptly leave uh, Leviticus's manor. Head throughout the town. You see people are kind of winding down for the day. Most of the uh, townsfolk, farmers in the uh, neighboring area, workers uh, and merchants are all heading towards the sunken ship inn. 
The day is over and it is time for respite and drinks. As you make your way in, you see the large L-shaped building. A uh, front half of a ship can be seen sticking out of the top. Uh, what looks to be a, an old wreck. Moss is growing on it and some vines that go from the ship's uh, front, uh, front end all the way over to the uh, tree that looks to be in the backyard uh, of the manor itself. Wonderful. As you head inside, you hear the bustling voices as people are singing, uh, people are yelling amongst themselves. <laughs> it's 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 a fairly packed house. You hear uh, a kind of uh, a barmaid screaming at another patron, uh, kind of trying to settle an argument. You're unsure of what kind of all the different yelling and screamings just droning out over each other. <laughs> Am I the only one that didn't steal anything? Uh, I didn't either. I wanted to, but I'm the only one who stole something. Uh, why, no, what, Jafael stole why too. You, why did you? Why? Oh, why I have a pet? Um, may I change into a human form? Sure, of course. Do you do it discreetly and kind of like pull up your hood, pull it back down, or mm -hmm. exactly? I right. maybe go off into the toilet, the restroom. Okay. Turn to a human and come back out. All right. You, uh, there's a large drunken orc kind of uh, just urinating in the trough. Sorry, this fucking big store rolling in. Kind of looks at you as you walk in and then walk out. Completely different person. Mm. Fucking hell. As he continues just urinating in the trough, <laughs> slightly trying to stay awake. <laughs> what did you say, punk? Sorry, what'd you say, punk? <laughs> Why are you in the urinal? What'd you say about my friends? I I transformed into a a little a little rat. I was too big to fit through the door, uh, so I was scurrying around. You're a transformer. Are you a transformer? Yeah, yeah. I can I can transform into animals. Isn't that right? What? What are you yeah, transforming on bathrooms? <laughs> I'm a druid. I'm a druid. I can turn into like little robotic animals. I'm an animal, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'd see this small rat on your shoulder that is made of uh, wood and metal and iron and mm. just kind of perched up on your shoulder. It looks like a little, like, ye old go butt. Hey, Nadir, how's it going? <laughs> God, what the fuck is this? Oh, Jesus. Really? It's fuck me. you, rat. Right? He's talked to you. Oh. It's me, Big Rig. Are we talking in Dwarven? Uh, this is like a, a big orc, just kind of like the same one that was pissing, just kind of like wonderful. I speak over. orc as well. What the he's, fuck? He's, he's speaking in common. <laughs> oh, he's speaking actually, in common. Yeah, you've one. named every language I actually speak. Oh, he's speaking in common. Okay. Yeah, he's mind. speaking. Most people will speak in common unless I just state otherwise. Mm. May I reply an orc to sure. show him that I understand? Sure. Hmm. So he's drunk and pissing. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. When he like well, turns to you, it's just like uh, like out of the trough, onto the floor, back he's into pissing the trough. Everywhere. Yeah. Oh god. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'd be offended that he pissed me. What's your way you're fucking pissing, you stupid orc? Hey, Nadir, it's, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't just chill, chill, chill. But I tell him that in an orc, of course. He kind of. If you told him this in common, he'd be offended, he'd be mad, he'd probably get into your face, but mm -hmm. just hearing his native tongue, he kind of stumbles over to the end of the trough, you know, fine, and kind of turns, walks, urinates all over the floor, finishes up, leaves, doesn't wash his hands, goes about his business. <laughs> I'm like clinging on to Jeffrey and I'm like, oh my god, they're totally gonna start a fight in the bathroom. <laughs> I can smell it from over here. As, <laughs> as you two are standing at the front of the tavern, you would see the, the door bust open. A large, burly orc comes out. He fucking makes it talks in there as he goes and sits down uh, with a group of humans that look to be uh, ship workers. Hmm. Oh, God. Hmm. Well, how much is a pint of ale in this establishment? Uh, do you make your way up to the uh, the main bar? Yes, sorry. Sure. Yeah, my bad. Oh, no, it's okay. Uh, you head on up, and you would see a human uh, 
very tan skin, uh, large muscular arms, kind of a rotund stomach. Um, picture like the dad from Fo that uh, that butcher from Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, <laughs> and of course. Very very heavy, rough facial hair, like a scowling face. So he looks to you, kind of looks you up and down, shakes his head. Uh, and I will be uh, two copper. If you're looking for anything more refined, prices go up from there. If you're looking for liquor, it's a silver and up. Wines are a gold. Hmm. I, I don't. I don't think we should waste our money on on alcohol at this time. I believe he's trying to shortchange me. <laughs> You May don't trust sense. anybody, do you? He looked at me, and he was inquiring that he saw my clothes and that I'm not one of these people here. But you he are one me of extra. these people. May I do an insight? Sure. Roll? Okay. Let's yep. just do it. Okay. Uh, insight roll? Oh no, 18. So low. Compared to my usual twenties, <laughs> as you uh, as you kind of look him up and down, be staring at you firmly, a gaze unbreaking. Uh, he's not shortchanging you. Their prices are decent, <laughs> a little more expensive, but uh, not to okay. get into the nitty gritty. But the, the economy is kind of booming right now, so people have a little mm. more money than usual. Okay, I'm looking around the tavern, counting how many patrons there are, and uh, what is the number I come to? Uh, roll an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, intelligence, where's that? Uh, wait, where's intelligence? <laughs> Inside uh, intimidation, investigation. Should be up at the top where you see, like, uh, your ah. strength and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, let me roll. Uh, 10. Hmm. Uh, there's. You kind of look and you one, two, skip a few. There, there's, like, maybe anywhere between 100 and 300 people in here. Holy a little fuck. dumb, aren't we, Nadir? And I assume <laughs> 100 copper makes a silver? Uh, yes. I reckon we should buy everybody a pint of ale here. Uh, what? What? Why not? It's only Again, two copper what? and ale. Wait, 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 what wait, 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 wait. Why? I think, Why? That's a, I think that's a good idea. Maybe we could buy everyone a drink, get them drunk a little bit, take mm -hmm. them back to our... Or, uh, never mind. We could... Get them drunk a little bit. We can ask them questions, and plus, exactly. we're new here. They know we're not from here. Listen, we need insight on this beast of Rotfin Bay. Maybe they'll open up we after a few drinks. Yeah. So it'll cost, what, maybe two, three gold tops to buy everyone a pint of ale? Yeah. Yeah, you can turn all of that into even more money because you <clears> We have 2,500. You mm, are a mm. gambling fiend, Jaffael. This is not good. Gentlemen at the bar, I would like oh. to purchase you all an ale of your choosing for two coppers. Go ahead, it's on us. Dear God! Omi's <sighs> just like shaking, like, and she, her little light at the top of her head is like really bright because she's really nervous and scared. Oh, so much for not making a scene. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh God, why? Why, 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 why did I agree to come here? <laughs> For money, it's for money, remember. <laughs> I'm not doing this for money, I was doing it for adventure. Nadir, but you I get swear money to too. <laughs> Nadir, you better know what you're doing. No, this is a good yes. idea. Well, again, as I haven't told you guys already, but I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for the truth. I want to find out what's really happening here. Yeah, sure, I believe you. I don't like <laughs> feeling like somebody thinks that they can... Pull the rug underneath me. I like always what? having the upper hand. You just don't trust anyone. Precisely. Why? Mm, Who hurt well, you, dear? I'm sure we'll find out. You know, people are inherently good, you know. I, I don't doubt that. I believe that people can be good and people can be bad. And I like to make sure that people who are doing bad things mm. maybe get a taste of their own medicine. <sighs> <sighs> Money is just a means to an end. That's right. That's why I'm doing it. Oh god, me too. Oh shit, wait. What did, is all of your reasoning? Did something happen to Why nightmare? are you here? Oh god. God is did gone. Did his internet die? 
Uh, yeah, I think, I think so. You, we, we, we should dis discuss while all the drinks are being poured. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit, I hope he's okay. We can discuss. What is your reasoning for being here, Umi? Well, I mean, I just wanted to adventure it's and It's dangerous, meet. right? Yeah, of course it's dangerous. Hmm. But, but, but I helped save, I helped save a planet one time. And that what? was dangerous. Oh. Yeah. You saved a planet? Yeah, You're I a real did. hero. I did. I did a lot of heroic things, even though I was kind of scared. But but I but I did them, and 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 I just wanted to go on one more adventure. But you guys are kind of weird. Okay, you're but, a bard, I'm not correct? saying anything bad. Yeah, I'm a bard. What, what instruments do you play? I I don't I I don't really play any instruments. What do you do then? I sing. Well, I'm sure these common folk here would love to hear a song with their new beer. Yeah. It's been uh, so long since I've heard music. It'd be a really good distraction. I mean, we'd love to hear you sing. Guys, cook, cook, cook. Again, we're new yeah. here. They're going to be suspicious. We should provide entertainment with our... Yeah, but, but you know, I have yeah, a healing voice. And, yeah. and my voice is magical. And, and every time I sing, I, 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 there's weird status effects and stuff. And, it, you know, this is, uh, you know I haven't really had time to... Sing? What kind of status effects? Uh, it, 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 I kind of heal people with my voice. Oh. Well, I'm sure everybody here would want to be healed. Yeah, this seems like the kind of place where they could use it. Oh God! Plus, it'd be nice. It's a good way to pass the time until our DM, or I mean, until the bar closes. Until well, God I, I, I'm just assuming that you know we want everyone to be as happy as possible, so yeah. they're willing to answer any of our questions. That's right. right. They need to trust mm -hmm. us so we can get some info. Yeah, we have to lull them into a false sense of mm. security. Yeah, yeah. Are you asking me to use my voice to hypnotize people? To make no. them... To trick yes. them? Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. No, it's, I mean, it's yes. tricking them into feeling more comfortable. Yeah. I think that's a noble pursuit. We really need <laughs> this. I think so, too. I don't know, I that it. sounds kind of sinister to me. Please, Umi, my soul needs to be healed. I am uh, ah. torn asunder by temptation every day of my life, and this is the only thing that can keep my mind off of it. I'm back. Uh, hello, God. <laughs> you okay? I, I Welcome am, back, I God. Yeah, my power surged and everything <gasps> died. Oh, oh, fuck. Are you okay? Do you want to take, oh, yeah, I, take like a minute oh, to get it back? Oh, oh, we're good. I'm just opening a ping and, and everything oh, else. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. You must have taken too much electricity. Oh, no, I just live in the ass of the world. I live up here in Alaska. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 that's right. The world? Yeah, yeah, up by Alaska. It, it's awful. Wait, what? You live by Alaska? Yeah. Hmm? I don't live Whoa. in a real place. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. Someone said Brazil? Alaskan. My roommates who are, are watching in the living room says we're uh, we're out viewing Amaranth right now, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, I love Amaranth. <laughs> yeah, wasn't 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 She's super nice. Wasn't Mel on Amaranth's channel today? Yeah, her and Mel are having so a, they're having a hot tub stream. That's cool. All right. I, I want to be in a cool Happen to hear any of our conversation we were having? Uh, I heard uh, a little bit at the very mm. e like end. <laughs> oh, I yeah. see. Uh... Well, Umi has an idea, don't you, Umi? Um, I, I it's not really my idea per se. Oh, you came up with it a ball by yourself. <laughs> what are you guys gaslighting me? What is happening? No, no, no. Good. Tell him your yeah. idea. Yeah. She she had like the the goodness in her heart. She, mm -hmm. she came up with the idea to sing to mm. help everyone in the bar feel more at peace with themselves. Strike the patrons the have a great to... time. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, Umi. Umi, this you're is so your best kind. idea yet. You're like an angel. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> yeah, can we roll? Can I roll a deception check on Umi or something? What am I doing here? <laughs> roll a gaslight check. Am I rolling uh, a gaslight check? Roll a gaslight check and <laughs> roll roll a uh, roll a, a deception check, and Draw. then Umi roll an insight check. Ooh. Okay. An insight check. Ooh, yeah. you're gonna hate this. Twenty three. <laughs> Be yeah, because it's a rogue. You're. It's yeah. Holy shit. Why are you so OP? I, I, I are broken in fifth edition. My insight check. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> you feel something is odd, but you have this weird inkling to believe him. You feel a pat on your back of me pushing you. 
kind of insinuating, go on then. <laughs> okay. <sighs> uh, I guess I could sing something. Uh, I'll turn on my disco ball real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Jafael, get uh, light a match real fast. Put it up against my arm. There, I was going to say, there is a bard on the stage currently that seems to be uh, singing. Uh, if you oh. want help, I would give you an advantage on the performance. What do I have to ask him? Yeah, what do we uh, do? He's currently singing. Uh, I had a custom song recorded for this. Oh, oh, oh. go ahead, go ahead. Oh. I'll just we'll give it to Ethel, and then he can he can uh, he can play it. It's like thirty seconds. Oh. Uh, so let my let me there it is. Nope, that is not it. And I, I assume everybody got their free drink, right? They're very happy. Oh yes, as you kind of uh, pay the bartender, uh, the barmaid goes over, rings the bell, and you just hear everybody cheer. A few people look to you, clap. Some even who are nearby you, like pat you on the shoulder. Uh, everybody seems very, very pleasantly happy. Yeah. Fantastic. Just grabbing the song. Uh... While he does that, I take a match and I light it on uh, Big Greg's arm. Oh, All right. Look, look at the lights. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> and then uh, I do it again. <laughs> this should cheer everybody up. I'm watching in bewilderment. It's like the Northern Lights. Oh, I'm very, I'm, I'm very curious and wide-eyed. No, it's my fine. Little, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my it's... little light on my antenna is going like... <laughs> so a very young bard uh, is playing just on the stage, uh, rousing everybody up, and he seems to be singing about... Your very quest Whoa. to the beast of Rockfin Bay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, uh, listen carefully. Wait, can I? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, let me let me do this so that they can hear it at the same time. I'll just play sure. it over my. Uh... Sorry. Yeah. Let me put it in my sampler. Oh, it's lore. Gather weary travelers, I have a tale to tell. It might oh. just save your lives, but only if you listen well. There before the breakers, and just along the way. There's a sign that says beware, the beast of Rotfin Bay. Oh. Some say he's a cuppy, a kid through in the sea. He ate so many sailors, now he's bigger than a tree. His teeth are sharp as scissors, his claws they are like knives. And if you think he's ugly, wait till you see his insides. Oh, don't you sail and don't you row and certainly don't you swim. Cause if you aren't careful, you'll end up inside of him. He'll eat you up and spit you out, you better stay away. Heed the sign that says beware, the beast of Rodfin Bay. Oh, yeah. Oh. <gasps> that was incredible. As he's hopping from table to table, singing oh. and strumming on his lute, he bows the crowd, cheers, and everyone goes back to drinking, and the stage is Woo! clear. Mm. Well, it seems like this whole town knows about Rodfin. They said that you can go inside it. Yeah. You think somebody's been inside and came out the other Maybe. end to tell the tale? <gasps> no pun intended. If not, I hope we can be the first. Ah, uh, what do you mean, Jafael? You want to be eaten? Uh, no, I don't want to be eaten. I just want to know what the insides look like. What don't you ever get curious about that? What the fuck? Please don't tell me my little song scared you there. Whoa. Uh, yeah, the, I'm really terrified. The bard walks up to the group of you. Hey, uh, 
We really liked your song. Fantastic job. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I walk up to him very excited because I'm also a bard and I'm like, oh my god, that was so amazing. Oh, well, it is my pleasure to entertain. So, uh, can I buy you all around, or was that you lot that bought everybody around here? Mm, that was us. That was Nadir. Yeah, that oh, was well. Nadir. Yeah, he... Thank you for the drink, as he reaches behind the counter, takes a bottle, pops it, just starts knocking it back. Can we <laughs> ask what your name is? My name's Gil. Gil. Uh, I've been travel in these parts trying to get new songs not from around here but trying to write my own original music you know make it big uh, well, I think you're on some, your way heard some fellas down the down the way singing it and how did Thought you hear about catchy. the oh, the, the sailors are all terrified they won't go down into the bay most of the ships are docked hmm. uh, do you know of anyone who survived seeing this beast skill uh not Really? Uh, th there is a there is a feller down by the docks that says it's a, uh, like a giant. Mm. It's like 10 feet tall, or it's got big claws. But uh, mm. I think he's a little lost in the drink. What? <laughs> of course. You said all the ships are docked? Yeah, the, nobody, none of the crews really want to move. They all say that there's some type of monster and that they refuse to captains be damned. Wait a second. I, I'm stuck here otherwise. I have no way back to Lithandriel. I thought I thought that this whole town, I thought they depended on docking and, and importing. They are, do. Are, are you saying the whole town is basically at a standstill? <gasps> Guys. That's I, like when the Kraken was here like seven years back. Hmm. Oh what God. happened to the Kraken? They're really not from around here. There's a group, a, a, a guild of monster hunters. Uh, one of their uh, hunting parties called the Glemt Hunters. Mm. Local heroes. Uh, they went out to the bay, stole a ship, killed the Kraken real easy, and mm. they fed the town for weeks. Wow. They, they ate the Kraken? Oh, yeah, you can eat anything if you're brave enough. How did they oh. kill the Kraken? Surely it's large and hard to hit in water. Oh, look. The Glemps Hunters are mighty amazing. They've failed kingdoms and gods. Mm. Holy shit. Why haven't they taken out the Beast of Rotfin Bay? Yeah, probably too small time. Mm. That's small Makes time? Sense. Are you saying that uh, the Beast of Rotfin Bay is causing more trouble than a Kraken? Uh, I think it's probably, probably causing as much trouble as a Kraken. Holy but like, shit. The Gilded Fang, or the Glemt Hunters, they, they took off over that Kraken, like when they were, they were just wee little, small hunters like yourselves. And now they're, well, off killing big things. Ah. Uh, hmm. I see. I see, I see. I see. Well, you know, surely Gil, you're getting a little tired. Maybe you want to take a break and allow someone else to try and do a song. Our friend here, <laughs> Umi, is actually a bard herself and quite an but astonishing of course. one of Yeah, that'd be great. Um, Perhaps you uh, could get some inspiration. Of course. I'll sit back, watch, and uh, enjoy. Enjoy the drink. It's on us. Thank you. Yeah, great to meet you, Gil. And good luck. Nods his head, takes his loot, kind of slings it around his back, and he lets you take the stage. The loot. I, can't, I can't follow up that act. He can play the loot. I don't even know how to play an instrument. I can play the bagpipes. What? <laughs> I can do the bagpipes. <laughs> Let's serenade the ta tavern with. I can hear my soap. I can play the bagpipes while you sing. Can yeah. I play the bagpipes? I can play the bagpipes. Well, where are the bagpipes? In my rucksack, of course. How does it carry bagpipes with me this whole time? What? Well, they're very small. They fold in on themselves. It's actually a lot more compact than you think. Oh. Interesting. Dear, you are a very intriguing man. Get on the stage, Umi. Come on. Yeah, come on, Umi. Are you coming? Yeah, remember... to get on the stage? Yeah, we have to make everyone happy. Yeah, Everyone's waiting. The plan. There's silence in the bar in anticipation. Okay, Umi, Umi gets on the stage and her legs are really shaky and she's really, really nervous because she's not used to... Uh, doing this because she hasn't done it in a really long time. 
You hear a yell out from the crowd. You got this! Don't worry! Come on, Umi! <laughs> Umi, you're my hero! <laughs> Even though I just met you. And then Umi sings a song. <laughs> okay. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was gonna sing for real, right? <laughs> no. Roll performance. Performance time. I'll say with advantage. With advantage? Yeah, because you, you had all this encouragement. Uh, I believe it's just right-clicking. Right-clicking... Performance? Okay. Whoa! No. Oh, wow, 20. <gasps> all right. Whoa. I'm an incredible nice. performer. So, you play a song, a song of your own creation, not jumping from table to table, but having everyone's attention focused on you, you do feel the nerves build up. But as you lose yourself in the song, they begin to subside. You begin to feel the, even the musical notes themselves wrap around you, and as this siren's call rings out, everyone seems at peace. The little bit of fear that was in the air of the song about the beast dissipates. Mm. I'm going to give everybody an inspiration. Yay! Mm -hmm. inspiration! Mm. Thanks, Umi. You're welcome. Umi, that was beautiful. Scammed! Oh god, I was pissed because I didn't see <laughs> <sing> for you. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, we're on Discord. The quality will be atrocious. <laughs> <That's true>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, with that being said, anything else you want to do in the tavern or in the town? Or do you want to rest up and move along um, to you, heading to the bay? Do you guys think there's any more information we can get about the beast? Oh, I wonder if we should ask some people some questions. Yeah. We've worked so hard to set the mood. Is there yeah, anyone... they might be pretty sauced up. Yeah, is there mm. anyone in the bar that looks like they might be a, a, a seafarer? A seaman, if you will? Uh, mm, well... We... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, we should go definitely <laughs> ask uh, that sea... That, that uh, guy at the docks that he said... That he oh, told us about. Yeah, oh, yeah. We could go there. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. I wonder if we should talk to the drunken orc who is associating with humans. There's also, yeah, there are three uh, tables filled with uh, different crews. Uh, mm. There is uh, the crew of... Uh, the crew of the Rolling Boulder, the crew of the Evangelist, and mm. the crew of the Cujo. Whoa. Oh. What's, what's the Cujo? Uh, they look to be a uh, fairly quiet seafaring crew. They're all just kind of sitting around drinking um, what looks to be a clear liquor. Huh. Mm. That's the hard stuff. Maybe we should ask them. I suppose you, we could. You want to? Yeah, can we go mm. up and, and, and talk to them? And see what they sure. know? You all head up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're all going to make our way up. Heading up to the crew, they're quietly kind of discussing amongst themselves, whispering to the man on the left or the right. Um, they're all wearing what looks to be... Uh, pressed white uh, tunics and uh, almost the only ship crew that looks to be in uniform here. They have uh, um, layered metal plate uh, breastplates, so they're a little lighter and a little more maneuverable. Um, they look to be mercenaries, maybe, mm. uh, not your typical merchant crew. And they're just sort of talking amongst themselves. Uh, one, a an elf bare, very pale skin, long pointed ears, uh, and kind of pulled back uh, curly uh, red hair. Looks towards uh, whoever kind of fronts the group. Uh, How can I help you? I, uh, 
It's been so long since I've seen an elf. Uh, I, I went to war with you. Uh, what is it now, 50, 100 years ago? Fought side by side. I, I thought I'd never see another one. Huh. I do loosely remember the odd person. Looking like yourself, rolling around the Cortic Wars. Uh... <sighs> Have a seat. Uh, Michael, Nabat, get... Move. Go to the bar. Go to the whorehouse. I don't care. Let a friend sit. As you see a few men get up and move mm. on. Uh, unlike the other crews, this entire crew is male. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I well, what an elf is doing in these parts. Yeah, can, can we ask him what they're doing here? Why are they in this town? Sure. Uh, what do you say? Uh, I just want to ask them why they're here. What are they up to in this town? We're just trying to get from this part to the next. We're looking for work. There's no war here. There's no war in most places, so we're hoping to restock here, make our way around Ebonvale, stop off and sell tool for the uh, <laughs> pleasantries, and then make our way to Lithandriel. We heard there's a civil way, civil war brewing. Ah, uh, I Hoping see. to uh, take advantage of it. I see. Did you have any trouble uh, sailing into this this port? Uh, the storms were oddly harsh, uh, unnatural almost. The waves were slapping the sides of the ship. Uh, we lost a few people. Really, from the storm or something else? Yeah, the sh the ship itself rocking. They went overboard. Uh. And you we have a simpler vessel. You couldn't rescue them from the water? What happened to them? They went under. We never saw them again. What? But you're s seafaring people. Shouldn't they be able to swim? They can. That's how harsh the waves were. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a horrible way to die. C can I ask you something else? Of course. Did you see anything in the water? Something dark? Any shadows? I didn't see any... Not that you meant shadows, maybe. Shadows. Not in the water, but in the sky. In the sky? Hi. <gasps> like in the clouds? Like something in the clouds was what? manipulating what the waters. You... What the fuck? Oh, a sky beast. What? Hmm. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm going to look at the rest of the party and kind of like catch up with them. And like it just confirm what we actually heard. Yeah. Do you guys still want to do this? Of course. We have to. Yeah. I mean, this is what the fourth person we've heard today say something. I don't know, kind of scary. I, I listen. I, I've only known you guys for a little bit, but I don't want to see anything happen. If I'm going to die, it's going to be to a badass monster. That's for sure. I kind of want to see what it looks like. Holy uh, fuck. Uh, you don't think it's a b bird, do you? Uh. <laughs> no, there hasn't been a griffin seen around these parts in quite some time. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Yeah, don't worry, me. Okay. Well, <clears throat> listen, I, I know I'm made out of nuts and bolts and, and metal and wood. I've got nothing to fear, but if you guys are down still and it doesn't scare you, I say we do it. Should we ask these guys anything else? Hmm. No, I think this guy's told us everything he's going to tell us. I think so too. What do you guys say we make it down to the docks and talk to the, the guy that Gil told us about? Yeah, mm. yeah, let's go. Okay, uh, uh, I had a little bit too much, uh, motor oil. I'm going to use the little robot's room. I'll be right back. <laughs> Once <laughs> you make your way to the uh, the restroom, the little robots room. I'll really, I'll re like really be right back. All right. Uh, what are he the, really the has to go to the robots room. Yeah, it's 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 so vigorous. He doesn't want to describe it. Uh, um, what, can I can I say something really quick? Yeah, of so course. There's a uh uh my character is has narcolepsy. Yeah. 
<laughs> I, uh, I was reading that on the wiki. Oh, right. Yeah, she has narcolepsy, so whenever oh it's time God. for me to take my medicine, she just falls asleep. So I'm going to be falling asleep in like 10 minutes. Uh, please yeah, drag my body fun. anywhere you want. Oh my God. I'll, I'll save the, on you. for the sake of... What, uh, what do you mean? No, you have to take care of me. Javel will. Uh, yeah, I can carry her on my back. Like, she's probably smaller than me, right? Yeah, I'm not that big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was um, this creature at the docks? Uh, there was a man at the docks who's, who has survived. He's been sitting at the docks just for the sake of uh, uh, time. Uh, there, a man at the docks who's been sitting there. His, his crew never made it. Uh, he was the only one to survive. He swam into the bay, and he's been sitting at the dock ever since, waiting for survivors. Hmm. I see him. What do you think? I think we should talk to him. We should, but I'm trying to think of the best way to approach talking him that will allow us for the highest chance of success. Yeah, we don't want to scare him off. I think we should wait until the robot guy comes back. I think so too. In the meantime, let's discuss possible plans of action. Okay, okay. Mm. 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 We don't know anything about this guy, do we? At all. We don't know what he looks like. We don't know what he's... uh, but he enjoys doing with his spare time. You can ask no, nothing. around. Can we ask around? Yeah, there are, there are people all over the tavern. Guards, I'd like uh, to, other merchants, even monster hunters are here. I'd like to approach the bar, and as I approach the bar, I see someone standing there, and I want to inquire if they know anything about this gentleman and his crew. Sure. Um, Make a perception check. I'll okay. give you a rundown of who's at the bar. 21. Uh, oh my god. How you do you keep doing that? The rogues. Easy. Rogues and bards are busted. <laughs> oh, except for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's okay. You can swim really fast. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we might need that later. The... At the bar, you see one of the city watch, uh, a what looks like a monster hunt, hunter who has a hook on his belt, like a, a hunter's hook. Mm-hmm. Um, and you see a hooded figure, maybe a ranger of types, a sailor, and what looks like a samurai. Whoa. A samurai. Uh, he's the samurai looks to be in his like late thirties, early forties. He's kind of got a, a salt and pepper beard, hair pulled oh, back. His, his armor's weathered. Oh, oh shit! I, I requested to join the room again. I think it broke. Oh, you need to let me in the room. I'm going to join you. I think. <laughs> oh, I guess maybe. Who should we talk to? Who should I say hi to? Um, the hooded guy seems kind of. All right. He would know something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hooded guy. Okay. Yeah. Go I approach the hooded guy and. I eagerly say something along the lines of, hmm, it sucks what happened to that crew. Did you hear about it? As the individual turns to you, uh, they look to be a female half-elf. Hmm. Uh, they have golden eyes, and they seem kind of uh, heavily scarred on the right side of their face. <gasps> the reason for the hood. Oh. Looks like the entire right side of their body was burned. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It is sad, but it could be worse. There's plenty of ships that crash. It's why Leviticus makes all his money. Mm. Yes, I don't trust this Leviticus fellow. Don't trust him, and I don't trust his brother. His brother? Oh, he has a brother? brother? Yes, uh, his brother, the former mayor of the town, before Simon took over. Oh. You are not from around here, are you? No. no. None of us are. No. That's all right. Uh, well. Simon uh, took over the town. He was a, the captain of the watch. He became mayor. It was meant to be temporary, but the city loves him. He's a good man. He's usually around here somewhere. Mm. He drinks with his regular men that he kind of came up with in the watch. Hmm. Mm. Uh, as for Leviticus's brother, he was killed by the Gilded Fang. They 
group of monster hunters came in, went to help him with a problem, found out he was smuggling orphans from the Wayward Orphanage uh, into Bagram, and they killed him. What? I think I heard about oh. that. I think I heard about that. Hmm. Where did you hear that from? So I can pick up radio frequencies. <laughs> There's radio in this world. He, he heard it. He heard it in the in the way lines of magic itself. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that guy who's waiting at the dock. What's his deal? Why is he just standing there waiting? I believe he's part of some crew that uh, crashed. He just mutters about being guilty. Hmm. Do you happen to know what any of his crew looked like? Uh, common sailors, unfortunately. They were mm. regulars to the docks. They would come in quite often. Mm. I'd see them here almost nightly. <sighs> mm. I see. Mm. I'm thinking. Mm. I have a rather evil plan, but what? it could work. Evil? What's up? What, what do you have? Well, if we can, if I can somehow get a, an accurate description of one of his crew, I can change into their appearance, and maybe I act all surprised and, and oh my god, it's my other crew member at the dock. What, what happened? Tell me. Well, uh, I could tell you what they were dressed like. That the ship was big enough. You might not even, he might not even have to know your face. Just looking like any sailor. I think his name's Randall. Hmm. Randall. Okay. Right. Let's do it. Are you sure? They yeah. Con they converted an old warship into a merchant rig. They were able to carry three times the amount that any other ship could. <laughs> hmm. What do you guys think? Sounds kind of dangerous. I think it's worth it. You think so? I think so. <laughs> Right, well, let's let's use his own uh, sadness <laughs> against him to get information. Oh. <laughs> I really do think we're the bad guys. It, it no, can no, make him no, happy. No, 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 no. We do whatever happen. it takes to get uh, the information we need. Mm. Right, with my newfound information, I think we head to the docks. All right. Let's do it. And as you shift yourself on the way there into a... Wait! Kind of... mm -hmm. What is it? I gotta go. You're about to fall asleep now. As her head dips and takes it off. Oh <laughs> I, I go over and I, I pick her up and I just oh like throw her over my shoulder like a sack of potatoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just kind of carry her through the streets. Nobody really bats an eye, assuming she drank too much. As you make your way down to the dock and shift yourself into a common sailor, sleeves rolled up, a kind of leather vest, um, a, a red sashed belt uh, around your waist and mm -hmm. uh, like a bandana on your head. Um, any race you really want. Um, you mm -hmm. see a man sitting at the end of the dock. His hair mm -hmm. long and scraggly looks to be a half orc. Um, pretty, pretty skinny. Uh, he's got broad shoulders and he looks to be about six foot three, but he's mm -hmm. very slender. Um, mm -hmm. In decent shape, being a, a sailor, mm -hmm. but he just sits there watching out as the moon begins to rise over the horizon. Mm. I wonder, should I go in the water and then come out of the water as if I've just uh, washed ashore, if you will? Uh, how about mm. this? Why don't I transform into a boat and you can row up to shore on me ah yes <laughs> let's do it okay as you're a warforged i'll allow it <laughs> <laughs> typically druids can't become boats but you know fuck it um <laughs> you're basically a gobot um, <laughs> around where you can't see all right you gotta make your way into one of the other docks and kind of sail around heading towards him Hmm. Okay. Uh, what was his name again? Do we know his name or we don't know his name? Randall. Randall? His name Randall. is Randall. Randall. Yeah. Okay. Mm. As we come into sight of Randall, I assume this is now? Yes. Yeah, you can mm. see him sitting on the dock. Are all of you on the ship? The little boat? Uh, just oh. me riding. Okay, so, just so me you're just, just sailing. Kind of it would rowing. be too suspicious if we had a cleric and a druid. <laughs> <artist. laughs> yeah, I, I found this fish woman. Uh, uh, <laughs> 
I caught a big beast. <laughs> Being a changeling, I I want to put on a good act for Randall. <clears throat> All right. So you yeah. make your way up, and he's just kind of staring into the water, just muttering to himself. Goatee. 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 Okay. Right. Randall! Randall, it's, it's me! Ra I, I, thought, I thought I was the only one who made it. What, what, where have you been? What happened? I've been here. I've been, I've been waiting and no, one, no one's come. I've, I've been all alone. I've been so alone. As he starts kind of sobbing. Randall, I thought I was the only one who made it. What, what happened? Well, the, the boat, it, 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 it went on the other side, and the sails were in the water, and, the, and then everything broke. I, I, I've been, I've been waiting. Oh, I haven't seen out anyone. Oh, it's just been me and Gibbs, as he holds up, kind of from behind him, this, like, really scraggly-looking tabby cat. Hmm. Hmm. Well, did, did you see what happened, Randall? You know, I was... I was asleep, right, when it all happened. So, w oh, what happened? I heard it. I heard. I heard the, the laughing, and I heard. Uh, I, heard, I heard. I heard the ship crack, like like someone was grabbing it. It was. It was scary. The the, the whole kitchen fell apart. Oh my gosh. What? What do you think, Dred? What do you think? <sighs> Keep going. Listen, mm, I, 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 I know, inquire? I, I'm trying to think. What should I inquire? Mm. He believes it. He definitely th thinks it's ours. Yeah. He seems to be a simpler. Yeah, yeah that's that, what that, I'm, that, I'm like... tired. <laughs> I don't think there's too much going on up top. I, I, I think we got this. Okay. <clears throat> well, Randall, mate, like, how did you survive this? No offense, but I, I thought everyone else died. Oh, I, I've not been good at fighting very much, but uh, uh, Randall can cook and Randall can swim. Hmm. It's odd that only Randall would make it out alive. Yeah. Uh, ask him, did he swim back to shore? Hmm. Randall, mate, you didn't swim back to shore, did you? No, I, I swam, and then and then another boat saw me. Uh, I was I was struggling. I was holding up Gibbs. I I, I didn't want him to to drown. He can't swim very good. R Randall, who, whose boat was this, mate? Uh, uh, it's uh, that one there. As he points over to the hmm. uh, the uh, the evangelist, hmm. you can see kind of a big lettering across the back. Okay. Hmm. Evangelist. What do we do with that information? Uh, wait, the evangelist. It, that's the group that we talked to at the uh, sunken ship. No, that that was the crew of the Cujo. Oh, the Cujo. Mm. Oh fuck. Yeah. Oh yeah. Who are the evangelists then? Uh, just a, like a sailing vessel. It looks to just be potentially a pirate ship. You're unsure. Ah, hmm. and their boat is still intact. Yep, completely. There are some. There are about four boats in total in the dock. Uh, one smaller one, and then three uh, larger sailing vessels. Hmm. Can we can we ask Randall if if so he he sails with the evangelists now? No. Oh, good. Let me just ask. Yeah, you, yeah. Ask him, then, dear. Well, well, Randall, mate, what are you doing now? You can't just be sitting here all day. I, I was waiting for someone to come back. I, I, I don't want to say with no other crew. You, you, you lot of my family. You've taken care of Randall, taking care of Gibbs. Ah, uh, it's, it's a good life. I like cooking for you lot. Mm. I was just, I was waiting for you to come home. Holy shit. Mm, I think Randall is not going to be of much use to us, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I don't think... <sighs> I feel bad. I feel like... We should give him Why something for... Given... I mean, he lost everything, and... I feel bad for tricking him now, giving him hope that one of his crew members is still alive. <sighs> So members of the the, the ship have found me, uh, the Evangeli or whatever. Uh, they, they're they're down the, the the way on the beach, or just outside of town. They they're looking. They're looking for the beast. The Evangelists mm. are. Oh uh, yeah, that's what he's what he's saying. Yeah. I wonder oh. Why they're looking for the beast? Should we go 
talk to them then, yeah? Mm, yeah, most likely. Yeah, I, I think that's all we can get from Randall. Mm, yeah. Um, mm. Well, <laughs> Randall, mate. I, yeah. I don't think I can help you anymore, but I, if you go to the bar up there, I will make sure that you get any drink you want. All right. I'll, I'll go. They're allowed cats, yeah? Yeah, yeah, cats are allowed in there, mate. Uh, okay. Uh, Randall will go. Thank you. Don't don't leave Randall again. As he picks up his cat and walks over to the bar. Oh. Mm. You know, I man. shift back into normal appearance. And we ride the boat back to shore to meet mm. up with Jafail. Um, while me and Nadir are riding on the boat, uh, I whispered to Nadir and say, Ed, don't worry about him. We did what we had to do. He'll be fine. Don't worry, man. Yeah. Um, I feel bad for Randall, and I don't like deceiving people when I don't need to, but unfortunately, there's not really much we can do to help him. Listen, once we kill the beast of Rafin Bay, this place is going to be a, a, a bustling port city again. Maybe he'll get mm. a new job, a, a new crew. He'll be able to sail again. Mm. We did what we had to do. Don't worry. Well, luckily, he still has his cat, so... Yeah. He's not alone. Exactly. All right, let's let's get back. Meet up with Jeff Ale again. Yeah, let's go. Let's do port uh, and, and land ashore. The two are standing there, ready and, and kind of waiting. A anything going on while they're out at sea? Any... Uh, well, I was... Playing with my soap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's uh it's 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 nice. It's soft, but soapy. His name is Suds. <laughs> so you car it, it's got little R eyes you carved into it? Yeah, yeah, I was carving yeah. little eyes into it and like I'm thinking about making a little outfit for it out of like scraps of cloth. But I'm looking okay. for some good cloth to use. Okay. Yo, Jafael. Uh, yes. Still playing with the soap? Um, no. I was just checking on it. Let me see what you've been working on. Uh, uh, here. It's nothing special. I just, uh, I just thought I'd dress it up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna take the soap from Jafael and... <gasps> Be careful! No, it's okay. It's okay. I have a soft touch. And I oh. transform my <laughs> finger into like a, almost like a scalpel-like knife. You should okay. do a dex roll for it. Oh yeah, should can, I? Can you uh, hold yeah. the soap? Can yeah. I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> roll, roll, roll sleight of hand to see if you can... Uh... Yeah, it might be too slippery. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got it kind of slippery. <laughs> oh bro, my dex is minus two. Oh fuck. fuck. <laughs> Wait, I, I right click dex sleight of hand? Is that mm. how I do it? Yeah, you can just you can also just click on it. Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. You can just left click it. Right click is only for like advantage and disadvantage. Oh god! Please don't drop my soap. Eighteen. Yeah. Okay, you kind of grab onto the soap, and as you like hold it, Ooh. turning your finger into a knife, it pops out of your hand, and you catch it real quick. <gasps> you just kind of look, and if you could wink, you would. Oh. Yeah, I that was close. Here, Jafael, I'll help you with the little carving. And I just <sighs> carve in oh. uh, my favorite beast transformation. That is actually, that is a natural 20. So I'm just going to roll that back. You just toss it in the air, not even catching it. You just kind of like bat it up into the air and oh. expertly carve it as oh. if you were playing some intense oh. game of Fruit Ninja, just wagging your oh. finger in the air as it just carves into whatever you're trying to make it into. Mm. Uh, so cool. I, I carve it into a, a war tiger that uh, <gasps> I, I used to transform into whenever I would do battle and said All that right. this will protect you. Wonderful. You can add a soap tiger to your inventory. A protection amulet. This is amazing. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, man. It's like... <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, I guess we should get on our way. We have some evangelists to talk to. <laughs> As we do. 
Uh, I think Umi is still asleep, but I can just carry her. Hmm. The catch Let's of the go. day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so where are you heading? Are you heading down the beach to talk to the the ones that are looking for the crew? Yeah. Even Jellicists. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Uh, do you want? to wait until morning or do you want to go and we should go in morning night. it's too suspicious to go at night. yeah night. yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's actually right. probably true uh yes. can i can i turn into a uh uh like a a metal horse that everyone can ride on because i know umi's asleep so i just want everyone to get sure. home safe would you be like a stretch limo horse with like <laughs> i i would stay a bear to fix to fit everyone Oh, a bear? Yeah, I'll, I'll turn yeah, into a bear you then. You kind yeah. of turn into a big uh, oh. robo bear. Go ahead, guys, get on. <laughs> Start walking through town. Uh, you would see one person stumbling home, and he just kind of stares. Oh, he's a big fucking dog. As you just keep walking, carrying what are you everybody looking at, to the town. eyes. You just watch a man, a grown man, confused. And unsure if he should run in terror or pray to some god as a robotic dog bear talk to him as you head <laughs> into the tavern itself uh rooms are prepared for you one room for each of you mm. um yeah that so you could do anything else in town or so we can skip to the next day i guess next day? yeah yeah let's get some rest right. I'm gonna tuck in myself with my soap. I put my soap on its own pillow All right. and put the blanket over it and kiss it goodnight. All right. Just to see if that, your little little soap all tucked in with you. Um, the the sounds of the tavern roar into the night as the sun, uh, the moon sets and the sun rises. <clears throat> or I should say, the moon fades from the sky. The sun rises. Um, as you come upon the next day, you find a a strange feeling waking up so bright and early. Each of you well rested. You can smell the breakfast being cooked downstairs and the stale scent of uh, ale still lingering the halls of the tavern itself. <sighs> early oh my morning, God. <laughs> you wake up, up frantic in a bed. Jesus Christ! <laughs> in a room alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must have fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who put me in here? Who changed my clothes? The, uh, the, your bed has like no soap, soap marks on it. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's like a trail of soap leading out of her room into mine. <laughs> there's like little soap toe beans everywhere. Oh, I'm gonna follow the soap trail. <laughs> it leads to Jeff Ayo's room. Oh. oh. The, did she eat the soap? No, no, no. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kissing it a little. I'm like, I'm like waking up. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> yeah, it's me. I'm, so- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I fell asleep yesterday. It, it's kind of a thing that I do. Oh no, it's okay. I got a pretty good workout carrying you around. Does you does you sleep all right? Are you, are you saying I was heavy? No, 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 no. You're not heavy. It's uh, uh you're very robust. What? <laughs> you're a big fish. What? Like, when you look at most fish, like, they're pretty small, right? The, like, the average fish is pretty small, but you'd be like a big fish. <laughs> My oh. life was, like, glowing red. Uh... Uh... uh, 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 uh okay... A loud... Uh, on all of your doors. Breakfast is ready! Ah, uh, maybe I should skip breakfast. No, no, let's eat together. <laughs> Uh, okay. Ah, uh, morning, guys. Let's make it even bigger. Oh. What? What? Oh. <laughs> Jeff Hell, silence. Jeff Hell. <laughs> uh, what's for breakfast? Soap. <laughs> e- uh, eggs. Eggs. 
uh, bacon and slices of ham have been prepared. Mm. Uh, there's also a bowl of fruit for people to pick from that has mangoes, uh, bananas, strawberries, and uh, pomegranate in it. Mm. Does anybody uh, want my portion? I don't I'll need. take it. Yeah, take it. <laughs> How's the food, guys? It's good. Oh. I'm munching on a mango. I always wondered what it tastes like. Oh, that's right. You can't eat. Yeah. Well, oh, describe it, the taste. Is it okay? I mean, is oh, it okay fine. that we're eating in front of you? No, no, it it brings me joy, I think. I'm, I'm nearly finished with my two meals. You have Jesus feelings, Christ. right? Can you feel hunger? No, I don't feel hunger. I, I don't really feel much of anything. I'm not sure if what I feel is emotions or I'm still learning. Oh. Maybe just loosen one of the screws and you'll feel something. That's a good idea. Uh. Thanks, Nindir. I'll try. No problem. <laughs> well, guys, we have to uh, head down to where was it? The beach? Yeah, uh, down mm -hmm. towards going into. So, um, uh, within the cove itself, uh, you have uh, Dead Man's Cove, which leads down into the Rotfin Bay. Mm. Yeah. So you just be going down onto that beach there. Okay. Which oh, I can. I love the beach. Oh, yeah, that's can... your natural habitat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh. a good swimmer, you know. I can pull up a more detailed map oh. for you of the of the Ooh. region. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Just because a world map is not entirely useful right now. Helps if I can make it bigger. I'm not stupid. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, cool. Oh, these not... maps are nice. Thank you. Oh, these are awesome. Oh, I see it. I see it. I think. Yeah, this one is technically out of date just due to it. I haven't updated it yet for the current year of the campaign, but uh, everything in where you guys are up by Lucarth is accurate. Oh, okay. I see. I see the bay. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Mm, yes. <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess we should make our way over. You guys finish your meal. You ready? I'm ready oh, to go. Boy. I'm ready. Let's do it, guys. All right. As you begin uh, heading out of town, uh, you would hear just a. Uh, uh, Excuse me, uh, excuse me, P please, uh, are you the crew that is working with Mr. Leviticus? Uh, who's asking? Uh, I, I run the stables here in town. I, I have uh, horses for each of you. Hmm. Mm. Do you guys want a horse or do you want to mm. ride Big Papa? <laughs> I want to ride Big Papa. <laughs> I mean... I think it, it'd be more economical this Wait, way. I have an idea. Uh, these horses are completely paid for. I've got an idea. Oh. We know this Rothin beast. It's got to be hungry, right? That's the only way it can sustain itself. I like itself. what you're thinking. Wait, it's got to be hungry. About feeding it horses? I'm not saying what? feed them horses. I'm saying lure it in with the horse. Mm. We don't have to let them die. Uh, I'm inclined to agree. Please don't let them die. These horses are my babies. We won't. We won't. You can trust us. We'll bring them back safely. I promise are you. Are you sure about this? Make like, a deception think... check or a persuasion check. I don't know if you're lying or not If you can, when you're saying you can trust us. Well, he is a druid, right? He is very good with the animals. So it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah if, you're, if you're lying, deception. If you're trying to persuade him, persuade him. Uh, okay, I'll do perception. Wait, let me see what my persuasion. Name. Okay, uh, perception, right? Or persuasion? Per persuasion, yeah. Okay. Nine. Fuck. Oh. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Can 
other people try to persuade him? You can certainly try, but with this advantage as he kind of looks you up and down and maybe I can put my horses up. You can all ride on B Big Papa. Uh, I think yeah. we can take the horses. Make a persuasion check. All right, disadvantage is normal. Yeah, disadvantage. All right. Oh no! Only twelve. Oh, uh, you get you. Th this is uh, true. You do have an inspiration uh, from uh, Umi's song. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Is twelve not enough to get rid of the shitty persuasion? <laughs> uh, it would not. <laughs> okay. Mm, well, we don't need the horses. Uh, well, what was your? Else was bad. I did. I rolled a twelve. Yeah. Uh, so it, you roll. You should have a uh, inspiration. So there'd be a dice in the left hand corner uh awesome. and what is your umi what is your bardic inspiration die my bardic inspiration die where do i see that at again could be uh let me just open this here um uh, you're it's a 1d8 so roll mm. 1d8 bubby okay to everyone okay roll five all right, so five plus the 12. Okay. He looks you up and down and... Fine. Fine, take the horses. But if they... If, if, I, I will charge you heavily if they come back with even the scratch. Oh, yeah. D don't worry. We'll we'll bring him back. You're welcome. He <laughs> kind of grabs... Yeah. He grabs onto, like, each of the horses and he just mutters... Sapuzta. Oh... You are such a good girl. And he, and he, like, says goodbye to each of the horses. Do they all have names? They do. Uh, oh. It is... It's fine. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. If, oh. if you want to know, I can tell you. I, I need to know. Uh, Brutska. Uh, Marabella. Uh, Ashir. And... <laughs> Cheese. Why do we need to know the names? We're not going to care. <laughs> Fuck the names. Let's take the horses and go. Yeah, I plugged up my ear sensors. I wasn't listening. Oh, sorry. Sorry, not cheese. Uh, it's equally as bizarre. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I have a, a roller for this. Close to cheese. It's toast. <laughs> toast. Oh, no. That's what he's going to be when I'm finished. No, what? Holy oh, shit. <laughs> Oh All right, I well, grab uh, the horses and we begin walking away. All right. As you begin walking outside of the hamlet uh, on the outskirts of the town and going um, along the road, you see some people traveling, the odd monster hunter, uh, uh, a group of uh, monster hunters hauling a cart with what looks like a, a large head of a uh, some kind of massive wolf. Um, you see a, a number of other individuals just traveling the roads, going up to Smilton, to Arulant, uh, and even south to the Faith Marsh. It's a quiet journey. But can I get a survival check for whoever is leading the way? Ooh. Ooh. Definitely not me. No, uh, who should be in front? Maybe I might have good survival. Yeah, who I think you have survival? much better survival than me. Uh, Where is survival? Where is that? It's at the bottom. Wisdom survival. Oh, I have only plus one, so. I've got plus yeah. zero, so. Oh. I have plus three. Oh. I have oh. plus three, too. Yeah, one of oh, you guys roll. One of you should be leading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how do you roll it? You just click it? Mm hmm. Oh, mine's not very good. Eight. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Luckily, with uh, traveling down a road, you manage to kind of find the way. Uh, it's not until about five minutes too late uh, that you realize that you missed your turnoffs. 
to oh, go shit. onto the beach itself. Turning back around and finding the road again, you eventually end up on the beach outside the walls of the city. You can see a number of shipwrecked vessels as old as a few weeks to vessels that have been sitting here rotting for years and years. Oh, is there anyone on the beach? Uh, not anyone that you see. Hmm. I wonder what happened in these ships. Maybe we could inspect the ships with a yeah. roll. Yeah, sure. can we go on? Uh, there's a, like a few hundred here. This is kind of like a graveyard of ships. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Uh, th there is pretty heavy storms within the bay here, mm. uh, even outside of uh, the beasts and their antics. There, mm. there, there seems to be a lot of shipwrecks, which is why Leviticus Cornwall, or mm. Leviticus Carth, I've been playing Red Dead, so I keep wanting to say Cornwall, um, <laughs> uh, is uh, just so rich. Well, perhaps there's something notable in this rubble where an investigation check might help. All right. Uh, anybody, you you could all roll an investigation check, and I kind of give you little things that you find, mm. or yeah. one person can do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's all do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna roll mine. Oh, Ooh, seventeen. Seventeen, perfect. I got a thirteen. Okay. Uh, I see an eight and a six. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Um, <laughs> Umi and Jafel, you get really distracted by the uh, the. It looks to be you see this kind of gelatinous being with a big pair of eyes sitting in the sand, just kind of blinking and looking up at you. It's it's about the size of a football. Oh. I want to poke oh. it. Yeah, I want to go up and poke at the. As the two of you poke it, make a constitution save. Whoever touches oh, it. Oh no. Wait, oh my who, who's gosh. Who's gonna poke it? Are you gonna poke it or am I gonna poke it? I heard Umi said she wanted to poke it first. Yeah, she, she said it first, <laughs> so she, she can do the, the tech. How do I do that? Uh, so you would click on uh, the, all the uh, stats at the top. There would be constitution and you click on that and it'll just roll it for you and add your modifier. Uh, 10. Okay, so as you poke it, you feel a like a bit of a, a numbing sensation in your finger, and then oh. your entire hand goes numb. Oh, natural Botox. As you take... <laughs> as you take three points of poison damage. Oh. Oh. Wait, could we take this you, with us and use it? Like, throw it at someone? You realize the indent from where you poked doesn't go away, and it just it just looks at you. Just, oh. oh no, oh. I heard a creature. Oh. It's alive. It... Pops back to normal. Uh, oh, oh. Uh. Hmm. Can I take it and put it in my pocket or will it hurt me? Uh, you surmise due to the poisoning you might need gloves or a cloth. Does it understand oh. ocean language? It should. <gasps> Can I speak to it in ocean? Sure. What do I you say? I would like to ask it a question. I would like to ask if it knows anything about the creature that has been rumored to be around, that mm. has been creating a lot of chaos and destruction. Mm -hmm. It looks to you and kind of seems surprised. You watch its eyes widen and then uh, the kind of big irises it has shrink down into slits as you hear. Uh... <laughs> oh God, it's a big monster. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Big claws? Oh. When was the last time you saw this big clawed monster? <gasps> last, last night? Last night! We were <laughs> sleeping here last night! <laughs> you were sleeping in town. I know, but still, it's close by. Holy fuck. <laughs> <gasps> Oh God, Mordor! Uh, should we ask I, it anything I else? To this little Jello, you can ask it anything. I know, I know how to communicate with it. Uh, okay, well, I mean, besides the big claws, what else is there to it? Does it only come out at night, or when do you see it? During the day. Holy! F oh, oh, can God. it fly? No, it can't fly. It's really good. Two of them! 
<laughs> Holy, Holy shit. shit. Cool. Yeah, are they both the same? The same type of monster? Two different, Two different ones. Monsters. Two different ones? Can one fly and one only by sea? What if somebody grabbed them? What if we could have split them? <gasps> Wait, is one of them a fish? Mm hmm. Yeah, I think so. It looks like a crab. <gasps> oh, crab? Looks like crab. <laughs> Talk like It's like people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust the crowd, you oh little. Oh my god, what if, what if I'm related? What if we're related? <laughs> we're probably not related. I'm not, I don't know. I don't have any family that's crab. Holy fuck. Wait, so are they both? They're both crab? One, what one is crab. It? One dumb. One dumb? <laughs> one dumb? That's the worst enemy of all. Get out on the beach. What did you say? Get off the beach? Down on the beach. Down the or beach? Down the beach. Oh, what do you guys think? Should we head down there? Yeah, is it nearby? We totally What should. did me and Riglius surmise through our inspection? Uh, oh, the yeah, two of bad. you found, uh, looking through the uh, varying ships you kind of find a small pouch of about 10 gold uh you find an old ruined crate of silk uh and a freshly torn off bloody human arm hmm. holy shit hmm. uh um, Nahir, nadir you specifically uh notice that the one side of the ship is just red and Ooey, and someone's face was smashed here. What? Hmm. hmm. Uh, is, is there any way to tell when this happened? Uh, make a medicine check. Medicine check? Mm-hmm. Seven. Could it's... Not warm, but it's not coagulated yet. You're not sure. Hmm. Okay. So it within the past couple of days. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. And the goo on the ship, or whatever it is, is it reminiscent of the goo creature we just spoke to earlier? Uh, the goo seems to be like brain matter and Ugh. skull fragments. Ugh. Oh God. I see. Yeah. I see. Well, we know it's been here. We know it's been close. Mm. What do you guys mm. think we should do? We just want to say fuck it and go out, oh. out in the ocean? What is that what? noise? What is that? You hear a war from down the beach a little further. Oh. Is that the beast? You guys want to go check it out? Yeah, perhaps we should take this thing with the silk that we found in the ship. We can transport this little goo monster thingy. The the, po the poisonous goo monster. Yeah, yeah, we found yeah. some silk within the ship. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I could wrap it in silk, and I could grab it hmm. since I'm made of metal and wood. Yeah. You oh, too. Bundle him up, uh, or bundle them up, and uh, kind of attach it to you via a sling. He's like I said, the size of a football. Uh, not much mm. is underneath the sand. He's he kind of gelatinous, and he mm -hmm. just has big eyes. He looks like some type of deep sea fish that can also survive on land. Mm, okay. Mm. Oh, looks like dinner. <laughs> you, you could eat him. Uh, no, don't mm. eat him. Okay. Wow. Uh, I don't okay. think so. Well, I say what? we. I say we take him with us. We can eat him later. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Out of all the things, I'm the bad one for wanting to eat a sea creature. Jesus. <laughs> Another roar from down the beach. Oh God. Right, we should. We should get going, guys. Let's go. Okay, uh, I, I think we all just go together and mm -hmm. make our way down yeah, the beach. Right. As you make They're your way, running as, down the beach. As you yeah, make your way as horses. fast as possible. I riding or leading? Uh, riding. Yeah, riding all right. on the horses. Riding. As you all start riding down the beach, it, you get fairly close to when you hear this kind of loud echoing. <laughs> 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 
Oh. Holy shit! Oh. It's... It sounds you like hear like the, the pulling of, of 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 flesh and the dripping of blood just over. Oh, oh god! Continues to roar. Oh god! Oh. And do, what, does it sound like it's coming from the water on the beach? It's, it sounds like it's coming from on the beach. Maybe like just past a couple of the boats. You stop as you get closer to avoid being detected. If you want to sneak up on it, you can sneak on the horses with a stealth check with disadvantage, or you can sneak all together walking on the ground. What do you guys think? I think my sneaking is high. Stealth is plus four. It's possible I could try and roll. Yeah, you want to try? Uh, if you're all sneaking together, everybody's got to roll individually. Uh oh. Ooh, minus plus four, too. All right. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, should we all do it? Fuck it. Yeah. All right. All right. Ooh. All right, I'll roll. Oh, 23. Oh, eight. Ooh. Eight. Why am I rolling? So oh, 23 bad? for me 23. as well. Oh, how I'm both been sneaking. Okay, I'm going to roll my, wow. my stealth is minus two. This is not good. 10. Okay, oh, okay. You okay. still got higher than me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Nadir, the two of you quietly sneak up using the shifting sand itself to muffle your footstep as you get up on the edge of one of these um, kind of sunken vessels. You peer around and you see this monstrous hulking creature, an <gasps> ogre, pulling oh. these spears and javelins out of his side and his back, whining every time he does and throwing it onto the ground. Next to him, a massive crab about the size of, for lack of a better term, a bus. Whoa. Whoa. As he's sitting there, he kind of looks to himself. He picks up a chunk of meat and just tears into it. It looks like a human leg. He looks towards and hands it to the crab, and the crab just kind of does a little, like, skitter in the sand. Doesn't eat any of the meat. He continues pulling spears out as Jafel and Riglius kind of begin creeping up. You, The two of you step on to the deck of the ship, a, a broken part of the hull, and you hear the heavy <laughs> as the wood oh. creaks. The ogre looks over. Two of you make a stealth check again at disadvantage. Oh god. So who has plus uh oh. just just Jafel and Oh okay, my bad. Uh Umi and Nadir, you the two of you are like Perfect. just you are the shadows. Wonderful! Yeah, okay. we're the okay. shadow. Oh uh, go for it. Wait, me? Yeah, we both have to. Uh uh Wait, did I do that right? <laughs> uh, oh! Whoa, 17. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I just do the same? Just stealth again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stealth again. And 14. 14. Okay. Oh. The, the ogre turns. I oh. don't... I don't see anything. <sighs> Fucking spears! Ugh. As he pulls another spear out, kind of through his gut, you watch it pull out of his back. That's the last one. As he sits down, you watch him scope, just scope, scoop into uh, a large bag he has and pull up just meat and sinew as he pulls it and pours it into his mouth. And... Uh. Oh. Mm. How healthy does he look? He looks pretty wounded. Um, mm -hmm. He's got he pulled. He pulled in total. You see about twelve javelins and spears and bloody mm. out of his body. Oh. He still has arrows in his back. He, he looks pretty messed up. The crab looks is, fine. Is there any way of measuring his hit points per se? You can roll a medicine check. Medicine. I only have plus one. Does anyone else have plus higher than that? Uh, I have plus three. I have plus three too. Yeah, one of you. Yeah, one of you guys should. I'm not gonna roll. I'm, my, my rolls are bad. I'll yeah, try. Go for it, Umi. Umi, do the honors. Oh, 17. Ooh. Nice. <gasps> Nicely Yay. done. Great job. <laughs> Looking him over, you can tell that he has. Maybe. He, he's looking pretty worse for wear. 
Um, mm. Can't give you an exact number, but uh, mm. he, he's looking pretty worse for wear, maybe on his last legs. Oh, I'm mm. grabbing my Naginanta like really, really. Maybe a racist question of me. Oh, oh shit. Orc and ogre, same language ish, kind of? Uh, an ogre. Uh, an, uh, no, an ogre. An ogre can understand Orcish, uh, but ogres don't have. Most of them can't talk. The fact that this one can talk is a is a wonder. Mm. A racist changeling, Jesus Christ! <laughs> right. It's always a first. <laughs> May I shift into uh, kind of orc appearance? Sure. You kind of your um, cultural standard... appropriation, Jesus. <laughs> That's my whole it's class. It's not a costume, That's... dear. Bubby gets canceled for green face um, <laughs> as you your skin, your skin shifts and your body turns into this kind of big muscular orc war chief. I think we should talk to him first. If all goes wrong, you will all help me. I'm quick and stealthy, and I can dodge if he tries to attack me. Okay, uh, I, I'm going to get into, like, an attack-based position mm. just in case. All of you get into battle mode. Yeah. Okay. I want to jump out and show my tooth. <laughs> Will that help? I have plus four intimidation. It, it might help. Ooh. Hmm. Perhaps, who, who knows? You should I want to be like, hey! Should we... Hmm, I wonder, should we try and convince him first before... I feel like it might not be of much use, but it's worth a okay, shot. Okay, you can, you can try to convince and him. And then, if that fails, maybe try and intimidate him. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I suppose I begin slowly approaching the ogre. Obviously, my size is nowhere near. The crab do a little dance in the sand as it's like... It's large legs jabbing into the sand. does a little spin as it looks to you and clicks twice. As the ogre turns... Slowly getting up, lumbering to his feet, kind of grabs onto the anchor, getting ready to wield it as a weapon. I'm ready for a fight. How are you? Oh no. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Did he ask me who am I? He said, "I'm ready for a fight." Are you ready for oh, a fight? Oh. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go away with the v reverb just to. No, 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 it's fine. It's oh, fine. Yeah, I'll, no, I'll just. Right. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> fight, fight, no, no. <laughs> what? Where eat food? Oh my God, this is so racist. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you just hear him kind of sigh. Why are they always fucking dumb? <sighs> food, corner, eat. Well, as he sits down, begins mm. grabbing mud and just packing it into his wounds. Oh. Mm. Oh. You, you watch as he pets the crab, and the crab kind of scuttles down into the sand okay. and looks to go to sleep. I go towards the food to eat it, and on my way, I inquire an orc, obviously. Okay. Crab! What crab? <laughs> He looks at you of like, if, if you could understand an ogre's this motherfucker uh, face, then that's what you'd be. Are you <laughs> asking to eat his crab? <laughs> yeah. If you eat click, I'll tear your ass this way from sore day. Click. Click. He points at the crab. Click. He like grabs he grabs the the uh, mm. the pincers and like claps them twice. They made like a click click sound. Hmm, what's this clicking sound? Do you guys think it keeps happening? Uh, is it some sort of Morse code? Oh, that's how he mm. communicates. He's it's just like the sound. It's just the sound of the sound of the mandibles closing for the mm. pincers. Hmm. Here yeah. happened. What happened? Humans, they came. I dealt with them. Oh. He scoop. He scoops into the bag and just plops down. You see blood and intestines, oh. bones and gore as it slops oh. into the sand. Eat you, Phil. Move along. He killed humans. Uh, 
Nadir, you're not going to eat those people, are you? I'm concerned that if I don't eat it, he will now Nadir, not accept me. He can't me. eat a human! He has he, to. He, has, he can't blow his cover. Guys, oh I, I, I feel like we have to deal with this guy. He killed humans, like... I look, yeah, I look towards you guys to nod that I'm, I don't intend to eat it. Mm. And I'm getting ready to position to maybe have some form of attack. I... Whoa. Leave me alone! Mm. Just want to sleep. Just wants to sleep? Mm -mm. What do you guys think? <sighs> Part I mean... of me thinks that if we maybe... We have the head of this ogre that killed humans. Well, there's more chance we'll be welcomed in the next town. I think so, uh, too. Yeah. I... Maybe we can wait for them to fall asleep and do a sneak attack. The the ogre just starts kind of eating, and, and you hear the crunching of the bones. So he mutters to himself, First the beast, then the humans. What? Fucking pathetic. What? First the beast, then the humans? Is, mm, should I ask him what he means? Yeah, ask him what he means about the beast. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> the beast! The, the beast! As he points off in a direction further uh, to where the kind of cliff face rises up before mm. leading towards the swamp. Hmm. I wonder. Do we want to let this ogre live? You want to kill everything so bad. Well, I'm disgusted at the fact that he's piling bodies in a bag and using it for food. I I kind of want to take care of him as well. Yeah, we should clean him up. Yeah. I have a pretty fucked up idea. Okay. What is that? What if I transform into a crab and lured <laughs> his crab over? And while he's trying to catch up with it, one of you guys mm. can make an attack. What can I do? <gasps> With plus six deception. Mm. Uh, you would, yeah, the DM went. I think. Oh fuck! Well, I have I have plus nine deception. Oh, you're <laughs> oh, even fuck. eviler. I'm a rogue, so uh, mm. I I don't think there's much to deceive. Um, the yeah, ogre. yeah, I don't. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. I think the crab is worrying. I have a what feeling the I... crab has some form of can... ability to communicate with something. Yeah, a connection to the, the beast, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe other crabs. Yeah. I wonder if we I can kill him them. and try and capture the crab first. Yeah, yeah. We could put him to sleep. Maybe I could mm. put him to sleep. Are you able to sing him to sleep? Is that, do you possess that power? To sleep. I don't remember if I have that power. I, I think I did, but I don't know if I have it here. <laughs> mm -hmm. what, what powers do we all have that we could use? Well, I could turn into a crab and lure the crab into us. Um, I also have plus three animal handling as well. Mm -hmm. So you should definitely capture the crab, I suppose. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I think so. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. I hope he's okay. Oh, maybe I can talk to the crab! Yeah, maybe you can talk to him, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab water while he uh is coming back. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I can do a lot of damage with my swords. Yeah. Mm. I have a if I have a sneak attack, I can do three D sixes. Ooh. I'm not sure. I wonder if killing this ogre is the best. I don't know. I mean, he killed a ton of humans, didn't he? Mm-hmm, yeah. I'm wondering how strong he is. Oh, I mean, they were probably like basic humans. They probably didn't have cool powers like we do. Hmm. I'm thinking, should we just kill him? Should we kill him? <laughs> you just want to kill him. I think we should kill him. Yeah, I think it'd be cool to kill him. I, I think we should kill him. Oh, what's Whoa. Oh. 
Oh, I'm sorry about your computer. Oh, my computer's fine. It's it's just like where I live in the summer, the internet oh. goes up randomly. And uh, ah, it it usually see. never happens this fucking frequently. <laughs> and of course, so when we're in the middle of D and D, it's yeah. cursed. Yeah, uh, mm. I apologize about that. Uh. Oh uh, right. All right, I got. Uh, I have a backup just to, just just in case it does go down again. I have a I have a hotspot ready. Um, okay, it's all right. So, all right. Yeah, I just feel bad. I don't like uh, I don't no, like stopping no, the rhythm. Um, but we were just uh, discussing. Yeah, we with... needed a quick like bathroom break anyway, so let's... okay. That 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 yeah, works out. Don't worry, man. It's all good. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. With everything, uh, what are you planning with? I think that Riglius is planning to capture yeah. the crab that he's holding, and okay. I think oh, the crab's just like in the sand. He's not even holding it. Oh, okay. Well, like you know, I said, it's the size of a city bus. The crab? Uh, yeah, the crab's big. It's a big, oh. big crab. Oh, fuck. Perhaps we can tame it or something? Ride yeah, the crab yeah. into battle? Sounds fun. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk to it. Okay. Yeah, well, can you me should talk we to kill it? the ogre first or talk first? Good. The, the ogre. Is suspicious? The ogre begins to kind of look around. Oh. I think oh. we should take him out. I smell mm. more. Uh oh. -uh. He stands up. Stands up. Oh, I got treasure. We got treasure. Leave me alone. You can have the shinies. <gasps> oh. Please. Uh, Should I ask where the treasure is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask what, what kind of loot he has. Zemo wants to sleep. Where's treasure? Did he just say? He he looks at you, and then kind of clenches the anchor. Don't bring you. But the humans can smell him. Come out. Mm. Oh. Should we attack now? <sighs> it's now or never. What about the I think treasure? So. <laughs> Could I pull out my dagger and go to attack? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, with that, uh, all right. Uh, roll to hit. Which one's the hit one again? Uh, so you'll click on your weapon, uh, mm -hmm. one of your one of your daggers, uh, and then uh -huh. you'll just kind of reach up and you can just strike him. Uh, so there'll be. Let me just open the deer himself. I have uh, few weapons. Uh, you do. So you can choose with the rapier, the dagger. Um, any of which, uh, then you would hit the, you see the plus four next mm -hmm. to the rapier, if you use that, that would roll your hit, and then if it lands, I'll let you know uh, after you roll it, then you roll right. the damage, which is right next to it. I'll roll the, the, the dice then. All right. Ooh, 24. A 20. <laughs> oh. oh. Fantastic. We don't miss here. A oh. natural 20. Okay. Um, great, great job. job. So, I'm not even going to pull up the battle map, initiative, roll damage. Okay, so the damage is the one next to the hit? Yes. Okay. Ten. Ten, we'll take it. As you draw your rapier, your form shifting back to the regular, you drive the rapier into his lower gut, one of the kind of larger holes, and you pierce up and you see your blade just moving through his body small portions of your rapier can be seen in the number of other holes in him as you just drive it through pulling it up and just kind of carving a hole he drops down to his knees and his entrails spill out into the sand as he just as he drops down to the ground oh, you disgust he died? me he's dead oh. <laughs> Oh my he god! Did, he, did, he did not have a lot of health. He was rough. Oh. oh. Yeah, he must have been in bad shape when we found him. The, the crab, uh, the the crab itself is currently asleep. Hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, is there any way that Umi can talk to the crab? Maybe. Yeah, of can course. Can she ask where the treasure is? 
Um, uh, I make my way over to the crab. Sure. And I wanna, I wanna pet the crab. As you begin petting, his, his big, big blue and white crab, you pet the top of his. Uh, is it technically chitin on a crab? I think so. Uh, you just pet, pet, begin petting the top of his shell as he's just sitting there. The eyes begin to kind of move and open slowly. Nice crab. Aww. It's cute. Just staring directly at you. It doesn't seem to even notice the fact that the uh, ogre's entrails are spilled all over the beach. Oh, God. <sighs> yeah, I look at the crab and I show him my tooth. You just kind of... You, you watch his, his small mouth open slightly and you see he's got several little teeth. <sighs> we both have teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask the crab if it's okay. Yeah, I'm I'm fine. Uh, I'm tired. Fighting all night. Mean people came, killed Simo, tried to. He lived though. Hmm. What? Is that the ogre's name? The ogre's name is Simo. Simo. Oh what? no, what? he had a name, guys. You guys killed someone. <gasps> Uh, you guys are monsters! <laughs> just, just tell him that. Tell me, blood out overnight. Your friend, your friend seems to be dead. Do you have a name? He he calls me Click. Oh. Click. Yeah. That's a nice name. Mm. And she smiles. She smiles at the crab. The little like maw opens up and kind of curls. The crabs can't really smile, but the best through its ability. <laughs> well, your friend is very, very dead right now. What? <laughs> very calm boy. What the? What happened? What? I don't know. It looks like uh, he succumbed to his injuries. Uh, oh? What? Yeah. But he was. I just. I just went. I just fell asleep. Oh! We fuck. tried our best. Oh, <laughs> okay. damn. Oh no! <laughs> As he like starts doing a little scuttle in the sand. It could be worse. You could have been dead too, but you're alive. Oh! <laughs> she just screams. You you all would just hear this like clicking and this little squealing. You wouldn't really hear any language. Oh yeah, Guys, we can't I think understand. he's really upset. <sighs> he's so upset because his happy, friend died. Talk to him. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm talking to him. Ask him for information. Yeah, yeah. We, I need to know about the beast. Have you... Have you seen a beast or heard about a beast? There's a few things on the beach. There's a giant. Giant? Yeah, he's in the cave. Cave? He's been collecting a bunch of bullshit. Wait, but that's not the, what kind of bullshit? Anything that washes ashore that the hag doesn't want. Hag? The what? two of them have a deal. He keeps the goods and she gets to sink the ships. <gasps> what? What? Exactly as I thought. They're working together. Kind of. Hmm. She. He just agrees not to kill her. Oh. <gasps> what? I think the minute she dies, he'll leave. Hmm. I thought so. Oh no. Who could make a whole business about getting? shipwrecked items consistently. Must be somebody he's paying or working with. You think it's Leviticus? I think Leviticus knows. You think he does? Either he's blissfully unaware and an asshole, or he knows and is working with the hag in some capacity. <gasps> then why would he send us scheme. the... Why would he send us to, 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 to do all this work? I'm not sure. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to th figure that out as well. The the the, ca the giant's cave's just on the other side of this ship. If you go along the coast, you, you'll find the the alcove where the the hag sits. Guys, oh, we have to go. Hmm. Could you ask the crab w what the fuck this goo thing is in our bag is? Oh, the goo thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you seen one of these things? And she pulls out the little goo thing and shoves it in his face. It's a spellin. Very eagerly. What? Spellin. 
So what's the spelling? They like they're big fish. And they lay their babies in the sand, and that's oh. their babies. We took oh. a we we took a baby. It's a baby. I indented a baby's head. <laughs> I mean, they put it in like soft spots. <laughs> <laughs> the entire oh, body is no. technically a soft spot. Oh, Jesus. So, uh, well, let's go explore this cave then. Yeah, we should definitely check it out. Uh, be careful if I were you. Why is that? Why? The giant's not very nice. It's the hag's like... worse. Wait, <gasps> what do you mean she's worse? Have they... Has the hag killed a lot of people? The hag sunk every ship in the bay of the last few months. Oh my god, this is horrible! What the fuck? The giant just collects Let's kill things. the hag then. What about, what happened to all the treasure? Is it with them? The giant has it. Yeah. He's The giant's been here for years. He collects things for a little man. A little man? A yeah. Little man? little man stopped coming around. So then the giant stopped collecting for him. Oh. Mm, Leviticus, I think. Is Leviticus little? Mm, well, yeah, he's com compared to the giant, yeah. Oh, yeah! Well, compared oh, to everybody, God. he's like three foot four. They've been working together this whole time. Corruption abound! Now oh, we need fuck. to figure out why we were sent and why they would even pay us to begin with. Mm. Yeah, why would he front the money if we were just gonna die? There must be some reason. Uh, yeah. Perhaps we're... We're the prize, in some sense. What the fuck? Well, I guess mm. our only option now is to go to the cave. Let's go Straight to the, to the source. Well, first the giant, then the hag? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'll go in the water. Nobody can hear you cry underwater as he goes Holy off shit. into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Quick. 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 That's true, no one can, so you should stay under there until you're done crying. Alright! <laughs> wash away the tears, it's okay. You know... I'll be your friend... If you want. His eyes, like, pop out of the water. Really? Yeah. Fuck yeah! She sinks back down. Remember, friends protect other friends, okay? You see bubbles, and as they pop, oh. I'll protect you, <laughs> and you protect us. More bubbles. <laughs> so if you ever hear that we're having a hard time, come and find us, and I'll come and find you if you're having a hard time. <laughs> okay. And then oh, they deception. Pop, How cute. What? <laughs> 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 Let's <say> that. <laughs> Onward to the cave. Let's do it, guys. Bye, click. <laughs> you Take hear care, like, more popples, more popping of bubbles. <laughs> I hope he comes and comes around sometime. Yeah, we'll probably see him again. Well, you know, I I did tell him that he needs to protect us. So hopefully, if something bad happens, he shows up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Y'all killed him real fast, but uh, here's the ogre. Oh God! Oh, oh dear God! Oh God! Can we find his treasure? Uh, you surmise that it might be in the cave. Ah! Yeah, the, it's with the giant. Of course. Yeah, they're hoarding all the good stuff. Mm. Okay, well, I guess let's get on our horses and make our way to the cave. Yeah, let's go. Find that let's hag. go. Hag bitch. Fucking hag. Going around. Hag ass bitch. <laughs> hag ass bitch. Uh, going around to uh, the other side of the ship, you see the cliff face and a large cave. Spiked uh, logs dug into the ground, uh, as well as a small fire can be seen. A number of gold pieces just laying in the sand, mm. barrels, uh, um, old cannons, furs, mannequins, clothing, pots, and a number of bodies laying about in various states of decay can all be seen. 
Sleeping in a large rug near the fire, you see the hill giant, a rotund, pale flesh belly, a large white beard and balding head as he just lies there, sleeping. You hear his heavy snores. Hmm. You think we should try and sneak up on Ogya? I'm concerned that there might be traps or something around. Yeah, where do you think the hag is? Hmm. I Perhaps have we could map. inspect further? I have uh, a map for y'all. Oh, cool. Mm. Switching the screen. Uh, now you should uh, screen share, Ethel. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, let me get it on here so first. So, I... Just for tokens, just because we don't have like official art of everyone's characters, uh, I used the uh, art that Sample Size did. Oh, cool. Uh, and they're just marked as Aethel Mouse. Bubby, you'll have to use Connor's token. I didn't know you'd be here. Ugh, disgusting. Oh, uh, it'll do. <laughs> well, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Pathetic. I'm not a beggar. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, let me get it on the screen real fast for yeah. the stream too. Whoops. Okay, I should see every Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Uh I'll share it in Discord real fast. Okay. Let me know if you guys Whoa. can see it. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh. Uh, so just for those that are unaware with D&D combat, uh, every grid square is five feet. Uh, you have a movement limitation uh, on your character sheet mm -hmm. from somewhere anywhere between 25 and 35 feet. Um, most common races is 30. Uh, so if you want to move, uh, we're not in combat right now, so I won't have you guys go in a turn order. But as of right now, I need everyone to roll a stealth check. Stealth check. As, as you're on the cusp of this cave, we'll see how quiet you all are. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, ten. Oof. Ten? Mm-hmm. Oh, right. I got a good roll. Congratulations. Stealth check. 16. You oh, fuck. Six. <clears throat> okay. Um, all of you are making quite a bit of noise. Oh. As you slowly kind of walk up. It doesn't echo into the cave, but you do hear the, uh, the giant himself kind of roll over as he scratches his large stomach. <laughs> Hmm. Sneak in here, you'll have to be very careful. Okay. Uh, is there any way I could... I think we can kill him. You think so? Mm hmm Is there any way I could possibly, like, maybe fly over, transform into a bird, and... That would make a lot of noise. Oh, it'd be in... too loud. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hmm. Uh... Mm, do we don't know what roles of what number of stealth is enough to say make it to him and no. stab him without him waking up? No. Hmm. Hmm. I could tell for the rogue it would be three rolls in total. For everyone else, it'd be five. Jesus. Five rolls. Yeah. So, like, I want. I can't tell you the DC because that takes away mm. the. Mm, of, course, of course, of course, of course. But uh, I can tell you how many rolls I would ask for. So for the rogue, I would ask for three rolls to walk through the room, mm -hmm. uh, three stealth checks, uh, and for everyone else, it'd be five, as they're they're less uh, quick when they're being light footed. Oh. So, hmm. I imagine having a say a first strike could be advantageous. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. We don't know how. Perhaps I could roll an in inspection check to maybe see how strong this opponent looks. You could make a survival check to kind of, or a medicine check if you want to just see if he looks wounded at all, or a survival check to just kind of 
surmise how much you know about hill giants. How much survival do you guys have? I have plus one. Uh, I have plus zero. Plus three. Plus three. Go ahead. What do we do? So you could roll a survival, whoever had done We can maybe see how strong he is. See, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll give you a sense of like what you know about hill giants. Oh! Oh, it's 21. Nice. 21. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, nice. Hill giants are, they typically roam in packs. Uh, if one is in solitude, it's usually uh, due to the fact of being outcasted. They are greedy. They are hoarders and they hate humans. They enjoy stealing from them, whether it's livestock, food, or just gold that they can then give to something else or, or bring to their queen. Um, having hmm. one ear all alone with a horde is very strange. Mm. Should I, as you guys know, I love killing. Um, <laughs> but if you want, I can try and change into a form that he might be more kind towards. Yeah, and try right. discussing, but I don't know. I mean, try. it's worth a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? I agree. Little giants, they hate humans. Okay. I don't know what language they speak, though. Does anybody have any idea? Yeah, is there a way we could find out? They speak giant. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, with, with, so that 20, really with that twenty, with that, with that twenty roll, they speak giant. Hmm. Ooh. So, I don't speak giant. Don't I can speak, speak orc and goblin. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. What do you think, guys? Ah. Uh, uh, I don't know if turning into anything would help then. I don't uh, think so either. Fuck. I was gonna say, if you speak I Dwarfish, do... they are kind of sister languages. They're very similar. Oh, well, I speak Dwarfish. Okay. Yeah, it does. Shall I transform or try to change into a Dwarf? I don't know if my physical uh, height... So, the way I do it is if you're, like, shifting yourself down... It's, it's uh, okay. I'll allow it, but you, like, uh, the, the transformation back will be slower. So it would like, Ooh. so if you guys get into combat, you would be stuck as a, a dwarf, uh, maybe a little smaller. It might take you like a minute to transform. What do you guys think? Uh, I mean, if there's no, if he's going to hear us for sure, that might give us five, an in. Five dice rolls is a lot. Yeah. Be three for you. Oh yeah, three for three you. Three for me, right. but I... Mm, for all of us to sneak, we need five. What do you think, guys? Mm. Also, technically, none of you are humans. Uh, I'll be I'll be the friendly DM here. None of you are humans. Oh, yeah, that's that true. true. Yeah. Oh. Is there any way that I could turn into an animal, possibly? And just uh, kind of, like, blend in and... Like a mouse? Or yeah, a rat? something like that, yeah. Yeah, you would stand out if he like really took a look at you, or if you got like really close to his face. But hmm. yeah, could I do that? Yeah, sure. Okay. As you begin to kind of shift, and your entire body shrinks down into a small mouse. Go ahead. Hey guys. Okay. <laughs> All right, your little go ahead. Ch Chad is pointing out you technically are an iron mouse right now. <laughs> <laughs> Learn from the best. Learn from the best. Okay, can I, uh, you know, kind of creep in a little bit closer towards where he's sleeping? Yeah, of course. As you can slowly begin moving in uh, throughout the uh, the cavern, you see all of the different goods that he's stolen oh. over time. He hasn't been doing this for a few months. This is years and years of goods. Holy shit. <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I can see him here sleeping now. The odor from him is very strong. It's, it, it smells like San Diego Comic Con on the hottest of summers. Oh, <laughs> it's a good thing I don't have an animal factory system. <laughs> exactly. Uh, is is there any way I could see if there's maybe a weakness or how deeply he's sleeping or? Um, just roll a d twenty for me. Roll a d twenty. Yeah. Cool. 
sometimes if there's nothing that falls within the actual system itself, I'll just have someone roll a d20 and then I'll just base it off of... Mm. I rolled Ooh. a four. <laughs> ah. Alright, hold on. No. I also rolled a four. No uh, way. He's, he's sleeping pretty heavily. He okay. he seems to be uh He seems to be in, in a fairly deep sleep up all night dealing with whatever. Um probably hauling in newer cargo. Uh, you do see a few barrels that are in here that are fairly new. Okay. Mm. So he's working with someone for sure. It's gotta be. Mm. What do you think we should do, guys? Um. Oh god, I gotta use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay, 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 oh, okay. okay. What if we? Uh, he's already asleep, but we could put him into a, an even deeper sleep for insurance, and then get the horses and tie the horses to his arms and legs, and then oh. scare the horses so he's like drawn and quartered. <laughs> Hmm. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> um, it could work. Are we sure the horses have enough power to enough do that to a, a hill? It's a giant. I mean, horses are pretty strong. A hill giant, though. <sighs> I mean, it's four horses. Like, they could do a pretty good job, like, uh, versus one hill giant. I could turn into a horse as well on his head. Maybe yeah, the other yeah, horses yeah. won't be enough to do it, but maybe I could get his head with mine. Yeah. I'm you pretty strong. It's like a card. Looney Tune thing that's going to go wrong. But Bro, this is genius because, like, he would be a metal I'm... horse. It would weigh even more and be, like, an anchor point and would provide even more, like, leverage and force. Okay. Let's do it then. Yeah. Yeah, can Don't we try? Be tough. We need to put him in a deeper sleep. Yeah, how? you can certainly try. Does does someone have a some type of sleep spell? Or... I think Umi does. She can does Umi really? send people to sleep. I think. Uh, let me look. Uh, Why the sleep thing? Spells. Spark Wait, plan. I have a sleep spell. Wait, do you really? Oh, you do. I, oh. a, I do. I forgot. <laughs> oh my gosh! Let's go. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna fuck it up. If I fuck it up, can Umi try it too? Uh, no, so, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you have sleep creatures into a magical slumber. Roll. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, roll. Oh, uh, okay, it is ranged. Uh, yeah, roll, f roll the spell, and then expend it on your sheet. Uh, it's one of your first level slots, so you have four of those available. So there's those little squares at the top of your uh, spell slots. Oh. So just expend uh, one for sleep, and then uh, just by clicking on it, and then yeah, uh, I'm gonna get everybody to combat hasn't started. <laughs> Yeah. Fully. Okay. So I won't have everyone roll initiative yet. I'll let you keep rolling, but I'm going to go via order in the Discord call, if that's cool. Okay. So we'll, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll start with uh, we'll start with Jeff A.L., and then we'll roll down back up to Aethel, then do uh, Bubby, and so on and so forth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. All right. Go for it, Jeff A.L. Wait, so I just hit cast on sleep? Yeah, so you've. Uh, I need you to roll the the five d eight, and then I'll take that number and subtract it, and what? I'll have him make a save here. I'm, wait, the, this rolls it right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not very good at uh, D and D. That's okay. No one is bad at D and D, except for the people that are like gross about it. Mm. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> Wait, how do I roll? Just uh, so if you just uh, look at the spell itself, it says five d eight. So five just uh, there should be a button that says cast right next to sleep. You just click yeah. that. Uh, I don't think it did anything. No. 
Oh, it just expends one of the things. Weird. Uh, so yeah, just go to the dice in the corner, and then the D8 is the third one from the bottom, hmm. uh, and then roll five of them. So you can select how many you roll just by clicking on it a few times. Uh, wait, where do I see the dice in the corner? Because I can't find it. Uh, left, bottom left. Yeah, bottom corner. left. Oh, this. It's like a drop okay, up okay. if you click on it. Okay. Yeah. The the D8. Uh, yeah, D8, and you'll, you'll want to roll five of them, so click the, the little dice five times. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. And you should be good. You should get a number here. Okay. Oh, 27. 27. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, if you struggle with uh, descriptions, I, I can take over, but how do you cast the spell? Like, what does it look like? How does <laughs> How does it look... Describe oh. it for us. I take the soap out of my pocket and I make a prayer stance while holding the soap. And I say an incantation under my breath, but nobody can really hear it. I'm just like mumbling. And then the, the, an aura comes off of me. And, and it goes onto the, the giant. Okay. <laughs> my holy soap. Uh... All right, yeah, you have more than enough space to do that. As you hold on to the soap, clutching it, and you feel a bit of the bubbles uh, pull off a, a slight glow as if the moonlight was going through the cracks of the cave and uh, just focusing themselves on you, you see this beam of pale light from the twin moons of Edridge slowly... Oh moving across the cave floor. Despite the cracks not even being big enough for this angle of light, they fall on top of the giant's forehead as you watch a small uh, imprint of twin crescent moons appear on his head as he just oh, yeah. he starts drooling heavily, just buckets down the side of his mouth as he's sleeping heavily in a deep sleep. Uh, so I'll allow you all to move through the cave. Oh. Uh, and if you do anything that I deem is too loud, I'll get you to roll stealth. Is okay. that fair? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. that's fair. Okay, perfect. Um, so as for moving y'all, uh, yeah, just kind of state where you want to be, what you want to be doing. Well, if we still want to go with the original plan, <laughs> do, do you want you to? Do you think that would work? Um, I think there's just as much success as perhaps, I don't know, trying to kill him all at once, but what it could be a good idea is perhaps tying him up to something nearby so that when he inevitably does wake up, uh, his mobility will be reduced. Yeah, let's tie him up. Okay. That sounds good to me. Is there something in the room we can tie him to? Uh, and then we can use the horse technique later. Rope, uh, rope, rope in the room uh, for you to tie him up with. Hmm. In the room, it looks. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we should rope his legs up. Yeah. I have a a whip. <laughs> well, we have rope though. Oh. Hmm. Maybe we should. Rope his legs. Grab yeah, his yeah, legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, grab his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, grab his legs. I think right. you need to grab his legs because you have robot strength. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Roll a sleight of hand mm -hmm. uh, or a stealth check. Whoever's grabbing onto him and. Or whoever's grabbing onto him, roll a stealth check. Whoever's tying him up, roll a sleight of hand. Um, I have four plus sleight of hand. Okay, you do that one. I'll do stealth, but my stealth is minus two. I, I'm Wait, what's your sleight of hand? Minus two. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big okay. boy. I'm, I'm okay, loud. Okay, well, let's do the stealth check. Uh, do you want me to do it, or <laughs> it doesn't really matter? Yeah, is is your stealth plus four as well? Mm -hmm, both. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll just do stealth. Okay. Okay, go for it, man. Uh, go stealth, dude. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You did sleight of hand. No, I did sleight of hand. Oh. Okay. 13 Oof. still. Oh, man. You manage to keep quiet as you, like, kind of uh, move the rope around his legs, but as uh, you 
Aethel begin kind of tying up the legs as quickly as possible. It it's just you're moving faster than the you can actually move the rope and you're just fumbling it. You're barely tying a knot. You kind of just wrapped it around his leg a few times and then you like sort of tried to tie it like a shoe, but then you just tied it around your own wrists and you had to untie oh, it. It's it's a it's a bad time. Fuck. Oh no. Sorry guys. It's okay. You're still learning. Am I able to try to fix the mess, bro? You can certainly try. Uh, I need I'm assuming disadvantage? A... Yes, uh, I'm going to need everybody to roll a stealth check. Oh my god. Oh, me fuck. included? Everyone. Oh my god. Oh, fuck me. Stealth. Oh, Sid. Oh, 14 by the grace of god. Oh, is 10 okay? Four. Six. <laughs> oh, you got a six? Oh no! You you are our saving grace! Uh, so you would be here. You might not wake up. Oh here. no. Uh, oh, no. Nian and is Mouse back? Uh, I don't think, think so, so yet. Okay. I'll leave I'll leave both of Dill there. Um Holy fuck. Oh, <laughs> Aethel, can I get a deck save from you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just roll decks. Yep. Uh, wait, which which one? Slide of hand, stealth. Uh, decks, dexterity. So it'll be at the top, uh, with your six kind of ma main core skills. Oh, I can roll up there. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh sweet Jesus, Lord Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, uh, I'm not a dexterous robot. <laughs> as inspiration, you are looking down <laughs> at the no amount of inspiration can save him from this. But if he wants to try, he definitely can. Oh God! <laughs> um, as you're looking over these knots and you're trying to figure out just how bad can one robot be at tying a singular knot around a fat ankle, and as you're trying to keep as quiet as possible you mutter just a fuck as a large hand comes and wraps around you uh, uh Aethel just grabbing onto your midsection as the giant oh. begins oh. kind of sitting up and looking down at you his two oh. eyes fluttering to open uh, good morning Draco. Bravardin Drogadar. You understand a few words, uh, mm. Nadir. Mm -hmm. uh, why uh, death explain? <gasps> mm. I'm going to give you a singular sentence. Why death explain? Why death explain? to dissuade this or we're going to roll for initiative ladies and gents could i roll for uh, charisma or persuasion or something sure yeah depending on what you say <clears throat> is there any is there any way you think i can talk our way out of this are you asking the group or me the group oh fuck oh, dude i'm back sorry oh it's no okay. worries no worries what what are we doing oh yeah uh, <laughs> Things are a little hairy right now. Oh no, what happened? Uh, I may have woken up a sleeping giant. Oh. <laughs> oh Could listen. Booby pretend to be the hag? <laughs> he well, could, but he doesn't have time now, to I transform think. into it. Yeah. Yeah. What if I jump out and try to intimidate him? Hmm. You can mm. certainly try. Let's try it. <laughs> yeah, try. Fuck it. We're in a bad spot. Mm. I'm gonna jump out. Alright. I'm gonna show him my tooth. <laughs> I'm gonna yell at him. As you leap so forward. To calm down. As you leap forward, your feet just landing on the ground, bearing your singular tooth. Roll an intimidation check. I did. 
Oh, okay. Ooh. 18. Oh, the tooth never fails. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Um, he looks at you and he squeezes uh, Riglius? R yeah, Riglius. Uh, just tighter. Uh -oh. I wanted to put him down. Uh -oh. Kind of pulls him back towards him. Not lifting him off the ground, but pulls him back towards him. I are here. Put him down first and we'll tell you why we're here. Make a persuasion check. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> you got it. Come on. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. That's uh, gotta be enough. Maybe. <laughs> Inspiration. I need everybody to roll for initiative. Oh, oh no. fuck. Okay. Oh, God. All right. Uh, How do we do that uh, again? Are we going uh, in so, order? Uh, so initiative is, uh, there is a, right next to your armor class, there is a uh, Shit. little marker. My tooth click. has failed, everyone. Yeah, my tooth failed everyone. No, I apologize. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, gotta hear boss music. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so we got six, nine. All right. <clears throat> Poopy, are you eating? Oh, nice. Fifteen. No. <laughs> nope. Okay. Adding. Adding the initiative order. Oh, I have three of Bubby. That's. Uh, Ethel, if you see that little menu on the side there, uh, the yeah. mouse in the box, if you look at the little clock and click that, that'll pop up the initiative order for you. So you could, so the chat can see it as well. Oh, oh. God, I'll be right back. Oh, you're uh, fine, on you're roll fine. 20. Oh, on, on roll 20. Yeah. Uh, Wait, sorry, wait, which one was that again? The clock. Uh on the on the left hand side? Yeah. Left hand top top left. Oh, what the fuck? Six. So there's like uh that little box menu. There's like a mouse, a square, a paintbrush, a magnifying glass, a ruler, a torch. Yeah, I don't see a clock. I have a mouse. Oh. Apparently only I can see that. That is Oh, okay, took, okay. Okay, that that's my bad. They took that away. What the oh. fuck? This is why I hate roll 20. Uh Umi is 9. Oops. That's wrong. Uh Uh what was your uh initiative? Now? 6. No, I got yours. I think oh, Nian need... still needs to roll it. Yeah. Oh, and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, it's right next to your armor class. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 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 Nice. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, it'll be right at the, right at the top. Um. Yeah, this is why I want to switch to Foundry. <laughs> yeah, you were telling me about that. It sounds really no, cool. It's, it's it's great. Uh, I've I've been setting it up for my next campaign. Um. So oh, nice. Uh, or potentially another one shot in the future. Who knows? Uh, Hell yeah. Foundry is way better. Yeah, people like it. Oh, yeah, it's great. Um, with that being said, top of the round, top of the initiative order is uh, Jafael. Oh, nice. What are you doing? And if you need me help, need my help to walk you through this, I'll walk you through it. Yeah. By the way, Jafael, we can't... Uh, see the screen unless I think you're clicking on the screen. What? Oh, me? Oh, it's like, yeah, you'll mm. have to... Uh, whoever's screen sharing, you'll have to... Uh... Okay, can you see it now? The mm, Yeah, now it's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, what are you gonna do, Jafael? Oh, I, I, uh, what, I don't know. What should I do? So you can move. Uh, you, so you have a move action, and let me just pull up your uh, sheet here. Okay. Uh, you'll have a move action and at least one, uh, if not more. Why do I keep wanting to click on it? Um, yeah, you have one attack action and one move action, as well as a bonus action if you need to drink a potion or anything like that. Um, so, you can move upwards of 30 feet. Uh, you are currently like 20 well 15 feet from the monster uh he's sitting down so you'll all have advantage until he gets up on his turn um Athel, you are grappled so you can't move but you could do everything else unless you try to break his grapple okay how, yeah. how do i break his grapple using your action to break his grapple i'll have you roll a strength check but we'll we'll worry about that on uh, your turn oh yeah okay okay um so yeah jeff Ayana, what are you doing uh, I guess, could I put, uh, maid's armor on Umi? Or wait, no, uh, <laughs> I'll just, I'll just cast Moonbeam on the, Moonbeam? on the giant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Uh, all right, that is a, an attack save on... Oh yeah, that is a save on my part. Okay. Okay. Um, what do I roll for that? Uh, I just have to make the save, and then okay. if you, uh, if he fails here, which Constitution saving throw, luck is on your side. Uh, so roll two d ten. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, it's really fine. Welcome back. Thank you. We are in combat. I think combat. I did that right. Uh, uh, uh. 2d10, <laughs> 16. Okay. Total of 16. Nicely done. Nice. As you kind of uh, grab onto your soap, you close your fist and pull downwards as if you were kind of like uh, signing like victory. The moonbeams that were coming through the breaks in the cliff begin channeling a, almost a small focused beam of light as two of them kind of circle and fly behind you these small glowing orbs as they just fly out and connect into the the sitting giant see so yeah. shoulders rock back as they connect and burn his flesh <laughs> Both of them hit him. Soap. <laughs> the power of tiger soap um all right uh do you want to move it all uh, I'll just stay here. <laughs> okay, you can stay right there. Um, with that, so, uh, because I brought this up at the top of the game as a home uh, rule, you have a bonus action. Typically, you can't do this. I allow it because I run big parties uh, oh. of like nine and more. Okay. Or seven to nine, I should say. Uh, so I allow you to cast a spell. Uh, as a oh. bonus action, as long as it's second level or lower. Second level or lower. Nice. Um, I guess I can do fairy fire. Yeah, <laughs> of that, course. Is that smart? <laughs> I don't know. It, because you guys are our new party, uh, uh, like I will, if you make something that's objectively like, you probably not do that. I'll, I'll, I'll give you kind of a, a bit of a warning, try to help yeah. you as best as I can. Um, Without pulling every punch. All right. Yeah. Okay, I'll do fairy fire then. Okay. Uh, so he needs to make a dexterity saving throw, and he has disadvantage on that due to the fact that he is prone. Uh, you're looking. Oh, holy fuck. Okay. Um. So as you uh just begin conjuring the lights of all the torches, the refraction of light from the gold, all the different lights kind of pulling and swirling around him. He gets outlined in this kind of blue and green and violet light um, as it all builds up to you can kind of 
pick any color really uh, uh builds up and kind of glows an aura around him he now has uh So any attack roll against the affected creature, um, the attacker can see it. The, uh, wait, what? Yeah, so everybody has uh, advantage against the creature. Um, I believe until the start of Nan's next turn. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Okay, I'm done with my turn then, right? <laughs> uh, yes, that'll be that'll be it. Unless you want to move. Uh, I'll move over a little further back. <laughs> like, sure. yeah. a couple of steps back. <laughs> 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 yeah. Wow. Fair enough, fair enough. Apologies on the delay of that spell. I've, I haven't used Fairy Fire in like two years. Um, oh. uh, but yeah. Okay, with that being said, next to the initiative order, uh, Aethel, uh, Mouse, you're on deck, so just kind of start thinking about what you want to do. <laughs> okay, uh, I want to try and break free so I can roll strength, yeah? Uh, yeah, so you could roll strength, or you could just start like attacking and stabbing him, or doing something, uh, and just forgo your movement and continue attacking him oh, from yeah. his grasp. Oh yeah, because I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm right here. Yeah, fuck it, I'll just yeah. do that. Sure. Yeah, I'd like to uh, attack. Could I use, uh, can I just attack with my blood spear for one? Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, so you'll hit, click on the hit box, the, it'll, the little plus seven. Oh yeah, yeah. And then, uh, if you're wanting to use it versatilely, two hands, you'd use the lower number, the one D eight plus four. Uh, you rolled a full oh, 26. Okay. <laughs> that wow. definitely hits. Good. Nice. Good. Okay. So, I, sorry, just a, I, I get one attack, one movement, and then one extra spell. A bonus action. So, a bonus action. You could, I allow you to like chug a potion. If you scroll down a bit in uh, your actions tab, uh, there'll be stuff for what you could do as a bonus action. So, you as a druid, um, you can uh, summon a wildlife spirit as a bonus action. And that's about it. Holy fuck. I, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll summon a, a wildlife spirit. <gasps> okay. So, as you stab into him, uh, what is the damage there? So roll that one up by your blood spear, the 1d8 plus 4. 1d8 plus 4. The piercing. Uh, 11. Ooh. Perfect. As you kind of grab your spear off your back, give it a little flourish as you turn it around and jab it into his armpit. You just feel the blood drip down your spear. And your spear itself you just pulls it in. As you drive it in deep, you watch it leak down his side as he, he seems rather enraged that these people woke him up and just started tying up his ankles and beating the piss out of him. <laughs> Whoa. Good. Um, nice. Hmm. Uh, let me One just grab. I'm, break free. Uh, he did not break free. He's still <gasps> in the grass. But you watch kind of pulling out of the ground this small tree man just <laughs> pulls himself up into the ground. He's going to share your initiative order. Uh, it's on your sheet there. He has an armor class of 13. He can move 30 feet. Uh, and he has a ranged weapon, which is a little flame seed, oh. or he can teleport. Oh my god. What? And he has 30 hit points. It's all in your sheet there under bonus actions. Oh, bonus actions. Oh, okay. I see him. I see him. I see him. Okay. Uh, can he attack right away? Uh, I'll say because he's a bonus action, you summoned him, and then you can attack on your next turn. Okay, so he's got summoning sickness. Uh, yes, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, can I still activate one of my spells or no? Uh, no. So that one of your activating one of your spells would be calling in uh, him because you've stabbed. Uh, you okay. can't move because you're grappled, That's and right. then you summoned your little uh, your little homie. Okay, then uh, I relinquish my turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So, Ooh, yeah. Mouse, it is your turn, and then the giant is on deck. Wait. What? What? That's not right. Uh, 
Mm, yeah, I rolled a six. Yeah, so sorry, the giant goes. Uh, you go before the giant. So you're on you're on deck. So just wait. Uh, kind of think about what you want to do. And mm. Umi, it's your turn. Uh, can I cast Bardic Inspiration? Yes, you can. How do you want to inspire the masses? Uh, hmm. well. <laughs> Be a speech, uh, could be a song, could be a song. Sure. Ooh, Pulling I sing, out your lute. Sing a song. All right. And you sing a, a small song of inspiration. Uh, who are you giving your bardic inspiration to? I'm giving my bardic inspiration to uh, uh, Nadir. Okay. Since he's going after me. All right. Perfect. And... What do you sing? <laughs> what would you like me to sing? Um, can we pretend that aeroplanes in the night skies are like shooting stars? I could uh, really use a wish right now. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, Bubby, it's your turn. Okay. Mm, well, I'd like to uh, stab his wrist, the one or the arm that's holding up Riglius. All right. Uh, roll to hit. Uh, with my, I guess I'm, I'm within, f am I within five feet? You are technically within five feet of him, him. so I'll allow you to just stab whatever okay. really extremity, except for his okay. head, which is up much higher. Okay, I will, 14. 14? Mm -hmm. Uh, that just narrowly hits. Perfect. Um, nice. So as you drive the, uh, rapier into his wrist... Um, I'm actually gonna make a roll for that. Okay, uh, give me the damage. Oh, eight. Eight? Okay. Mm -hmm. As you carve into his arm, you see the, the blood spill out and his hand opens. You are now ungrappled. <laughs> uh, um, I also have, I have two bonus actions, which I don't fully understand. I'd love no. to ask you a question about it. Yeah, of course. Uh, so with your two bo bonus actions, let me just open up your sheet. Uh, with your two bonus actions, you can make a number of things uh, all listed under your actions uh, tab mm -hmm. on your, your sheet. It'll list mm -hmm. you like everything you can do in a bonus action. If you were mm -hmm. hurt, you can knock back a potion because like I said, I do allow that at, uh, at the table. Mm -hmm. um, you... Um, can't do sneak attack right now, but um, yeah, you can decide to dash. You can just as a road. You can disengage. Uh, mm -hmm. You can hide if you want to, like, kind of disappear and try to get a sneak attack on him later. Mm -hmm. um, things of that nature. Could uh... you should only have you should only have one bonus action. Oh, really? I have... I see... Ac ac okay, actions in combat. Two-weapon uh, fighting. That's two-weapon that fighting. So that's like... You, you have the ability to fight, like... Your rapier in one hand, your dagger in the other. Oh. Yeah. I should have done that. Okay, and, and I also have something called Master of Tactics? Uh, you can use the help, as an, help action as a bonus action. Um, oh. So, like, you can choose to... Uh, say Aethel wanted to get a boost, you could choose mm. to use the help action to help him get a boost. So when he oh. goes to do that, it allows him to leap up higher. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose I shall hide for now, or should I go behind him? What do you reckon, guys? Yeah, uh, I, I would recommend like going to hide or disengaging, which is just like backing up from him. Okay. Um, I'll hide. Okay. Yeah, uh, good so idea. Just Roll a stealth. Uh, 14. 14? Perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, so you kind of duck out of his line of sight, hiding between one of his larger foots uh, and thigh. Ooh. He can't quite oh. see you, but you're right up close to him still. Uh, I, I am just going to say, uh, for the, the individuals watching that are a little salty, uh, the, the rules are a little looser. If this was a more experienced party, we would kind of tighten up the rules and, and really play. But we're just playing fast and loose. We're trying to have a good time. So just enjoy it. I'm enjoy the ride fun. and let's it's go. It's for fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's just for fun. Like, I do I, I, I do tight rules with my 
You're doing a fantastic job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, okay. don't, don't worry. It's, it's fine. Yeah. All right. It's the so, rule of cool, bro. So am I hiding yeah. between his dick? Uh, you're like hiding <laughs> on the other side of his thigh. It's like outside of his thigh. You can smell okay. his dick. Oh. And it reeks. Is that a bonus action? <laughs> <laughs> bonus action to sniff cheese. Boner action. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, so with that being said it is the giant's turn he is going to he reaches down grabs onto his club does a big heavy overhand he's going to try to hit you uh, Riglis, uh and that is you bitch. are you fucking serious uh, okay uh, what? Uh -oh. what uh oh uh oh oh no 13 to hit 13 to hit yeah. So your AC, uh, your armor class, yeah, uh, is I have your sheet still open. Fourteen. So fourteen doesn't hit, or thirteen Ooh. won't hit you. So in order to land it, both on you guys making attacks, you need to uh, make the AC so exactly fourteen or higher. Okay. So he misses. So he slams down, going to hit you, <laughs> but you kind of just narrowly step out of the way as he collides into the ground. Cool. Pussy. <laughs> Barrowing his other hand into the dirt, narrowly scooping up Nadir. He goes and hucks a rock at uh, Jafael. Oh, Ooh. sick. Oh, brace, uh, brace. Brace. Brace, Jafael. <laughs> that is a 14 to hit. <laughs> okay. What's your armor class? Yeah, what is your armor, armor class? 15. So it also what? doesn't hit. Oh! As you as you bring up the soap, a small aura of bubbles surrounds you, and the yes. rocks just like Whoa. bounce off. Nice work, Jafael. Yeah. My tiny tiger soul protected me again. Uh, I knew it'd come in handy. <laughs> All right, uh, top of the round, Jafael. Oh shit, guys, what should I do? Cut his dick Bro, off. Again. Can I cast Moonbeam on his on his dick? You, you could definitely cast yeah. Moonbeam on his dick if that's what you so choose. I'm standing uh, right next to his dick, so please don't hit me. You are fairly close <laughs> to his wing. Aim small, miss uh, small. It's, it's like 11 <laughs> feet tall. It's not exactly small, but, you know, it's all about perspective. Wait, He's not a grower voice. I'm <laughs> able to cast it, right? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it. you can you can cast it again. So you have um, Moonbeam. Let me look at your spell sheet. Uh, yeah. So your Moonbeam is a second level spell. Uh, so you've expended uh, one second level spell. You could do it again. Um, oh, okay. Oh, actually, sorry. Yeah, you could do it one more time because you've done okay. sleep. Uh, you've, oh, you've cast the sleep at the first level. Yeah, so yeah, you could do it two more times if you really wanted to. Okay. Um, you could also cast like fairy fire on him again, uh, and that's all you have for attack spells, really. You could also move in and slap him if you wanted to. Um, mm -hmm. you do have your staff of defense. Uh, you uh, also have your whip. Would the, mm, whip, the whip be stronger Ooh. than the moonbeam? Could I whip him? The in whip the is one d four, so the moonbeam would technically do more damage. Mm. Mm, I need uh, to do massive damage. Yeah. Your, st your staff of defense does pretty decent damage. It's 1d8. Hmm. I guess I'll do I'll do moonbeam. I'll, I'll do moonbeam. Moonbeam again? Yeah, fuck uh, yeah. Okay. Moon, um, yeah. All right. Um, the two orbs pulling down from the light. The twin moons of Edridge aiding you as they... <laughs> These small orbs spin around you, oh. and uh, oh. that is a. S Can't read my own dice, damn it. Uh, okay, that is a failure on his part as the two oh. beams oh. fire that damage off. <laughs> Let's see what Wait. you got. So two two d two d ten. Two d ten. Two d ten. Okay, okay, okay. Two d. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> Hold up, is that from two? <laughs> yeah, two d10. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. it, what? Damn, it's so little, right? You watch <laughs> the two orbs fly under his tunic and hit him square in the crotch. You hear a little. <laughs> See, holds his crotch with his one hand. <laughs> it got him a little. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got. Jafael. 
fairy fire his dig? Uh, you could. Well, you, fairy fire doesn't do any damage. It just gives everybody oh, else yeah. advantage on their attacks. Oh, uh, I true. will state that just my hiccup, he stood up on his turn. Uh, oh. He's like he's not like fully standing. He's more of in a crouch. Okay. Yeah. Wait, could she fairy fire for like my attack? Yeah, I could uh, really... it, if she fairy fires, it would just give everybody this round advantage again. Um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, just for the sake of it being what it is, I would because nobody used it. I would say the advantage is still kept from the last fairy fire. Oh, okay. Just okay. to save the spell slot. Okay. Yeah. Um. What does maid's armor do? It's like, it's one of my first level spells from the Staff of Defense. So mage armor allows you to add to your AC by uh, creating like a, a kind of like an arcane armor on yourself. And it, it's a defense spell. So could you can you cast it on, on someone else. Yeah, or... could I do it on uh, Big Rig? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna walk up to Big Rig and do maze armor on him. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that so, tickles. So you just hear the you just hear this like <laughs> as she starts just rubbing soap on your back and then <laughs> <laughs> and a, you you feel this like barrier of a, a moonlit energy the <laughs> intricate carvings in your uh in your wood and your metal on your body Ooh. begins glowing <laughs> I, I yeah. this is my soap land <laughs> effect <laughs> so <laughs> it, uh, it's magic that i learned in soap land what is <laughs> what is your uh <laughs> What is your dexterity modifier, uh, uh, Big Rig? My dexterity. Uh, yeah. What does that mean again? So your dexterity modifier would be the plus number on your dexterity. Uh, you mean the uh, minus number on my dexterity? <laughs> <laughs> I have minus two. So, uh, <laughs> you just got some glowing stuff that doesn't really do anything, but yeah, that's fine. it looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, I washed his back. <laughs> we are in battle! <laughs> I was trying to help! I was trying to help! Why did you clean him? You look dirty. <laughs> <laughs> that Why thing would touched him! Battle? <laughs> I'm sorry! We're fighting in Yan's damn bed, bath, and beyond. <laughs> Like the skincare routine, okay? <laughs> he doesn't have flesh. <laughs> the metal wood, <laughs> wood can't get acne. Um, he's got like, moss on him. <laughs> <laughs> he gets like, he gets like moss instead of eczema. <laughs> Clean off the uh, rust. Somebody take away her spell book or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so that's all I can do, right? That's yeah. all my. That is all you can do. Yes. I, I can uh, my time. <laughs> So, uh, oh, so you gonna you gonna scoop some dirt up and clean that? <laughs> <laughs> the big rig. You can uh, now go about your turn. Don't forget, you can also use your little homie. Uh, I'm gonna call him that instead of his official title because he's a little homie. Um, so he's, yeah, he's a little like tree based kind of spriggan. Yeah. Uh, first, uh, can I attack with him? Yeah, my, of course. My wildfire homie. Okay, yeah. I yeah. want to attack with him. Okay, so his stats are all down below uh, in uh, under your bonus actions. Okay, yeah, I see him. Yeah. Uh, flame uh, seed. So just roll one. Uh, just go to the dice in the corner. Roll 1d20. 1d20? Yeah, and then add three. You'll have to like add the math on your own. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, I got a 20 plus 3. Okay, 23. That definitely hits as he kind of puts his hand up. Nice. As he fires off this little burning seed out of his hand. Uh, so roll 1d6 and then add 3. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Roll 2d6 because you got a natural 20 and it'll allow you to do the crit damage. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yes. 2d6? Two, two yeah, 2d6 and then add 3. 2d6, here we go. 5 plus 3, 8. Oh. 
How did you roll a four? <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, as you I can explain, <laughs> the seed fires in. You watch it stick into his chest. <laughs> He starts trying to get up and, and stand. Uh, Stride's not happy. Uh, okay. Uh, me, it is your. Oh, are you gonna uh, move? Oh, was that was that everything? Ah, uh, yeah. So, oh, right. You actually have to attack Dur. That is yeah, the, yeah, yeah. My bad. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. So you can attack on your own, move, and then also you can do a bonus action. You don't have to take a bonus action. It's just okay. like it's a bonus. So you can move. Uh, could I? Could I attack with Burning Hands? My spell. What? It, wait. What does that do exactly? Burning. Uh, so Burning Hands. Um. It's a yeah. So each creature in a fifteen-foot cone has to make a dexterity saving throw, uh, or they take three d six fire damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. Oh fuck yeah! Okay, uh, I'm gonna do that. All right, as you. Put your hands together. You begin kind of rubbing it as your wooden hands begin to smoke. The metal heating up as you open it, and a small jet of flame just I just punch my monitors uh, shoots forward and just begins burning his thigh, his leg, and burning hands. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that is a failed dexterity save on his part. Give me that damage. <laughs> Yes. Okay, uh, I just roll the uh, the three d six next to burning hands. Yeah, of course. Okay, come on. Ten. Hmm. Mm. Big rig. Yes. How do you want to do this? What do you mean? Ah, right. It's been a long time since I had to explain this. How do you want to kill him? Oh. <gasps> 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 Is this the finishing blow? It's the finishing blow. Uh, okay. I can I do like anything I want? Within reason, yeah. Okay. I want to turn in turn my body into like a giant knife and have everyone like in the party grab onto the handle, <laughs> the hill to the blade, and just jab it right into his fucking gut. Oh as you bring your hands together the wood and uh kind of intertwining around itself the metal itself melting you yourself just kind of becoming this large pointed edge as you begin leading forward your little uh spriggan your little homie grabs you by the ankles he grabs your legs and throws you upwards about five <sighs> feet as the entirety of this misfit party kind of grabs you by the waist and holds you down onto your belt driving it in to his just upper thigh you kind of watch it tear through as you dig into the ground your arms kind of pull apart as you spread open the wound you watch the blood pouring out of his leg as he begins stumbling back <laughs> He takes a few steps back and slumps down to the ground as he's holding on to his leg. He's bleeding out. He slowly begins to fall unconscious. <laughs> I think he got the point. God damn it. Not too sharp, is he? <laughs> We're just a cut above the rest. <laughs> The urge Stop. to get his advantage is strong. <laughs> it will kill. <laughs> <laughs> it will kill. <laughs> Any Force and Fire fans in here? Fucking <laughs> Jesus. It will kill. <laughs> it will kill. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so you figured it out. It wasn't a giant. It was just a big ballistic gel dummy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> This is all a Forged in Fire competition. Congratulations. Yeah. God, I love that show. <laughs> Fuck, it's so good. <laughs> all right. <sighs> what are you all doing? So we killed him. I'm wiping the blood off my blade, my arms. Your entire body. <laughs> I'm sl slowly trying to mash down my massive erection. That I was... 
<laughs> it, does it grow like Pinocchio? <laughs> like it just like <laughs> sticks out. <laughs> It's just an imagination. I don't have those kind of feelings, unfortunately. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so now. Are, we, are we looting or what? You can definitely loot. Yeah, let's, oh, loot. Yeah. let's loot. There's probably a ton of shit around here. Uh, so, in total, you all find uh, there are seven. Actually, uh, everybody roll investigation checks. Investigation. Okay. Hey, I have good investigation. Investigation. Uh, 16. Oh, nice. Uh, Whoa, Jafael, 23. Uh, uh, detective. Uh, investigation. A roll, roll. Just, just don't notice how much I rolled. Oh, it's okay. Uh, I did way worse. <laughs> <laughs> I got 10. Uh, I think 12 is good. Uh, 12, yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. Even 10 is pretty decent. Um, All collectively, you find... Um, uh, 700 gold in gems, jewels, Ooh. and crowns. You find 2,000 gold pieces. Oh. Uh, you find 500 platinum pieces. Oh. Um, during this time in my world, a pl- one platinum is worth a th- uh, worth 100 gold. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, oh my god. So we're rich. Uh, we hit the mother yeah, load. You, you, you guys uh, made quite a bit of money. Uh, three crates of imported silks, one crate of linens from Juoto, uh, a half of a terracotta man, huh? and a, a, a jade, uh, what looks like a jade tiger statue. Oh, a tiger statue? Mm. Holy yeah. shit. It, it's uh, it's Whoa. it's about like a foot, one foot by one foot. That's oh, a tiny tiger. Yeah. <sighs> well, fuck. I, I mean, you guys just, let's split it evenly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I can hold on to the money if you guys want me to. What? Oh, uh, there's also a bag of holding amongst all of that for you to dump it all oh. into. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, yeah. there we go. We'll just put it Bag in of that. holdings are like a Mary Poppins purse. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll just put it in that. Put everything in there. Okay, well, I mean, the ogre's dead now. It was a hill of giants, but... Oh, the same difference. <laughs> the ogre technically is also dead. I was talking about from... An ogre. Yeah, I was yeah. talking about from earlier. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, so we so killed the hill we giant. we didn't really find out what happened. No, but you know we still need to find the hag. Yeah, we yeah. still have to find the hag. I want to mm. check for her scent. I want to sniff around for the hag scent. Is there any what? inspections we could do to maybe find uh, some clues? Yeah. With the 16 and the 23, uh, Nadir, mm. you end up seeing that his club isn't just some big chunk of wood. It's carved. Find it has proper filigree on it, and it has the initials D K. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. What? God damn it! Oh. D K. D K. Hmm. D K. Donkey Kong. Wait. Is here. D K. Wait. Is that D K? He's nuts. <laughs> God damn it. That's, that's not even correct. He's nuts with the silent K. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the K is Wait, silent. Wasn't the, the Leviticus guy's last name K, right? What was his right? last name K? Yeah, started was, with a K. Is it his brother? Is it his brother? Could be. Potentially. We don't know. You never got the brother's name. We didn't. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's L- L- um, LK was... Was there anything else that we perhaps found out? You also would have found a uh, small ledger. Uh, well, small for the giant standards. It's a pretty large book uh, <laughs> for all of you. You can still carry it, but like uh, think a book that someone would keep their like taxes or, or business transactions mm-hmm. in um, with a number of like very crudely written ship names. Uh <gasps> Just of ships to be sunk, uh, oh, ships yeah. to be okay. raided, like ships that went missing. Yeah. 
Or sh sh more, less a bounty and more of like a, a log of list. what? Uh, more of like a log of things that, like ships that went missing. Oh. So like, uh, you would see different ships in like their allotted cargo. Mm. The, like a collection book. Okay. Where somebody is giving the hill giant information on which ships might have, say, valuable things inside of them. Yes. Mm. They were working together. Mm. Why would they pay us? Oh, we still don't know. Hmm. Perhaps there's a reason or maybe there's a benefit to us killing maybe the woman, the old hag. You think mm, so? We have yeah. to question her. Yeah. Well, let's follow, go and find her. Follow the money, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, fuck, yeah. I, I guess, can we make our way towards the hag? Yeah, of course. Following your way yeah. along the caves, uh, exiting the giant's alcove and going to the side of the cliffs, walking along the beach, all of you begin walking for a good 10 to 15 minutes before you start seeing a point in the beach where the sand breaks and the water is rushing in a, a small cave network. You can see light flickering from inside and the scuttling of smaller creatures. Hmm. What should we do? Uh. I will no. take you all to a new map. Oh, cool. 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 Thank you. Oh, I'm going to make your way inside. <clears throat> oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, wow. Is it supposed to be blacked out? Yeah, so oh, that's areas you haven't expo oh. explored. I can do it where it's like a light system where you guys create light as you move through, but I just I didn't have the time. I forgot about it. Oh. oh well I guess well, let's hunt this hag then. <clears throat> yeah, let's make our way through. Sure. Uh, I so will do... get her. <laughs> you see the break. <laughs> <in a> <laughs> mm hmm Get up in her guts. Uh you mm -hmm. can see uh there's a break in the sand around the corner. There's also ladders that lead up into a smaller path. Which way would you want to go? Uh yeah, maybe. Mm. Yeah, uh, I've seen this in Dark Souls. Let's take the ladder. Mm. Oh, take okay. the ladder? Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. So, climbing up the ladder, who goes first? What, what's the marching order? Go uh, go first. Yeah, go for uh, it. Okay. So, he's going first. Uh, who is second, third, and back? Uh, I'll go in the very back. Okay. Who's going first? Uh, me. Bubby's Baby. going first. Okay, I'll go after you. Okay, I'll go after me. Okay, perfect. Uh, so as you climb up the first ladder, then the second, Nadir, you see that the cave is uh, it gets much tighter. It leads mm. into a moss-covered, damp cave. You hear the... <laughs> coming from the inside hmm. has two individual creatures both similar voice talking to one another there's more than one hag what <laughs> you say <laughs> what the fuck oh could it be her underlings yeah Maybe. You guys just want to approach? You feel brave? No. What, what you, do we know? Can I know. perceive? You could... Yeah, if you if move forward, I need a stealth check. From okay. whoever's creeping into the smaller cave. Uh, <laughs> you I do just want to creep dear. into the smaller. Yeah. Okay, I'll roll a stealth check. All right. Uh, 22. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Ooh. Clutch. All right. Oh. Moving up and forward, keeping as quiet as possible, you see these kind of bumpy fleshed blue skin goblins, two of them pointing at each other as they're just picking mm. up these balls. These they, they look to be maybe fruit that have rotten. They're these kind of like goopy red as they're throwing them at one of each other, and they're just kind of they're playing like basically dodgeball with two oh. people. 
Yes. <laughs> As they splat one another and laugh. Hmm. I am able to speak a goblin. Goblin Oh, nuts. that's right. Yeah, you can talk to them. I can talk to them, and I can look like them. That we could. The, the goblins are considered small. I mm, I'd have to. Let me double check. Sure, uh, sure. Uh, goblin these nuts. I why why did you have to? <laughs> Nothing. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> they, 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 they are considered small, so you wouldn't be able to transform into them. Because that's like two sizes down, your spine. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Ah, uh, okay. Perhaps I could... Hmm. Well, if the hag is a human, she's probably not a goblin. Hmm. Hmm, what do you think, guys? <sighs> um... I mean, if you Dear. don't think it's the hag, I mean, we can just take him out on our way up. What if she's a sea witch? You see that these caves are heavily fortified. Chunks of ships have been moved in and turned into small mm. houses. This used to be home to bandit and smugglers many years ago, but now overgrown, forgotten, and turned into a goblin hideout. That's when you see her. Her bulbous form. Uh. Her large, arched back and almost muscular arms. Ooh. What? Wrapped in twigs and mis just completely disfigured oh. from toe to head. Oh, I see. Patchwork hair hanging down. The hag looks around. She looks to be brewing something in a pester uh, in a pestle just kind of carving something up, grinding it. Give you a give you a photo of her. Oh, fuck. Ew! Here's the goblins, by the way. Where? Uh, in, I put them in the... Oh! There's the goblins. I put them in the uh, one-shot no. chat. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'll put it up on the screen. I fast. think I've decided what I want to do. Okay. What do you think? I have some items in my bag that can be used to maybe distract people. Perhaps I could throw one, distract, and then kill them from behind. Well, you just you just want to kill them? You don't want to? Yeah, I, I yeah. I mean, I know goblins, and I think that um, not really worth saving. What? <laughs> I don't think this hag is one that we can reason with. And I have a feeling that these goblins are going to help attack us if we, um, say, approach her. Mm, we have to take them out. Yeah, I think, I think so. Right. Why do you guys want to kill everything so bad? Goblins don't want to talk to us. How do you know? You want me to talk to them? Uh, I, I, mean... I can talk to them. I don't want to tell you what to do because then I make the wrong call and then you'll never hear, let me hear the end of it. <laughs> you hear a, a voice echoing through the caverns. A familiar uh -huh. voice. What? Friends! Goblin brethren, it's me! I'm Sergei. You're, uh, you're, you're doing something wrong here. As you see your small, over-armored goblin, you've written met oh. earlier walking oh. through the caves trying oh. to converse with his fellow goblins oh. hello please uh brethren put down the the fruit and step away from the hag and they just hey <laughs> one pulls out a crossbow and fires as it drives through imsa's forehead and he just <gasps> drops down to the ground so gay <laughs> Oh no. We should we should strike now while they're distracted, <laughs> killing him. We should kill the goblins. Let's go. Do we want to talk to them now? <laughs> no. Rush over and start they start looting his body. Oh. Can I move right now to to backstab one of them? Sure, yeah, of course. I'm just gonna draw okay. a little stick man for Mr. Sergey. Oh, they killed my best friend. That means you're gay. We gotta kill him. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. 
is is there anything I can do with my athletics? I have like insane athletic skills. Uh, yeah. If you're wanting to like run, yeah, jump, we can take can one run and do freaking yeah, flips we can, and shit. We can take them both yeah, out at the same much. time. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I want to run in and bash their skull in. <gasps> sure. Maybe um, I could sneak up on the far one, and you could run to the closer one. Perfect. So, Nadir, mm. I'm gonna get you to roll to hit, and then you can add your sneak attack. Uh, down at the bottom, mm. uh, you can uh, once per turn, you can deal an extra three d six damage to one creature you attack uh, with a finesse weapon. So or I roll so any of the hits. Yeah. So your dagger or your rapier, and. Mm -hmm. uh, when you do your damage, you can add an additional 3d6. Ooh, oh, perfect. okay, let's do it. Yeah, do it, right. mate. 22 to hit. Oh, uh, oh fuck 22 yeah. definitely hits as you okay. leap over and just Ooh. Assassin's Creed down onto oh. him, driving the rapier into the top of his shoulder. Oh, fuck yeah. Perfect. Should I roll damage? Yes. The three plus the sneak attack, right? Uh, it'll be, uh, are you using your rapier or your dagger? Uh, rapier. So you roll the 1d8 and then, uh, roll an additional 3d6. Ten. Uh, goddamn. Okay, so 13 in total. Oh. <laughs> this poor goblin. <laughs> this is basically it. Basically, a hate crime. Um, <laughs> as you land down onto him, driving the rapier to the point where you feel his spine, just your weight alone, compress as he just folds like a crushed pop can into the water. You just blood and sinew fill the water as he dies. The he other shit, goblin! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the other goblin you're jumping on at the same time, uh, Big Rig. How are you doing that? What are you doing? Are you just, you just jumping on him? Are you jumping and like hitting him with the something? Are you jumping and turning into Love a that. bear? I want to turn in. Can I turn into a tiger? The, I want to turn into the same tiger that we saw in the statue. Technically, no, but you know what? Sure, why not? All right, funk, yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to turn into a tiger and then, yeah, run up right next to him. Uh, and just take a giant bite, like, straight out of the side of his face. Roll a strength check first. Okay. Uh, strength. Eight. As you both land next to him, you just hear him... Aah! As he screams at the top of his lungs. Oh my god. <laughs> and roll the hit. Uh, hold on. I'll have to get you tiger stats. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just uh, base your attacks. You'll have to manually roll all this. Okay, that's okay. Base your attacks off of that. So, like, for a bite, you'd roll 1d20 plus 5 to hit, and then for damage, you do 1d10 plus 3. Okay, so first 1d20 plus 5? Yeah. Okay. Rolling d20 now. 18 plus 5? All right. Part oh, Jesus. Yeah, that definitely hits. Okay. Plus nice. And then the damage, so it'll be uh, 1d10 plus 3. 1d10 plus 3. Rolling d10 now. 8 plus 3. As you bite down into his neck and then kind of pull your teeth out, bite into his middle, in his midsection, and tear him clean in half. The blood and entrails just fall to the sides. Child's play. You hear the wet jowls of the hag. Oh, God. Oh. Hey, babies. They are here to help. Help what needs to be done. And you kill them. And you will pay. Roll for initiative. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Let's go, guys. Hag fight, hag fight. Hag fight. Hag fight, hag fight. Hag fight. No! <laughs> Scream. 
<laughs> Six. Mm, nice. Fifteen. Nice. Nadir. Initiative. Nine. Okay. Oh, nice. Ooh. Nice. Nice. File. <laughs> God damn, Jeff. Favorite combat music. Oh fuck yeah. We could have just talked to them. <laughs> no, 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 no. There is they no room for talking here. You guys just want to kill everything. They killed Sergey. They killed Sergey. Listen, sometimes people die. <laughs> She's got a point. Period. That's true. Uh, is gonna right. die. So. Uh, Big Rig got an eight for initiative. Uh, Jafael got a 19. God damn. Oh. Big initiative. It's, it's very weird having uh, like regular people initiative after my last campaign where they were level 20 and rolling 30s. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. Jesus. Um, the deer got a 15. Oh, not 153. And... Umi got a six. <laughs> uh, let me just add the goblin. These nuts. Uh, and the hag. I gotta move her because I can't see her. There we go. Um, I'm gonna open up the rest of the map so y'all can uh, see the rest of the cave because you're all basically in here now. Um, the hag. Oh, okay. All right, top of the round, Jafael. Oh no. Uh, I guess I'll do fairy fire to give everyone an advantage. Sure. Nice. Of nice. Okay. And that's. Do I have to roll for that? I forgot. <laughs> uh, it is a save on her part. Okay, I'll go there. Um... And, uh, what is her constitution? Not as great. Uh, okay, no, that is a failure. So, as you, um, kind of pull the colors from the room and they surround her, she just begins to glow the soft violet. Oh. Like, what did else I you do? do it? Yep, you did it. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, so everybody who attacks, spellcast, whatever, advantage if it's against her. Nice. Okay, hell okay. yeah. Nice work, mm -hmm. Jafael. Thank you. Can I try to cast sleep on her? Uh, not if you could certainly try, but I, I will say it'd be a waste of a spell slot. Yeah, Dude, I don't know if this her, is gonna her work. Hit point, her hit points are very high. Yeah, oh. I don't know if that'll work. Yeah. Okay, the, I'll just the, do the giant I, I weakened per, just to give you guys a chance. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Oh. Maybe we can start walking over. Yeah, maybe move yeah, in. Yeah. Oh, Let's uh, move I'll, in. I will mark this Gabo as dead, very dead. There we go. So good. Uh, we'll offend you. The legend of Mr. Gay. Um, <laughs> Bards will sing songs about him. Uh, okay, Nadir, uh, you, it is your turn. Um, I suppose I can't really do anything, so I'll move towards the wretch. Nice. Perfect. All right. Uh, how close do you want to move? Your full movement or? I think my full movement will only move me 30, right? 30 feet, yeah. That could get you I... to about like here okay i guess i'll go there yeah fuck it. all right so you begin moving forward you nice know, just pushing past most of the debris it, there's uh rotten fruit and and feasties oh. it, this this 
Bandit, once great bandit camp, the Smuggler's Cove, has been completely mm. taken over by these goblins does, and this hag. Does, how far does my dash allow me to move? Uh, dash allows you to move uh, twice your movement. So in total, it would be 60 feet. So you could do oh. an additional 30. If you're not going to attack, you, I, I'd allow that. Oh, dude. Uh, I'm yeah. not going to attack, so I guess I'll move in. Sure. Yeah, uh, okay. Do you want to get under the same ledge that she's on? If so, roll an acrobatics check. Okay, sure. I'm plus one, let's hope so. Yeah, do 16. It, 16. Nice. As you begin moving forward, you kick off the one wall, off the adjacent, oh. and up onto the ledge as you just make this little... Oh, dude. Nice. You're fairly close to her. You see your kind of hulking visage. She's hunched over her arms, oh. very muscular. She, oh. uh, she's, she's pretty big. Even hunched over, she's about seven foot two. Holy oh, yeah. fuck. She's so big, I'm only 4'10". Okay, well, I suppose I can't do anything else, so I have to wait for you guys now to get here. Yeah, we're coming, man. Okay, uh, next up is me, right? I'm gonna real quick. Uh, next up is actually the hag. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. I should wait, just in case. Okay. Um, so she is going <laughs> to... All right, she just looks at you. Slaughtered my babies. She rushes up and wraps her arms around you. She's going to go for a crushing hug. Uh, no. That is a 15 to hit. I have 12 armor. That So that hits. Uh, oh, fuck. I do have uh, um, uncanny dodge. Yes, this will allow you to uh, half the damage, I believe. Or okay. One second. Oh, please. It's been a while since I played at a lower level. Um, uncanny dodge. Yeah, half the attack's damage. Um, all right, let me roll that. You might be, you should be able to see this, technically. Did a number pop up for you? Uh, on roll 20? Yeah. Um, or no, on D&D uh, on Beyond. Oh. No? Nope. I assume no. Uh, um, I don't see it, no. Okay, perfect. Uh, so, she wraps her arms around you and you feel her kind of forearms flex and her arms squeeze as your back pops as uh, you take 10 points of damage as she oh, squeezes fuck. down oh, no. on your back. Fuck. Is that 10 after the half? Uh, half, yeah, that's after the half. <gasps> oh, fuck. That would have one-shot me if I didn't have the uncanny dodge. Oh, that was so clutch. I have eight health points now. Oh my Yo, god! I, I have a I have a curing spell. If I can rush in and get to you, I could cure you. Do, do I have? Do I still have my healing spells? You should. Yes. Do you have used them yet? Uh, no. I just want to make sure because yeah. uh, I I have healing word and cure wounds. Oh fuck yep. yeah! Yeah, if we both can get in, we could probably get them back up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that it for the hag? I have some potions I can use next turn. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not, I got you. You're not dying on me, Nadir. All dear. right. Uh, uh, the goblin. No, I don't have high dexterity, chat. I put all which, my points into his talking. Which the, spell? the goblin just <laughs> rushes over, steps on the body of Sergei, and uh, uh, gets a little closer. Son of a bitch. No. Uh, that's all he can do. He can't move. Okay. Okay. He does not have a range weapon. Okay. Okay. Save all me. Right. Save me. Fuck. It is your turn, Big Rig. Okay. Um. What do you guys <laughs> think? Do you think it's safer for me to? Because I can use my athletics or something to if rush you, if in close. You, if you attack, I will heal. Okay. Okay. Um, so don't worry. Okay. Should I go after the goblin first to just get rid of him? Whatever you want to do. I think. Oh, I will. Um, stay. Yeah, that is that is. Uh, I don't, you would still have your little homie with you. Oh, fuck. Yes. OK, yeah. he's, just, he's just he's just kind of chilling there. Tree homie. OK, 
Uh, I, I don't know if this is allowed, but is there any way that I can attack with my tree homie and then try and run into where the hag is near uh, Nadir? Yes. Try to do that all in one turn. Uh, I should move you. You are technically right there. Oh, yeah, that's um, right. Yeah, because you jumped down on the dude. Uh, yeah, so you could attack the, the cat. You could uh, rush out. I... Yeah, uh, you could rush out um, and... Yeah, I would say you could attack the, the goblin or you could just spend expend your entire turn moving. Uh, leaving an enemy's area, uh, if yeah. you're within their like five foot zone, it does promote an attack of opportunity. So they get like a free swing on you oh. uh, outside of their turn if you leave them, unless you're like a rogue and you can disengage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to kill this fucking goblin. I'm going to leave. I don't want him to get a cheap shot and I just want to clear the path for everyone. So... Sure. I'm gonna attack the goblin uh, first with yeah. my tree, homie, if I can. Yeah, of course. Any attacking you can, I'll do what I can. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, I, mm. I want to go in with the tree, homie. I need to kill this fucker. Booby. All right. Sorry, I went to uh, relieve myself. What can oh, I do? No worries, man. Be fine. You're uh, currently grappled and uh, still being getting I'll the heal death you. hug from Grandma. Mm -hmm. I'll heal you, booby. Are you healing me? Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, uh, I want to attack with uh, my tree, my wildfire spirit. All right, so on the bottom of your sheet there, there is uh, your the spirit. There's that range attack, same one you used as last time. Uh, on the bottom of my sheet, sorry. Yeah, uh, under bonus actions. Oh, bonus I'll actions. Scroll I'll down. Uh, so it'll be uh, 1d20 plus 3 to hit. 1d20 plus 3? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and he's well within 60 feet, so. Okay, rolling d20 now. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, uh, plus, plus three. Uh, plus three. So ten. Doesn't hit as the C Fuck. just bounces off the thick hide oh, of the no. goblin. Okay, that's okay. Uh, can I attack the goblin with my... Uh, with my blood spear? Yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, I'm going to attack with the blood spear then. Okay. Oh, well, actually, no, you're a tiger right now, so you... You're still a tiger. <laughs> oh, I'm still a tiger. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you stay a tiger until you decide to switch out of that. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, I'll bite him then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh... Yeah, go for uh, a bite attack. It will be on the tiger stat block I handed you. Oh, let me open this in a different browser real fast um so the bite will be uh 1d20 plus 5 to hit 1d20 plus 5 okay yeah 1d20 rolling now that's a 14 plus 5 so that 19 definitely okay definitely hits. Oh, okay. okay so it's 1d20 or 1d10 plus 3 for damage 1d10 plus 3 okay rolling now come on that's a 2 plus 3 5 fuck as he skids on the uh, uh, on the body of Sergey, you just bite down into his arm and pull his left arm off as he just screeches <laughs> in pain. As a tiger, you can claw. I want to claw. It, I it, claw. If I just threw a tiger at you, the tiger can bite claw. So I'll allow you to claw. As well. I'll claw. I'll claw. Okay. Uh, so that is one d twenty plus five again. One d twenty plus five. Yeah. Rolling now. It's fourteen <sighs> plus five. Nineteen. Okay, and then 1d8 plus 3 for damage. 1d8 plus 3, here we go. Come on. <laughs> All right, as you just... 2 plus 3, so 5. Rear back in a heavy claw as you tear the poor goblin clean in half. <laughs> I came bounding over. <laughs> he tumbles and rolls. Um, All right, and now you can move. Okay. Uh, so you you have forty feet of movement. Forty feet of movement. Yeah. Okay. The uh, the ledges here on the side uh, are five feet. Okay. Yeah. Uh. I guess is there any way that I can make it up to? Uh. Wait, forty feet of movement. So each each yeah, block so is five, right? So five. Five, ten, fifteen, and then. 
Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you mean. So like thirty would be like right here. Okay. Just because it's five feet to get up. That'd be I 20, see. Twenty-five. Yeah. It'd be like here, here. Okay. I guess I'll just try to get as close to the hag as I can get. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'd say right here. I wish I had cat ear version of you as a as a token just for the tiger. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. As you <laughs> rush over and begin clawing into the stone, clambering up, bounding. <laughs> Nadir, you just see this massive tiger kind of <laughs> made of wood and metal. Um, okay, I relinquish my turn. Okay, uh, with that being said, it is Umi's turn. <laughs> uh, get in there, dude. I would, I would like to heal Nadir. Okay, uh... You are using um, healing word. Which one is the best? <laughs> let me let me look at what you have. Uh, I don't remember which one's better. Uh, if healing word or cure wounds is better, I think healing word might be. Because uh, I think it, if it's cure wounds, I think I would have to like actually touch the person. Yeah, uh, healing word would be better for what you're currently doing, just because you don't have to go. get up into the into the shit. Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, I get a bonus action with healing word, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. I would like to cast healing word. All right. How do you cast it? How do you how do you cast the spell itself? Oh, I sing a song, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All I right. sing to the window, to the wall. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. That's not what I sing. <laughs> uh, so your spellcasting modifier is plus three. So you can roll 1d4 uh, plus three uh, for how much uh, Nadir heals. No. Where? How do I do that again? Sorry. So there's a little dice in the bottom left hand corner. And oh, it'll be one, the first one, little triangle. Little pyramid. 1d4. Yeah, and then just add three with your brain. Mm. <laughs> nice. Seven? Yeah, Rose seven. Four. So. Yeah, uh, then. Wait, what? Yeah, seven. Uh, so, Nadir, you heal seven hit points. You can feel your wounds close up as the song sings in the background. As you hear tales of sweat dripping down balls, your wounds <laughs> begin to close. <laughs> oh! <laughs> your back realigning. Your legs beginning to work again. Um... Whoa! <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, okay. Uh, with that, uh, Jafael, uh, do you want to move at all? Uh, yes. Move. I would like to move. How far can I move? You can move 30 feet. So, I can move 30 feet. 30 would be right behind uh, Big Rig. Do it. All right. Yeah, get up here. Take me. All right. Take me uh, also, Big Rig. Big Rig, you can move your little homie 30 feet. So you can put him right next to Umi if you'd like. Yeah, yeah, put him next to Umi. All right. Everyone piling up on the bridge. All right, uh, Jeff A.L. Uh, I'm going to move in two next to Umi. Okay. Yeah. So you get up onto the bridge, rushing forward. Everyone kind of piling in. The hag just squeezing onto Nadir. Oh, God. Her oh, tongue dripping this blackened bile onto your chest. Her Breath stinks of old mint and sea moss. Hmm. Oh, can I like cut her arm off somehow? Uh. How how far is the distance of your blade whip? I don't think it's that far. Uh. I don't think you have the range to do that. 
fuck? Oh, could I moonbeam her arm? You can moonbeam her. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Uh, okay. The save on my part. Can I make a single save tonight, please? It's good for you guys. It's just bad for me. We'll um, take it. We'll take it. Please. Okay. As again, the orbs pull in from the twin moons around you. Roll the damage. Let's go. Please, gone. Oh. Ten in total as they Ten. collide into uh, into her arm as she just kind of holds one arm up, still gripping Nadir with the other arm. You can see just how like naturally muscular she is. It's oh god, so sort of frightening. <laughs> uh, she does look strong. <laughs> Gotta soap her up. Soap that hag. Yeah, let's get that hag nice and soapy. This hag needs to be cleansed. Good. Uh, okay. Marta? Uh, uh, yes, it'll be your turn. Um, so obviously I'm captured. Yes, you're grappled able... so you can't move. Am I able to still attack. equip two weapons? Uh, you... Depending on what it is. So like, uh, well, there. I'm holding the. I think I was holding the rapier before. Could I uh, attach the dagger to the other yeah. hand? Yeah, you just you would just pull that off of your belt, and then so you can roll both. Yeah, and I want to try to attack the arm to release myself. Sure. Uh, so roll the hit uh, with the rapier, and also roll the hit with the dagger. Mm. Oof. Six and nine, not my best rolls of the day. Nice. Uh, both nice. of those miss. Oh, as you try Fuck. to drive them into uh -oh. the uh, into the arms, you're just not able to get enough momentum, and it just slides off of her leathery skin. Hmm. Fuck. That's not good. Shit. Hmm. What else can I do now? Uh, I have some other action. You could. I'll allow you to try to escape as a bonus action. Roll is that a roll? Yeah. Strength, sure. Strength saving throw. Wait, it's is on it... your sheet. Is there any way uh, you can you'll... heal? Uh, not. He could like thumb a potion into his mouth. Is that worth it? Uh. Mm. I don't think. Yes and no. It's only three HP though. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I just hope you don't get one shotted. Well, I have. I don't. I don't think I will. Well, I put a recharge on her uh, monkey strength mm. grip, m monkey strength grab. So uh, she has to recharge before I can do that again. So why don't I try and escape the strength? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fuck, I guess uh, escape. So yeah. Strength save. So there's saving throw modifiers. You'll see a big box of saving throws. Just click the strength. Come on. The first one, uh, that was just a mistake. Can I throw again, maybe? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> so that is a critical failure. So as you go to try to uh, <laughs> get oh, out, no. she grabs and just holds you down. So now you're... Oh, God. Oh, no. God. She gets you down to the ground Bro. and looks at the, rest of, <laughs> looks at the rest of you, holding up a hand. Uh, she is going to... Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Look what they did to my wrong. boy. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh god. She points forward and you watch her fingernails begin to just elongate as one shoots out forward towards the tiger. Uh, what? <gasps> oh god. Well, this isn't good, is it? Oh, uh, fuck. 14 to hit. No, oh, Jesus. Your armor class is... A tiger is... Oh, I'm still a fucking tiger. Uh, My... 12. 
Um, unless you, unless you want to like circumvent and say you're not a tiger anymore. I would like to relinquish my tiger spirit. I want to go back okay. to my final form. All right, you'll go back to your your normal <laughs> Omi state. Uh, what my, is your AC? Fourteen. Okay, so that just hits. Oh fuck! Oh. So it <laughs> lands in. Uh, you take four points of damage. Easy. As she points her nails and fires another one off. Fuck. Wait, what is what does my ring of protection do? As plus one to your AC. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah. So your AC technically should be thirteen, but it's fourteen. Oh, okay. Um, as the fingernail shoots off, trying to hit Umi. No. Uh. Uh. Uh oh. There's a twelve. Your armor class is 15, so that misses. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, so as it the fingernail flies, you just kind of move out of the way. And no! As you just watch this kind of like blackened yellow nail fly across and into the cavern. Ew! Get on manic here. What the fuck? Um, all right. She is... She's not going to give up that position of holding down... Uh, Holding down the deer, she's gonna she's gonna stay where she is. Fuck. Uh, and she, you watch, she starts to ready a spell. Uh, oh shit! There's no goblins. Big rig. Holy fuck! Okay. Okay, so, I'm, so fuck. I'm back in my normal, my normal it's shape. Arm. Yeah. Is there any way I can attack directly on her arm with my blood spear? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I'd like to do uh. that if I could move in and attack. Yeah, of course. Uh, so you'd move forward, yeah. go across in, uh, going across the rickety bridge yes. as you take the spear, roll to hit. Okay. Uh, what is roll to hit again? It's the plus seven one on blood spear, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, somebody said don't forget advantage. Do we have advantage? Oh yeah, you also yeah you you also have advantage against the attack. Okay. So you could roll. Uh, make sure you right click and hit advantage, and that would roll twice. Oh okay. <laughs> Uh, Nadir, you want to roll mm -hmm. your uh, your dagger and rapier hit again? Go. Advantage uh, normal. B uh, just roll it again because I fucked up and forgot to remind you about the advantage. That's my bad. Oh. Um, so I'll give you a, a second chance to stab her. She'll still have you pinned, but I'll give you a second chance to get a couple swings on her. Nice. Oh, cool. 15 and 7. Uh, nice. So the 7 misses, but the 15 hits. Nice. And then, uh, so roll the damage for the 15, oh, which is on, your rapier. 7 Devin. points of damage. Okay. As, you we'll kind of, as we'll she has it. you down, you dr drive the just the tip of the rapier into her stomach. As she nice. kind of pops off the bile down onto you. Nice. Let go, Lynch! Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Big Rick. So I, ro I roll my spear in advantage. Yeah. Okay. And rolling now. Uh oh, goddamn. Seventeen. Okay. Yep. And roll to hit. Or sorry, not roll to hit. You roll your uh, damage. Uh, and that is the the bottom one. If you want to use it versatile, so two hands. It'll give you more damage in the end. Yeah, yeah. I'll Ooh. I'll roll versatile two handed. Rolling now. Two plus four six. six. As you drive the yes. spear into her side, you kind of feel the blood gush out as it sucks into your spear she just looks at you and kind of she's holding this position of, of trying to keep the rogue pinned still uh you watch whatever spell she was conjuring in her hand just begin to fade oh Woo. nice <gasps> okay fuck yeah. yeah uh do i have i have an additional move right you you can use either one of your spells or second level or loner, lower as a bonus action, or you can use uh, you can also use your homie to attack. Uh, I think I should probably heal Nadir, right? Since I'm right here, I could use uh, my cure wounds. Have uh, you could if you want to do that, but he is only three hit points down, so hmm. I'm on 15. Oh, you're on 15? Yeah, yeah, the well. The cure wound um, healed him up seven. Yeah, Umi, Umi gave oh, me seven. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, okay. Fuck yeah. yeah. All right, maybe I'll just attack. Stab him. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll attack with my, my tree homie. Give him a little bit of a stabberino. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or should I should I use burning hands 
Or do I not have you that do. anymore? Uh, Since I already let used me it. Double check. No, I believe the spell slot would be expended. Um, where is. Uh, I don't think you can only use that once a day. Let me check. Spells. Yeah, no, you just have that. So you've expended one spell slot. Um, so you could do that three more times. You could do like that once, keep your wounds twice. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll do burning hands again. Sure. Uh, that is a dexterity save on her part. Uh, Adir, you bitch. also have. Is it anyone or is it oh. only non friendly? Will it hit Booby yeah, too? You, yeah, Nadir, you'll also have to make a save. So make a dexterity uh, saving. Save. Which dexterity okay. save? You can yeah. do it, man. Oh! <laughs> okay, let's yes, go! Yes, my boy! Yeah. Yes! yes. Ah! The damage, Big Rig. <sighs> <sighs> and because you're a friendly, I'm not going to have you take half as much damage. I'm just going to have you, like, duck out of the way of the flames. Fuck yeah. yeah. Rolling 3d6 now. As you kind of grab onto her face, rubbing your hands together, the small jet of flame going directly down her mouth as her head knocks back. She's like, Burning hands! <laughs> <laughs> Solid every time. Okay. Uh, she's looking rough. She's burnt. She's uh, bleeding from a few different areas. You still have your action with little homie. Send and him in. then, all right, he kind of moves up behind you. Uh, well, he has range, so you just like move out of the way. Yeah. Um, and just, yeah, have him attack. I'll attack with. Uh, it's under. Bonus actions towards the bottom, so it'll be 1d20 plus 3. Okay, 1d20 plus 3. Rolling now. Roll. Six plus three, so nine. Does not hit. Fuck. As it flies across and just kind of hits into her flesh. Okay. Seed doesn't even enter. Uh, all That's okay. right. Little guy. Don't worry, man. Umi, your turn. Okie dokie. Finish him, guys. Oh, well, I want to take out my steam's edge. As you draw your blade, the flames wrapping around it, you see this kind of cold steam from the ice that builds up on top of it. Uh, just due to what it was in the wiki, you can also add an additional d6 when you attack. Oh my god. So what was it again? For oh my god, I haven't used it in so long. <laughs> yeah, so, so you ha so just roll to hit with what it is inside of your uh, character sheet. Ooh. And uh, just add one, roll 1d6 one after that and add it to it. So roll to hit. Yeah. So let me pull up Umi here. Oh. Uh, so yeah, next to your flame tongue longsword, uh, click the plus four. Okay, I clicked it. And All then... Right. So 13, you have advantage, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you, you right can... click and hit advantage. Come and on. Then... Oh, I didn't I didn't right click it, though. Just, just roll the attack again. This is the same thing. So do I right click it? No, just just click it normally because you already rolled once already. Oh, you go again. I see. Yeah. So Ooh. sixteen that hits. <laughs> Ooh. Fucking and then nice. What do I do? Uh, so then on one d six. Uh, are you, do you want to use it? Hold it with two hands. You're nugging out it with two hands or with one. <laughs> two hands. <laughs> two hands. So use the one d ten. Oh shit. Uh Fuck him up. Oh god. Ooh. Oh, uh sorry, not not the custom roll. The, uh, oh. Right next to the plus four, there's a one D ten plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Thank you. Sorry. It'll, it'll add your uh, your total damage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, slashing. Yeah. Uh <laughs> nice. One D ten plus one. Oh. Why did it Still it, yeah. It didn't... Yeah, no, it, it did the damage. It, it just didn't uh, do your 2d6. Um, Weird. Yeah. Just roll 2d6 as a custom roll. Okay. You get one, one d6 of ice and one d6 of fire. Okay, one d6. So the, the dice on the side? Yeah, the little dice on the side. 
26. And another D6. Yep. <laughs> okay, two. Okay. As oh, you, the six and two, nice. As you drive it into her side, you kind oh. of see the burning, uh, the burning blade dig through her like a hot knife through butter, and the ice freezing the wound around it. As she winces in pain, she goes oh. to right, she goes to uh, begin building up a spell. You see this orb of fire building in her hand as she holds it up to you, and you watch as the ice pulls over her skin. And she, <laughs> as you pull your blade out, shatter. <laughs> as she falls into tiny bits of ice and snow over top of Nadir. Oh. Congratulations. Yes, you know. The beast of Rotfin and Bay. Yes! <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. Holy fuck. I just wanted to get some water and I came back and. Uh, well, I, is she dead? Ooh, Umi completely. And you're covered in snow. Blasted her. Oh my god. What happened? What happened? I killed her. Holy shit. Umi rolled up with a naginata. Naginata. You got the shit out of her. Oh my god. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> Holy shit. She's She's dead for real? Yes, yeah, she's real. dead. Holy fuck. My my Naginata has fire and ice damage. Oh, that was so sick. Yeah, we um, fucking melted her. What is the time at? All right, we're at four hours. Okay. Um. So. Just because it has been a while. Because oh, some yeah, people yeah. have been streaming for over... 10 hours. Oh. 14 hours now. Um, oh, that's nothing. All right, all right. I'm good. You all feel this. Um... Uh -oh. oh. I I selected the wrong music. Whoops. Hold on. I just turned on more combat music. That's my bed. Oh, no worries. Oh. I was like, why did the music not change? Get out of here. There we go. You feel a sense of pride. <sighs> understanding what truly happened here. For the most part. Defeating the beast of Black Rock Bay. Not some horrible monster. Not some great fish in the sea. Not a kraken. Not a squid. But a hag. Why she was doing this? Mm. That remains to be seen. <gasps> As you begin to loot. Can I get an investigation check from everybody? Yes. Oh. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> oh, nice, Jafael. I'm, I'm just so dumb. Oh, uh, investigation. You know, I saved okay. your life, Nadir. You could at least say thank you. I said thank you. I want to hear it again. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> As um, you begin searching around, let's see what these rolls were. An 11, a 7, a 22. Uh, okay. And a 7. Um, well, Umi and Nadir thank each other and loosely bicker. Uh, and Big Rig is too busy mourning over the corpse of his best friend. Um... Sergey. Sergey. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Jeffael, you find a number of things. What? A, oh, what do a I chest find? with. Um, a chest with 1,100 gold pieces in it. <laughs> Get that. Two maps to treasure. Beyond the Ebonvale coast. Uh, as well as a diamond worth 2,000 gold pieces. Whoa. Whoa. Let's divvy this all up. 
you also find a a journal. A journal. A what? tome itself written in blood, the pages made of flesh. What? Eggs grimoire. <gasps> what can we do with that? You can cast spells, man. Oh, as you, it's a grimoire. As you flip through it, most of her spells have been rip, written, ripped out. Um, however, there is a few notes. Her what? speaking of being enslaved. <gasps> what? Huh? Being kidnapped and what? taken from her swamp in our camps, <gasps> a neighboring uh -oh. continent. Uh -oh. I was going to be sold to a sideshow or some type of human circus. She used her control of the waves to sink the ship. Guys, I think we're the bad guys. Holy and vowed to oh, sink no. every ship that comes into the bay regardless. What? Oh, never mind. <gasps> Holy shit. The hag wanted vengeance. Because instead of people hunting her and killing her, what she was used to, she was going to be used as some type of sideshow attraction. And she wanted to show the humans of Ebonvale the true wrath of a hag scorned. Oh. Oh. Wow. oh my god. You find with your very high roll, you also learn that she found a giant sitting in a cave nearby where she landed in the shore that was brooding and refusing to work for a dwarf. Oh. She made an alliance with him and she helped with his plan, or he helped with her plan. What? Hmm, oh. as I thought. And that is all you find in the journal. Holy oh shit. So we were sent oh to kill the hag and we did just that for the dwarf yeah God damn it. it's hard to tell who is the bad guy in this yeah with the notes in the journal you would surmise that the giant used to work for the dwarf's brother oh and upon the dwarf's brother's death leviticus refused to work for the giant when he could hire crews to get the treasure for him instead of some beast. Ah. Uh. Oh. Uh -oh. What? What? Are we gonna have uh, to kill that guy? There was no beast all along. It was all a scam? It was all a scam. Guys, we've been scammed. We've been had by a hag and a dwarf. We fell, we fell for a an email prank. Yeah, the Nigerian an prince. A <laughs> Nigerian oh. prince. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, I'm gonna Scam be is old as time. Dead. Fuck. Maybe we, I could say, transform into the elderly dwarf, go into the house, and uh, get close enough to stab him <gasps> in the back. Are Should we, we interrogate him first? Like why? I just I just want to hear it out of his mouth <laughs> before we, you know, do what needs to be done. Hmm. Are you returning to town? Let's go back. Yeah, let's return to town. Let's clean up this town. Gathering yeah, I'm the put hag's my head. In a little sock. And returning to town. Soap and sock. <laughs> Mounting up on the horses, it takes about 45 minutes to return to town. Oh, we can you collect our reward. Quite far out. I think we should collect a reward and then kill him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah. act like we don't know what's up first. I mean, then... oh my god, I don't know what came over me. What? <laughs> what? what? We were, I would never kill anyone. As you find yourself uh, returning to town, just as it once was yesterday, the sun beginning to set, the moons beginning to become ever so bright, everyone is getting ready to end their day. 
the home of Levi Leviticus, bright like a beacon on the hill towards the back of the town. You make your way to his door, and like clockwork, it opens. The old man, noticing your arrival, hearing the horses come up and just hoping it would be the adventures, adventurers that he had hired. It's a pleasure, a pleasure to see all of you. Please, come in. Uh, Mr. Leviticus is uh, just getting ready to retire for the evening. All right, gl grab his legs. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> we still Hello. against the plan to allow me to transform into the old man? Yeah, but we'll have to take care of the old man first. I just think you just want to be that old man. I think it would be very fun to be killed by what he thinks is his uh, dad. <laughs> Fine, but what are we going to do with the old man? I'll take care of him. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm going to turn into a shark. <laughs> There's no water. I don't need water. <laughs> I don't a even land breathe. Side, like a street side. Oh, are we not going to make any noise? Surely we should do it a bit more discreetly. I mean, we could just put him to sleep, guys. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jafael, put him to sleep. Eating yeah. him or killing him. Put him to sleep and then eat him as a side. Oh, my God. Put Wait, him to sleep first. What if we put him to sleep, what? I transform into a mouse, crawl inside of his intestines, and then transform back and just, like, explode oh, out of him? Oh, yeah, explode him from inside. Okay, okay, I like this idea. <laughs> What this is the literally fuck? the messiest way you could kill him. I mean, it wouldn't leave much evidence behind. People would just—it well, would like, be all oh, over the fucking this, like, carpet. Heads. What is wrong with you guys? It's strawberry jam. Strawberry jam. Are you all ready to come inside now? As he's been—he's been standing in front of you, listening to you plan the entire time. But luckily, he's incredibly hard of hearing. <laughs> okay, let's so just put him to sleep. Just put him to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, and okay. I'll transform Knock him out. into him. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm gonna sleep him. Sure. <laughs> Pick him in the balls. Roll, roll them dice. Which dice is it again? I can't uh, see which whoop. one it is. So if you go, yeah. Uh, spells sleep. Uh, it'll be. We gotta get paid first, right? Yeah, of course. In theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the plan. <laughs> A uh, 5d8. 5d8. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the old man just... Oh, apologies. As he falls back, slamming his head on the marble, his head cracks open. He dies. <laughs> night, night. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he he slept too deep. <laughs> Hurry, slept guys. Real deep. We're gonna crack this case. This up with the soap. <laughs> Can I take off one of my socks and put the soap in the sock? <laughs> no, what? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna clean him. <laughs> okay, I'll transform now. Okay, All okay, right. okay. I'm morbid. <laughs> As you morb out. Okay. Become an old man. Let us go on. You're an old man now. He is an old man. It's Let's okay. go and kill this fuck. Oh, Jesus you. Christ. Let's go. <laughs> it suits you. Let's go. Head upstairs. The old man the still bleeding onto the floor. Um into the office of Leviticus Car. <gasps> Leviticus, I've brought the adventurers you hired. Uh, right, right, bring them on in. Uh, didn't expect them to be back so soon, but it's fine. Just step right in. Hello. Can I slowly make my way around? Sure. Step behind him. He just gives you a, a warm uh, smile and a nod. Mm. Good to see you again, Leviticus. Uh, we've returned. You made quick work, it seems. Uh, it's been only, what, a day and a bit? 
Yeah. You know, no, it's, it wasn't that difficult. Yeah. Oh, Time really? To play, really. Pretty simple, <laughs> actually. Lucky you agreed on an amount of gold beforehand, or else I would have uh, taken it off for being so easy. You pay us what you said you would, and... Oh, I will. I'm a man of my word. Good to know. Are you guys going to get the money or what? I was going to say, he's just kind of oh, watching. Did he, did he put it down? Uh, no, he's just he's sort of watching. He was expecting more to be said or, or some type of proof to be thrown under the table, but he kind of gives you oh. all an awkward glance. It's all right. I wanted a trophy. My, uh. my, my daughter's <laughs> also socially awkward as he goes by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 give him the grimoire. Give him the grimoire. Oh. Who has the grimoire? Who has the grimoire? Who has it? You? I thought I thought you guys had it. Who has you it? Have it? Who has yeah. it? Man, you have the it. Has it. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah, you have it. You have it. You're the one that found it. Oh, yeah, you're the one that found it. Okay, uh, it. As he opens up a his lockbox and just begins putting down uh like just pouches and pouches of money. Um all right. As she agreed upon amount, five grand each, except for uh you. With your twenty five hundred. And your debts will be cleared as, uh, as soon as I can. I've already sent word, and I'm just waiting to hear back. What? Well, as he, soon as you can, what does that mean? Well, well, it takes time for a messenger to go from this side of the continent to the other, speak to the individual I'm looking for who are very secretive to begin with, and then come back and tell me that the debts are cleared. Mm. Ask him about why. Put in the grimoire. What? what? Open, open Asking about what the fuck is happening. What? But open the page to the grimoire and set it on his desk. Shall I find him about okay. it? Exactly. Uh, I can kill him any second, but like, can you ask okay. him? Uh, we is found it? this weird book. It, I didn't expect the beast to be able to write, but okay. That's, it that's... looks kind of disgusting. It's made out of human flesh and blood. Yeah, it's fucking gross. As he takes it. He's like grabs a, a handkerchief and, and kind of opens it. It's just gross. Uh, I, I don't really want to keep this. You you can. Yeah, we already read it for you, Leviticus. Turns out you might have known the beast, didn't you? The, the beast. Yeah. No. What are you all on about? You you. Getting mighty accusatory in my own home, might I add. I think you I just... knew who the beast was and knew what you were sending us to, you son of a bitch. Does anything on this page look familiar to you? He kind of flips through it. Slavery and... Mentions a DK, Devin Cart, that's my brother, former mayor of this town. Your brother. brother? Yeah. The one who got killed in this house. What? He got killed in this house? Yeah. This is the former mayor's house. House. I don't know why I suddenly developed a lisp. Ignore it. Uh, it's grief, you know. <laughs> yeah, grief. Manifests in all different forms. I'm, I'm real sad. Yeah, yeah. I, I develop a speech impediment. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> happens to the best of us. Uh, my brother used to live in this very home. The mayor decided to keep his house and he put this manor up for auction. I learned of my brother's death and when I moved to town, I purchased it. I've been running my business out of it ever since. How did your brother die? He was stabbed to death by a bunch of monster hunters for selling children to Goblins, essentially. My brother was a bad man. Oh, Him wait. partnering with what looks like a giant, as the book here says, uh, doesn't surprise me. Uh, Ask him why, why the ships are being wrecked by the hag. Uh, why, why are the ships getting wrecked by the hag? Can you explain that? All right, well, I'm not a very intelligent man, Mr. Uh, Riglius, was it? Yeah, just call me Big Rig. 
Oh, big rig? All right. Uh, well, I'm not a very intelligent man, but uh, I, I surmise it's just the hag was a bitch. It was mad. So she, she decided to just burn anything she saw. Like my ex-wife. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. can, I, can I pull out the black thing I stole earlier? Sure. Can I just drop my disguise and put it towards his neck as if I'm about to, like, you know, like I'm just going to stab him? With it? <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, easy now. Right, old fuck. What the fuck is happening? Tell us the truth. All right. I'm going to roll to see if he understands what's going on. <laughs> Best of my knowledge, my brother had a deal with, uh, with this fucking giant or whatever to collect the ships that washed ashore and he would just take the gold giant gets to keep everything else I, I was aware that he was he was he was getting profits off of the shipwrecks in town that's that's where I started my business I would then instead of just keeping it I would sell it all of it with my crews back to the merchants that lost them in the first place racketeering 101 well, that's what I was going to say. Your business isn't exactly legit, is it? It sounds like you make money off fucking other people over. Yo, I... why did you tell us there was a beast? Because I thought there was a beast. I didn't know there was a hag. I knew a giant might be up there, but I kind of assumed he fucked off when my brother died. Uh, uh, I didn't could know I do a perhaps, perhaps an insight check or yeah, perception check? Or investigation? Which one? Uh, it's uh, be insight. Insight. All right. Ooh, nine. Oh fuck. Um. Um. Oh. <laughs> he. He seems as confused as you are. Oh fuck, guys, we fucked up. Uh, did we kill that? Uh, well, we've already he, killed his brother, so we may as well finish the bloodline. Uh, but we, yeah, we, I you, guess we got our reward. So we technically did get our reward. We technically cleared out Rotfin Bay. Mm. He and isn't a good person. He mm -hmm, like, that's what I think. Is, he is stealing from. Smugglers, sailors, pirates, common merchant vessels, and taking basically the spoils of accidents, uh, whether they be natural or caused by the hag, and selling them back to the owners. The equivalent of scavenging from a car crash. Yeah, he, he's a boss, like I said earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's I... not a good person, but you don't know if he was behind all this and he's weaving a tail. And blaming it on his dead brother, or if he's actually ignorant. I would like to kill him. You want to kill him? I think I should just shove the thing that I stole from him into his neck, uh, murdering him. What if we, like, torture him and get him to tell the truth while talking? He's not going to tell us the truth. Holy fuck. I think, like, with torture, well, so do we have he time might for a torture sequence? cut his ear off or something. I mean... Uh, what would I even what roll to torture someone? everything on fire? Yeah. <laughs> I could, okay, I could, hear me out, I could transform into a giant eagle and put him <laughs> in my talons, and I could fly to a far away mountain, perhaps, leave him at the top, let him live out the rest yeah. of his life, fending the cold, the high altitude, what if he can make his way back down, so be it, if not, oh, let him die I in just the snow. Can I just kill him right now with this this little rock thing I stole? I think like on the way, like as you carry him with your talents, take him to the body of Sergei and make him look at it, <laughs> just to know like this is this is what he did. Why don't you just transform into every single person that he's ever loved in his whole life and kill him? Yeah, yeah. Me yeah. listening what? to this crazy talk, can I just what decide to kill Jojo him? What in the JoJo was that? <laughs> Yeah, you okay. can. Why does he transform can... as his daughter? He mentions her all the time. Or does he just die? Kill him as his as daughter. Plunge <laughs> the piece of the mountain uh, that he scavenged into his neck. He just. I... 
<laughs> he reaches towards his uh his like the drawer in his desk he slumps in forward slamming down the blood begins to pool against the top of the mahogany desk leaking down the sides he dies oh. Will we ever know if he was telling the truth? Smells like a liar to me. <clears throat> well, we got a lot of treasure. Guys, we're the bad guys. <laughs> you, you... Hold on, the drawer. Yeah, what's what in the drawer? the drawer? Can we open it? Open it. You can take his lockbox. I want to do a roundhouse kick and open it. As, as you just fully spin around, kick the lock off, and it opens. Uh, you are all the proud owners of 140,000 gold pieces. Oh my god. Holy shit! I can finally retire. We're rich! Oh. My oh. debt is cleared. I can finally retire. I bet he never called us in to get it all. Yeah, he's probably fucking lying. Fucking liar. Holy shit. And as the moons illuminate the Tilrian forest, as its light fractures off the fractured heart mountains, illuminating everything the same way the water does. That is where we'll end our one shot. <gasps> oh. Wow. The beast oh, wow. has been felled. Holy shit. I would have stole it and ran. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine! Oh my god. I th <laughs> wow, dude, nightmare. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. Of course. you did amazing, man. That was fucking. Thank you! That was, that was insane. Thank you! Thank you so much. Amazing Thank job. You. Thank you, Mr. I'm glad, DM. I'm Thank glad y'all had fun. Dude, how, it was how awesome. Can do this again. Yeah, that was fucking. I'd love to. Yeah, that was like. Oh, it was great. Uh, you did such a good job with the whole story and all of our yeah, bullshit. <laughs> we gotta do this again, bro. Yeah. Yeah, we have to I'm adventure as our characters again. Yeah. That's I'd it. Be, I'd be down. I changed my mind. Umi's not retiring, guys. <gasps> oh, hell yeah. Yeah, fine. If if you guys aren't retiring, then I'll just put my money away and I'll retire whenever I want some other time. But yeah. if you guys want to go on another right. adventure, so be it. I'm gonna gamble away should. all my money and then join you guys again. I no, want to hold on to her money. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fair. I want to split that money that you're holding on to. I'll uh, I'll <laughs> give you guys a full uh, breakdown of, of how much money you made. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but uh, oh, I meant like <laughs> later. Oh yeah, and yeah, then yeah. When yeah, we yeah. come back to this, I'll just give you guys the money and. Oh the, fuck yeah. A list of items, and you can just buy whatever you want. Okay, <gasps> hell yeah. You, you you guys want to buy a boat? You want to buy an airship? We'll uh, we'll, we'll have some real shenanigans. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck yeah! Airship. We can make air seasoned adventures. Air air I mean, yeah. So, I have some some crazy campaigns coming myself. But with, this, yeah. with these with this one shot or a series of one shots, Ooh. you guys got enough gold that you could you could buy a, like an airship. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't, you don't like have pirates better than pirates you don't have to travel just the material plane <gasps> there's a whole multiplanar universe out there you what can um, uh, so i did hear earlier that there was a whorehouse is that oh there, 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 is, there is a there is a whorehouse it, uh, yeah it is called trader's alley it is a small whorehouse you uh, want to buy the whorehouse <laughs> a great business investment, I'm sure. It, it, it charged my battery me. real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Local druid banned from whorehouse for electrocuting with robo dick. Electrocuting? Will this be a co ed whorehouse? I mean, a what? quality. Never mind. Kind of, this is like 1930s, no. What, Wait, what do you mean? No. 1930s? I thought this, this was like 800. The 1930s. Yes. This is like yeah, 800. Maybe like 10. 10. The yeah. world is what we make of it. Yeah, it's true. It's it's 8, uh, 89 p.m. You know what? If you want to buy a fucking old, musty old whorehouse, I'll make my own whorehouse. And it'll be the greatest whorehouse. And I'll have the better whorehouse than you. Yeah, I'm going to go to that whorehouse instead. It seems cool. Yeah. I, I, I will go to both whorehouses. 
<laughs> I'll make a whole street full of whorehouses. Okay, okay, go ahead. Oh, God damn. Hell yeah. And they'll all be innovated with new concepts you've never even thought of. Damn. Whoa. I'm gonna make a whorehouse with an ice cream fountain and a bowling alley <laughs> and a Whoa. Inner species reviewers, who? Oh. So, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if our airship was just a floating whorehouse? I yeah. do have a sky yeah. That would be pretty We'll rad. call it Castle in the Sky. <laughs> yeah. Christian Bale's there for no reason. Uh, <laughs> so what, what I'm saying, what I'm hearing is you're turning Lucarth into Las Vegas with yeah. only whorehouses yeah. and no casino. I'm going to open my own casino. <laughs> the, yeah. that, that does sound like a D&D &D story. We are terrible. Crippling gambler's <laughs> debt. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck man, nice. this is awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I I'd be so down to to do it again sometime. This was such a fucking yeah. blast, and I think I mean, I really didn't know like what we could do like with each turn. Like I I, I feel oh, like I have to lot. learn a lot. Like I didn't know what actions really to take, but I feel yeah. like just from this one time, like I feel like we all probably learned quite a bit. So it'll only get better. I feel yeah. like. I'm still I, uh, very rusty, but yeah. Yeah. we can if play we, it together again. Yeah, Definitely. if we did this again, uh, hopefully not a year from now, um, I'll I'll probably do like a little session zero, run you guys through like kind of more of the rules so mm. you can understand everything you can do. Probably yeah. play it still pretty fast and loose, just because that's it. It this this party's chaotic, and that's. Hard rules is no fun when it's when it's chaotic. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I think it was a good mix of like, yeah, yeah, just just having fun, but still keeping somewhat uh, the integrity of the game. So yeah, yeah, maybe you, Connor can join us next time. I don't yeah, know. yeah, Fuck, that'd be cool. No way! I want Booby to join us again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good having Booby back. Yeah, yeah it was nice for to see him. Booby. Whatever. What? What do you mean, whatever? <laughs> Are we done here? Uh, I believe so. I think I'm gonna go. Uh, no way. I think I'm gonna go stream some map making now. Hell yeah! Oh, oh fun. Well, Thank you so much. Wait, are you streaming right now, Nightmare? I I'm about to be. Like, okay. I, I was gonna. Oh, yeah, pop on and we'll uh, we'll raid yeah. you. Hell yeah! Yeah. Well, Nightmare, thank you so much, dude. Uh, oh, you, you put so much you work so into this, and me. you held our hands yeah. like amazingly. So. I mean, it, it, so wasn't, it wasn't a lot of hand-holding. You guys really Why? Me. Why are Ethel and Booby showing off their titties? What the I, fuck? I mean, all titties are good titties. Is this a titty contest? Well... You guys, you guys I'm gonna sell my kid. Thank you so much for <laughs> being an amazing team. Yeah, thank yeah, you so much, Nightmare. You did thank awesome. This is, this, is a, this is a passion thank of mine. You. This is what I spend 90% of my free time on. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. What shows, man? You did fucking awesome. Thank you, Thank for real. You. Yeah. So much fun. Thank yeah. you. It means the world, guys. Thanks, man. All right, guys. Well, I guess we'll call it here, huh? Nightmare, go ahead and uh, start your stream, and we'll, uh, we'll give you a raid. Yeah. Bye. Thank you so much, Bye. man. Bye. Hell yeah. Bye, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for real. Bye. Thank Bye, you. Bye, booby. Thank you for Bye. <laughs> See Bye. you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See thank you guys. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Ah. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Ah. Oh. Well, guys. Wait, let me change the music real fast. This is too scary. One second, guys. Sorry. Uh, I need deep space, space ambient, deep interspeller, space journey. There we go. More. Ah, well, guys, thank you so much for coming by for our first ever D and D one shot. Uh, that was so much fun. I, I had such a blast. I, I have to admit, I, I didn't really like understand <laughs> how to do a lot of things like, uh, rolling a lot of like 
uh, like the different checks and stuff like that. I really didn't know too much going in. I, I've never really played D&D &D before this. Uh, only one other time, but it was like super loose. But I feel like after today, I, I learned so much on how to play and how to go about each turn and, and how to go about like finding things. So I, I want to fucking do it again. It was so fun. So I, I just want to thank you guys for coming out and, and playing with us and, and listening to the, the Beast of Rotfin Bay story. Uh, Nightmare did so good. Man, he did fantastic. So hopefully we can get the gang together again uh, and play sometime soon. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. It was it was so fun. I know we kind of stumbled around a lot. Uh, there were some like awkward silences between like you know knowing what we can do and, and what to do next but i think i think nightmare like intentionally did that uh, to leave it to us um so i think now that we're a little bit a little bit more practiced uh, i kind of want to go into it uh the next time knowing what we know now so I, I think everyone did well everyone did so good everyone's so creative and and so fun to play with so man and thank you guys for for all the bits all the subs, so all the donations. Enjoyment of the session? Yeah, I loved it. It was fucking awesome. I really loved it. Uh, I know I didn't get to thank everyone when we started because we, we just kind of jumped right into it. But for real, thank you guys so much. Uh, even if you didn't donate anything, no, no subs or bits or whatever, just thanks for being here and, and donating your time. Uh, I was reading chat the whole time. And, and seeing you guys <laughs> fucking make me laugh the whole time. Uh, stealing your jokes as I always do and saying I'm back in. So thank you guys. More. I had such a blast. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can play again soon. Thank you for all the 100k. Congrats. Thank you. The 100k celebration. <laughs> More. No, th this was the perfect 100k celebration. I, I am going to get some pizza tonight. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I have to. Uh, I should be back tomorrow, like Aww. first thing in the morning, like 12 p.m. probably PST. Uh, I should be back, probably just for a chill day. Maybe we'll get back to the Outer Wilds as well. Uh, I should, I should, I should. Uh, so if you're around and want to come hang out in the castle tomorrow, probably around 12 p.m. PST, we can chill and uh, celebrate 100k. When's the cube game? Yeah, we could play Minecraft as well. Maybe Outer Wilds, maybe something else, maybe some teardown. I, I've been seeing some people play Super People lately. I, I don't know what's going on with that. Is that game coming back? I don't know. But I, I really want to get back to Outer Wilds. So maybe we can do that tomorrow for a little bit. Hell yeah. Guys, thank you so much. Let's, uh, let's run our last oh. three minute ad right now before we just kind of chill so I don't forget. Uh, so if you are not subscribed, a three minute ad is coming right now. But before it comes, I just want to thank you so much for coming by uh, and having fun in the castle. Once again, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Here's the three minute ad now. Hell yeah. Do you ever play horror games? You know, I, I kind of want to play some some more indie horror games. We we played some on Itch uh, not too long ago, itch.io. We played some indie horror game on browser. That shit was so fun. I, I kind of want to do that, yeah. There's a lot of stuff I want to play. Zag, thank you so much for five gift subs. Thank you. <clears throat> Man, I need water. Uh, ever played... Perfect Vermin? No, I've never played that. What is that? Perfect Vermin. A flash More. stream would be fun. Yeah, that I, I I really like doing that. I really like going on itch and playing like a, a, a shit ton of indie games. Thank you guys so much. We have to finish the hotel game. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. We never figured out the mystery. What did we have to do that day? I forget why we ended that early. Oh. We played like some crazy like horror game on itch. It was like some browser game. And we like got so close to the end of the mystery, but I think we had to go to uh, uh, Island of Riches. Yeah, we had that 
that OTK oh. event. I forgot about that. Also, let me know it when Nightmare goes live. I think he, he should be soon, right? Man, he did so good. I feel like we're, we're such a weird group <laughs> to fucking uh, wrangle up. He did such a good job. Oh, he's on? Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to wait for these ads to finish up. Yeah, he did so good, right? Yeah, he's such a funny guy, too. I can't believe we fucking... Did we kill an innocent old man? Oh, God. Probably. But it was worth it. We got our payout. We're going to get our airship. It was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting, like, the Rotfin... I, I was not expecting the beast to be... I mean, I was fully expecting it to just be like some sort of sea monster, you know? Like, I, I didn't expect the twist at all. Now you just put him to sleep? Yeah, we just put him to sleep uh, forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Well, guys, thank you again so much for coming by. This was so fun. I I'm so glad that everyone was down to do D&D. Like, I wasn't joking. Like, when I asked them, like, because I, I first asked Nyan, like, if she wanted to do it, and of course she was down. And then she was like, yeah, I want to do it with Booby or uh, Connor and, and Mouse. And I was like, oh, yeah, for sure. And yeah, we, we asked them, and like, no ifs, ands, or buts. They didn't even know who the DM was. They didn't even know if it was a one shot, if it was a full campaign. They were just both like, yeah, fuck yeah. So I'm just so thankful, man. Just have friends that are, uh, just down for whatever oh. and down to goof off and have some fun so uh, yeah i'm so thankful booby was a better choice than connor <laughs> yeah i'm glad i'm glad to to finally have booby on the stream too daddy like he's <laughs> 100k pizza party incoming hell yeah hell yeah it is time for a pizza party man i cannot believe we hit 100k oh man I'm so fucking, man, I'm just so grateful. So grateful. Thank you, guys. What do you say? Should we go? Should we call it, guys? Go raid Nightmare? It's about that time, huh? Well, guys. We slayed the beast of Rotfin Bay. We committed some atrocious acts. But you know what? We had some good fun with our friends along the way. D&D streams are my favorite. Do it every day. <laughs> yeah, if, if they're down, I'm 1 million percent down to do more D&D. I think it's super cozy. cozy. You know, it, you can just sit back and listen to the story unfold. Like, it's, it's nice. I, I really like it. So I'm glad that everyone was down. Uh, to give a D&D &D one shot a, a chance and so I'm just really gr grateful man not only you know uh, to have Mouse and Connor and Yambi down for it too in Nightmare but uh, I'm so glad that everyone from the castle everyone from uh, you know Precious family everyone I'm, I'm glad that everyone was so uh, so eager and, and, and willing to do D&D &D with us so thank you guys for real Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thank you. Okay. You ready to start the raid? Let's do it, guys. More. Well, it's about that time. Was a real fun day. Thank you guys so much. With my bros. Thank you for your help. <laughs> Celebrating 100k. I appreciate you guys, but it's about that time. We got to head out. It's time for the castle to blow out the candles, take down the gates, all the archers, archers, feel free. Archers, come off the walls. Archers, you can come off the walls. Uh, the night crew, go ahead and watch the gate. Thank you so much, night crew on watch on the gate. 
uh, all the castle whores, uh, take off the night, guys. Take off the night. Appreciate you guys so much. You know what? Take down some uh, some bread down to the dungeon. Uh, we can give some uh, maybe some bread uh, down to the prisoners down there. Guys, have a great night in the castle. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Appreciate it so much. Thanks for all the subs, Mio. Thank you so much. Three times goddess. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon, all right? Thank you, guys. Bradley, say bye. Say bye, Bradley. Bye, Bradley. See you, guys. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye.